YouTube. Welcome in, everybody. Austin, Apollo, Zach Meister. What's up, dudes? Everybody else that's uh, going to be rolling in here in a second. It's good to see you guys. We're going to be playing a little, bit, a little bit of Banishers. And guess what? We got a cursed overlay for this stream, baby. Fuck yeah, dude. I made this shit and I was like, now this is the one that everyone's going to be like, oh my God, it's so cursed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, what up, Ron? DoorDash some T-Bell? No, 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 no. I just made some soup. It was simple. GPU, Crunk, Ron, Zekmeister, Apollo, uh, Austin. It's good to see you guys. Let's uh, dive on in. Banishers, Ghost of New Eden. Let's see what this game is all about. From what I understand, it's about banishing ghosts. Ghosts. Bad. Living. Check. Crunk, Drunk. Is not in here. Yes, he is. Okay, there you are. I was like, I swear to God, I saw you. Uh, how you doing, man? Hope all's well. I was work yesterday. That's what was going on yesterday, right? Epilepsy warnings. Okay, the usual. Epilepsy. Epilepsy warnings. Playing a well lit room. Don't tell me what to do. Can't yeah, stay long though. Got to do some work and stuff. Hey, no worries. Appreciate you, GPU. It's good to see you, man. Content warning. Banishers are sent a place and era known for their proverbial intolerance. Oh my God, get over yourself. Some situations of abuse depicted throughout the game tie into the oppression experienced by visible and invisible minorities during these times. Oh my god, it's fine. It's a fucking story. You know, uh, I don't like Pepsi. It's, I understand. You know what I mean? I get it. When people are like, forewarning, blah, blah, blah. This is a fantasy game. Even if there was or wasn't oppressed minorities in real life or whatever they could make white people be oppressed in this game i'm not gonna be offended it's just whoever they decide to pick like racism is very real you know in in life there's definitely people in life who are racist or whatever like there's oppression history even in today's day and age like there's stuff going on like it, it's just called life <laughs> let's not get like so caught up in it you know press any button to start let's hit this x button uh, I will accept the user's agreement, I suppose. Telemetry? What the hell is that? Focus on entertainment's general personal data protection policy. Knowing how you play helps us improve our games. Ah, uh, whatever. I can let them watch me. How we doing, Andrew? Coming into oppression in history? Sounds like a fun talk. Well, the game was like, hey, hey, warning. In this game, there might be oppressed minorities. I was like, yeah, it's a fucking fantasy game. <laughs> uh, we sh I think I like to set this to headset headphones. I actually like to typically turn night mode on. Loud noises will be quieter and dialogue clarity will be raised. I like I like night mode on typically. Parallax. Choose if you want to activate parallax interference movement and menus. And was that like uh, the stuff like bubbling and shit? I'm cool with that. English, English, subtitles on, subtitles, you know what, honestly, let's make the subtitles large, dude, for all the, you know, old people. Yeah, the snowflake warning, yeah, I was just like, it's, it's fantasy, man, shit's gonna happen, there's gonna be, like, you know, I'm used to games where you play and, like, all the elves are oppressed, or all the dwarves are oppressed, like, that's no different to me in a fantasy setting if it's, like, you know, oh, it's a, a the black people are oppressed, or the white people are oppressed, it's like, uh-huh, the writers just picked somebody and they ran with it. I was about to dip, but God, I got annoyed seeing those warnings. It's just annoying. Yeah, I know, right? Like, it's like, it's un... But you know why they do it? It's because there's going to be somebody in this world who will write a review like, I wasn't warned. I wasn't warned. I started up this game called Banishers and like, I didn't know that people were going to get banished. <laughs> you know what? Uh, kind of humor I like the kind of game that doesn't give a fuck and like soul like South Park games yeah it's offensive and I love it yeah yeah people just like fucking cry about it dude seriously but hey chat let's get past it it's the very first thing in the game uh do we want a little subtitle background high contrast background no let's leave it let's leave it like a little subtle box around there that'll look pretty good uh, I think we just want to play it on normal, yeah? For players who wish to enjoy balanced experience of story and combat. Let's just run it on normal. 
the normal dealio. You guys ready to dive on in, dude? This could be really exciting. For all we know, this game could be, like, really fucking cool. From what I understand, this is a story-driven game. There's going to be a lot of talking, a lot of yapping. And we're going to be doing some dialogue choices. Feel free to help me out, guys, if you guys want to say what you guys would like for me to pick. I might not follow it, Alan, but feel free to sir, voice your opinion. The ship lies at anchor off New Eden. A tender stands at your disposal. A tender? I heard difficulty things just turn enemies into potatoes. Bullet sponges. I too am the little spoon. Mm hmm. A, dream A don't nod game. Great long fluffy bastards. Low over the sea. Sounds really nice. I like his voice. Which is good because he's the main character. Well, with her. Red is the guy that we play as, I'm pretty sure. And then we can also play as her. Yo, right off the bat. Let's fucking go. I dreamed of the abyss. In the darkest reaches of the deepest ocean. My man's about to reach into something real dark. You know what I'm saying? Hey, oh, whoa, oh, whoa. Oh. <laughs> a good day to you, my love. And a good day to you, too. Are we in New England? What accent is that? Scottish? Are we in New England? Oh, top of the Welcome morning to, to you. America? Something's bothering you. We're gonna be in the good old US Charles of A. Letter. What's up, sup? What's up? What of it? Good to see you, architect. The ghost must be uncommonly dangerous, or he would banish it himself. Banish it. Charge him double. <sighs> I'm serious. If the Reverend needs help, this guy Hey, no worries, Andrew. You're fine. Business. Red, you do what you gotta do. Ready. Swing on through when you can. I'll be careful, Master Duarte. Master Duarte. Sick name, actually. Is that her last name? Because her first name is like Anit or something like that. Anita Duarte? Ready to serve. I'm her apprentice? I like this. This is a cool dynamic already. On, Antea. We need to go. Antea. Night be. Antea Duarte. <laughs> and all right, man. Rory, How's it going? Breath. We're just getting Gallant going. To the last. It's good, though. Give me a little smooch. Life to the living. Death, Death to, the to the dead. dead. I don't... I heard that saying, chat. Consider our when I was looking up stuff on this game, I don't know if I like that saying. Life to the living and death to the dead. I can't tell if it's cheesy or if it's kind of cool. To the living, we say. And, and death he's going to dead. bury it into my head and say it again. So simple. Say it again. One more. Look at that creature. What the Since fuck? The dawn of humanity, <laughs> the dead have <laughs> As alive, we are complex and emotional beings. Many and tangled are the ties. Look at the particle effects of the PS5, the dude. Memory banishes find it, find it, those ties. find it. <laughs> Death is but a trifle. It comes to us all. To haunt or be haunted. Charles Davenport. Lies the true horror. Charles is the one talking to us right now. I don't know why I thought it was red. I, Charles Davenport, should know it. The haunting of New Eden scared me to death. Wait, so is New I Eden the ship that we're on? I have not begged my friends to come and lift Because we are Banishers. New Eden. Of New Eden? Is that the title of the game? Banishers of New Eden? New Eden, June 7th, 9th, or 1695. Yes, this is an older game. This is June, I you know, this game looks pretty good for coming out in 1695, chat. I wanted to freeze my backside off in the summertime. Might I say. I'd have stayed in Scotland. Oh, he is Scottish. Wasn't <laughs> much better. I nailed it. Look Fuck. It. It's cold as a bishop's arse. And twice as white. <laughs> I don't mind saying it. I'm very disappointed. It's actually Charles a great line. Lying. New Eden is cold as death. She kind of has the same well voice as the lady from Alan Wake. It's not the same lady's face, though. But I guess it could be the same voice actor. But I feel like for some reason they just use their face construction and the voice acting for these characters. Like, I feel like that lady probably looks like that. And he probably looks like that. I just have a feeling that these are just real people. 
He said that the snow is colder than a bishop's ass and twice as white. I don't know why, but that's really funny to me. I'm gonna keep that in my back pocket the next time it's cold. Oh shit, we're gonna play as her. Okay. Skip tutorial. Why would I want to do that? Whoa, this is really nice looking. Is this game just immediately set in performance mode? Or is this just how this game is all the time? The frame rate's really, really nice on this. And this game is super clear. Let me see if we can check that real quick. If there's anything about that video. It's on performance mode out the gate. Good. As it should be. Motion blur? Fuck off, dude. Fuck off, motion blur. Get the fuck out of here, motion blur. What makes you think I want motion blur? Get the fuck out of here. Is this going to be one of those games where we want to like loot and stuff though? I'm not sure exactly how this game is going to be. Oh, sorry, Red, my dear. I'll come to you. I'm coming, honey. Honey, I'm coming. Do not wait for me, Red. It's okay. Nucleus, what's up, dude? Nucleus, how you doing? Look at this, man. This game's super pretty. Based off of like what I've seen from like the stills of this game, I didn't think that this game was going to look quite this nice i actually really 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 like the way the graphics look in this game bucket bob how we doing man howdy howdy what's up sup? good to see you in the chat man how's your day going happy saturday everybody can't complain how are you love it press x okay there's probably a button prompt actually wasn't there i thought i saw it in like the middle of the log maybe there's not no uh thing hey what's up crash I am the inventor of motion blur, and I was wondering if you like the game so far. No, I hate, hate your creation. Crash, get out of here. <laughs> the invention of motion blur. You get your ass out of here. I don't want nothing to do with you ever. Get out of here. Get here. Hey, Blondie. Sure. Lilac, hyacinth, and hoof fungus? Hoof? Hoof fungus? Yeah. A little shimmy. This is a loading screen. It's a hidden loading screen. Don't cry. Looks steady enough. Don't cry. It's okay. Back <laughs> to the drawing board then. Don't cry, Crash. How have you been, dude? Hope you're doing well. Hey, man. Yeah, Watch things out. are good. I hope you are doing well. Okay, so we are separated now from our homie. We got a couple weapons at least. We got like some sort of a sword on her shoulder here. Or on her hip. Keep going. Oh, we actually have... Oh, shit! Okay, straight up melee. Tap an R1. Ooh, okay, so we got uh, light attacks and heavy attacks. R1s and R2s, pretty typical for fighting games. Just got back from getting a massage. I'm so relaxed. Don't forget to drink some water. Don't forget to drink some water. Gotta drink up, stay hydrated. Hello to the awesome chat. One of the best communities on Twitch. It's good to see all of you guys here so early, by the way. Thank you guys for tuning in and dropping in right when we went live. It's much appreciated. I love seeing all the homies in chat so early. Okay, we got a little bit of a minion ghost thing here. What was that noise? Enough. I heard like a bah. Was that in the game? It sounded like there was a vibration off to my side. Maybe it was my phone or something. Okay, so there is a lock on system. I wasn't sure. This game caught my eye like 10 Just minutes ago. Lo and behold, order. Ultra's playing yeah. it. Yeah. Same. I actually was really interested in this game when I initially saw it when uh, it Maybe. was like but showcased at one of the... Um, or are they keeping you know game? like the ooh upcoming games thing with all like the trailers and all that shit like an e3 type of thing hey cryptic how we doing man good to see you back um but yeah i put it on our list of upcoming games and then the game fully came out and i didn't really hear a whole lot about it it kind of like feels like it got slightly mixed reviews you know so i just was like i don't know and i kind of put it off and then we beat a couple other games and i was like nah you know what i want to play this game i wanted to play it i don't care what other people say i'm going to take my own opinion on it i've heard that people really like the story and then i've also heard from other people that there's no one that's likable in the story so it's literally just like who is playing it depending on if they like the game or not it seems like so we'll see we'll take our own opinion we'll form our own thing going on here i went to buy rise of the ronin saw this game now looking into it dude rise of the ronin is gonna be nasty brother it's gonna be so good i can feel it Cryptic Tadpole, though, man, how you doing today? Dear cousin, this farce that is New Eden Town has gone on long enough. You tried. You tried all that you could to make it work, to build something there. But if the words you send me are true, then by God, take your wife and your precious children, pack your belongings, and leave that ungodly place. 
come to Providence and live with us. There is farm work here, and Simon or Simone? And I will gladly take you until you find a place of your own. Please, I am begging you, come with us. We are for family, and the children will be safer here. John James Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt, Providence of 8th of September of 1694. I keep wanting to say 19. Having a lazy evening here in the Blighty. Hope you are well. Dude, all good. All good here, man. Thanks for popping in. So, Lords of the Fallen again with this one? I think so, where it's going to be like person to person, case to case. And honestly, I feel like when it comes to games like these, I'm a little bit more accepting of faults. So, like, I don't know. Stuff that makes people be like, I condemn this game forever. I'll probably, like, think it's fine. Seven leather. <laughs> we can now make half of an outfit. Can I get through this? Wasn't sure. I hate it. I love it. No, I hate it. It's okay. Whoa, nice jump. Hey, get him, Red. Get him, Red. Way to banish him. Behind you. <laughs> we weren't even looking. Behind you. <laughs> it's easy as falling off a box. Behind you. Watch out, my love. Watch out behind you. The original settlers, perhaps. Whoever. The original settlers? What about the people who just were originally here? Huh? What about the Native Americans? We're in America. 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 Fuck yeah. You do not. I would say that I would like it if the combat was a little bit more aggressive. Maybe it's because I have it on night mode. Maybe I'll turn off night mode for the audio chat and see what happens. Um, attacking with your weapon fills the banishing gauge. When the banishing gauge is full, just press X to banish your target. That's it. Get banished! <laughs> oh, it did a little AOE explosion thing too, where it hurt the guy that was uh, near us. Oh, nice. Uh, a light and then a heavy and is an instant kill. Two swings. Good stuff. You know what, chat? I think I'm, let's try turning off the nighttime mode thing so that the audio, maybe the um, combat will be a little bit more like punchy. Maybe it'll have uh, some better audio leveling for different stuff. If not, maybe I'll boost the game's overall volume. Spectral dust, other things and whatnot. Feels like God of War. It's got that uh, third person melee type combat, which is funny because we were just playing Evil West and Evil West is definitely very God of War like as well. A note, damp and bloody. Perhaps these words will be lost in time, but I must write them. The date? I cannot say. It's a secret. <laughs> I know it's the month of June in the year of 1695. I thought that we would be safer in Providence. I thought that we would finally see the children again and the golden wheat fields would ring with their laughter. <laughs> Their mother now lies dead. Oh, rip. And I shall join her soon. Something insidious walks the roads. Terrible spirits took us. New Eden is cursed. You who reads this now, I tell you. Rod. These people Don't tell me nothing. Just a few days. Don't tell me about nothing, brother. Exactly yeah. Here. Wait. I just interacted with this and the thing is still on the ground. I don't really like that. Once you interact with something once, it should go away. He should go away! Go away! Spectral dust. I wonder what all this stuff that we're picking up is going to be used for. Like, crafting? Hold R2 for charge attacks. Oh, nice! To fill the banishing gauge faster. Whoa, okay, that's a big charge. Circles a dodge chat. So the enemies, I mean, I feel like they haven't even really tried to hit me yet. I know that we're in the very beginning of the game still, but like all the enemies that we're coming across, they're just kind of hanging out. Should I boost the difficulty? Oh, you know what, chat? I had a friend of mine that was playing this game and he told me to play it on a harder difficulty. Can I change this whenever? Oh, difficulty mode right here. You cannot change difficulty when saving is forbidden. 
I was told that I might want to boost the difficulty for an actual challenge. Let's play this game on the hardest mode. That all goes badly for the case. It's red. My beautiful, beautiful man with his big Scottish mustache and beard combo. His beautiful tied ponytail hair. I love my giant man of a man red. Mm. Scrumptious human. I love the setting of this game, dude. The uh, the visuals are very nice. Hey, what up, Bo? What up, baby? Yeah. How we doing, Bo? Bo might knoweth. When we get to town, we may need to split up to cover more ground. You may count on the most responsible student of Vanishir Kedav. Is this us in town? She said when we get to town, we might want to split up. Is this the town? Are we here? Hello, Primo. It's good to see you, though, Bo. How are you doing today, man? They were leaving because of disease and starvation. Oh, um, because of disease and starvation? Were they leaving for other reasons like death and destruction? And all of the ghosts that we need to banish. It's our job! Boston Fort Jericho. The Harrow's Hamlet. Oh, thank God I pressed X to read that. I don't know why I thought I was going to get something a little bit different than just, like, the text again. Hey, can you guys read that? Press X and read it again. Just going to pick up all the stuff. A lot of hoof fungus. I don't, we're picking up a lot of, like, hoof for fungus stuff, dude. I don't, I don't know. Gross. Susanna, it's been days since we ate. Each day the town empties further. Folk would sooner risk the cold than stay. The minister said help was on the way. Nice rhyme. But I do not know how much time we have left or how much time before the next sickness takes us all. I shall entrust my neighbor with this letter in the hope that it will reach you. If nothing changes, I'll try to cross the woods myself. I hear folk assemble bands. The better to safely brave the wilderness. May God help us. Oh, that was a lady. Let me read it all again. Susanna, it's been days since we ate. I'm just kidding. I'm not doing that. <laughs> we all have a fungus in our pantries. Ew. Never know when you need it. Ah. What animal, though? That's what I'm wondering. What hoof? Like a horse? I feel like a lot of animals just step in their own poop a lot. Cow? Like, see, like, every animal just steps in its own feces a little too much. I don't know if I want that fungus. <laughs> New Eden Town. That's where we're going. We're the banishers of New Eden. New Eden Town has been discovered. It's time to split up. It's shrooms, bro? Let's find the inn. Oh. Let's find Charles. Yeah? Dude, let's fucking get lit, chat. Let's inject these shrooms. Let's inject the hoof fungus right into my, uh, right into my neck. Yo, Katas with the 100 base. Let's get it. A pretty word for what? For a set of shackles? Let's go. Hunters with a single purpose. The world of evil spreading curses. Beacon of light. I'm gonna fight. Hope for the living and death of the dead. Hope for the living and death for the dead. Let's go! We got Catastrophe with the 100 biddies, and we got Bo with the gifted sub to crash. We got a hype train already just from that alone, huh? That's gonna bring us in. God damn, let's go! Crash, enjoy the ad free viewership and all the emotes. We got like a million of them, dude. Hope you like them. Thank you, Bo. My man. <laughs> We got Architect contributing to the hype train as well. All aboard the hype train, chat. Let's go, dude. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go. Somewhere in this zone. Whoa, did you see that map? Yo, catastrophe. You're crazy. The world of evil spreading curses. Begin to fight. I'm going to fight. Hope for the living and death of the dead. You have no right. I'm on my side. Hope for the living and death of the dead. We got Apollo dropping 100 biddies. We've got Architect dropping 100 biddies. We got Cat dropping 500. We've got Ron gifting a sub to Cryptic Tadpole. Let's go, guys. Let's fucking go, chat. You guys are popping off straight into that level two hype train. So somewhere in this zone, chat. Oh, probably. No, oh, okay. This whole area, maybe. We gotta find it. <laughs> Good day. Hunters with a single purpose. You're in the world. Curses. 
it's like hope for the living and death for the dead. Let's go, guys. Where are the children? Where are the children? Where are they? Where are the children? I want to poke them. I want to stab them. You guys know me and children. That kind of That's fun, 500 bitties from Catastrophe. Let's go, dude. Architect dropping another 100 bitties. He wants to hear it one more time. Yo, thank you, dude. Hiding from Anakin? That's where the kids are? <laughs> Orchid, how we doing? Welcome into the stream. Where is the inn? We expected it to touch. When we find it? The king's out. He can't miss it. The band is yours. Hunters with a single purpose. You're in the world of evil spreading curses. Speaking of life, I'm gonna fight. Hope for the living and death of the dead. You have no right. I'm on my sight. Hope for the living and death of the dead. Yeah, maybe that's what I'm talking about. Let's go. God, that's scary. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. I know that it's frightening. I'm fully aware that this is basically Satan's face. We can't get in there. Okay, cool. The inn is opposite of out. I will not take such stupid jokes in this chat. I'm just kidding. I like it. The inn is the opposite of out. Where is the inn located? Not in, but out. This part of town is closed by the governor's decree until you unlock the next level of the game. It's Leatherface, essentially. Essentially. <laughs> Brought it back right away. You said, oh God, that's creepy. I want it to stay. Bring it back, baby. I want to see it some more. Yo, guys, thanks for the hype, though, guys. You're killing it. Killing it, baby. Doomsday has come. It's here. Doomsday's here. Great, Great she says. Great, she says, in excitement, being actually stoked. A silly duck death cloud. What is going on, everybody? How are we doing? What's up, Raiders? Chad, if you are from here and you're not checking out Silly Duck, I actually really like their streams. Love hanging out with that community. I uh, lurk it pretty often. Um, but thank you guys. Welcome on in. What's going on, T Flack? What up, baby? Duck Raiders, how we doing? Welcome into the stream. My name is Ultra. I'm a comedy based streamer. Uh, I just try to have fun, play a wide variety of games. We're checking out Banishers. If you guys haven't seen this game, it's a. Uh, I don't know. It's got like the the light and heavy swings. You know, it's got the different shit going on. Cliff Hines, how we doing, man? Silly Duck, it's good to see you, dude. How are you doing, man? Here's my actual face. In case anybody was like, is that Ultra's real face? That man needs to get some sleep. Look at those eyes. Yikes, dude. In case anybody was concerned for a little bit there, we, we've got it figured out. Don't you worry. How are we doing, though, everybody? Somewhere here, there's an inn located. Curfew. Make sure you... Uh, no Discord. No Discord chat. If you guys are new and you're not in the Discord, no Discord, okay? See that? No Discord and no turmoil either. Stay in your homes, idiots. A curfew? Stay in your chats. But no Discord. Oh, no Discord, Cliff. <laughs> the cemetery is closed. I want to read this middle one, too. The path to the meeting house is closed also by the governor's decree. Got it. No Discord? Why? Because no Discord. Period. Um, Still not sure where the inn is. Oh, it's like 20 meters. Is this place? This is the one. Let's go. Let's get in there. I'm doing good, though. I think it's nap time for me. However, dude, get some good sleep, man. Appreciate the raid. Welcome in, everybody, again. Charlie, and uh, if you guys would be so kind and would like to stick around and hang out with us, feel absolutely free. This stream is very chill. We try to keep things very uh, open and warm around here. So if you guys want to hang out and vibe with us, feel free. Thank you guys for a hype trade success. Level two completed at 70%. Let's go. Let's go! Two subs and 900 bitties. Thank you, guys. Be kind and rewind. Choo choo, motherfucker! Where's Charles? Get that good sleep, dude. Raiders, what kind of games are you guys into? More than likely, if you're watching Silly Duck, y'all are uh, Souls like fans. Anybody from the raid play this game? Pennington, captain of the train band. This year is the Apex! I like Apex! I'm a big fan of Apex. Why is Charles not here? Hey, you look like a famous lady. I've seen that lady's face before. 
Where is she from? Maybe it's just somebody who they made look like somebody. The Reverend is dead. When? How? A terrible tragedy. Charles the Reverend is dead? Still very much in shock. Uh oh. Our shock at Reverend Davenport's killing is so great that we must sit here in I would rather move my own skin than play Apex? Governor of the colony of Seems like a slight exaggeration. Look at us. A slight Starting overreaction. Meet the same fate. Slightly dramatic. <laughs> miles away by now. You look <laughs> what you want. I intend to live in. Not at all. But Orchid, if you don't play Apex, how are you going to have somebody on your team drive you off of a ledge and then go, Teammate, I am so sorry, teammates. If you never play Apex, you're never going to have that moment. Still stands, Fairfax. Sitting here, doing nothing. We are as lambs to the slaughter. The banishers are here. Surely with their expertise, we may yet prevail. <laughs> I'll risk it. Then I shall leave you when you're for the biscuit. In ghosts and devils. I like that guy's right eye. My expertise in blood and battle is of little use. A man's got Mr. such Stratis. insanely advanced but cataracts that his right eye looks like it's just completely you blind. May visit me at home. On the other side of the street, as it were. I'll meet you over there. Well, Governor, shall you leave or shall you stay? Myself. How does one achieve the build that Fairfax Haskell has? has it's such an interesting build. But we are worth <laughs> and now that you are here, save it we shall. Somehow fatter in the face Please. than in his actual abdomen. Snacks. For the loss of your friend. Oh, he's a snack, all right. The loss of <clears throat> minister so very keenly. <clears throat> Charles Davenport was a man of great knowledge and devotion. The pride, indeed, of Eaton. <laughs> Jigglypuff, did I say hi to you? It's good to see you. I remember how we found his body in the cemetery. Indeed, it distresses me yet further to tell you that we do not know what so tragically cost him his life. Hey, no worries, Apollo. What do you think happened? Could your physicians not save him? I'd actually just rather say what do you think happened because I don't this this seems like an irrelevant question because they didn't unless we're accusing them of literally just not trying I think saying what do you think happened would be the better choice here what do you think that was my fat thumbs the random hashtag no worries guess it's a little use no worries nuglius it is evident however that Charles's unexpected death is linked to his investigation of the curse in the minister's absence I try in all humility to protect us all, body and soul, from our ongoing peril. I'm ready to fight some see, big monsters youth, and demons, Chad. This should be really fun. I too am something of a scientist I myself. I too. Demonologists. And neither was Charles. Is his widow. Hey, ascended fox. Visitors. Happy Saturday. <laughs> I too am a bit of a uh, freak of nature. What's up, Saint? The house overlooks the dock. I offered Charles a home with a view across a pretty meadow, but he refused. He preferred the village life. Speak to her, if she'll see you. But she knows no more than we do about how her husband died. Me just staring into the camera with this creepy music going on is kind of unsettling. Everyone look really close to my face. You study demonology? The game? You're a demonologist, you say? I am that. I'm pro. My, father My team actually glory. won the 2024 esports tournament for demonologists. Are our twin compasses. We destroyed all of the little the games that you have to play. I don't know that game. Not even heard of this game? Have I missed much? No. You haven't missed much at all. We ran through a town, curse. collected a couple items, they slapped a couple me. ghosts. They have told me that Reverend Davenport was better placed than I to solve Nice forehead, problem, Saint. Which is why you're here. We agreed it. I shall stand for the company, I said. As the moral authority, the anchor, and the rock. As Charles and his banishers lift the curse. Um, real quick again though, chat, if you guys aren't checking out a silly duck, please be sure to do so, alright? Heroic work all around. Perhaps we'll 
he'll will come for advice. I'll just say this. Heroic work all around. Be sure to check for uh, silly duck though, guys. Indeed Great dude. But we do Hit that little link right there, guys. Oh, a little bit of Elden Ring action tonight. Nice. A lot of people have been playing Elden Ring lately. The hype for that new trailer dropped, and I think it's just been really making people stoked. I also think we might be playing Elden Ring again for us um, because I want to create a new character that's not hella leveled for the DLC. Ooh, this looks really pretty. The controller. The light. It's a nice color. It's like a soft blue. It's kind of hard to see with the green screen, but you guys see what I'm saying? Motivations may differ. All who remain have shown extraordinary faith and courage in the face of our adversity. Where'd they go? Those who left, where did they go? Boston, outlying settlements, anywhere, everywhere. I hope that we're playing that heavy set man and not that woman. <laughs> you want to play as Fairfax Haskell? Dark woods I want to play as Fairfax. I do not. No, Chad, if we were going to play as Fairfax, I would rip out this overlay. I don't even know if I have it anymore. I need to find it, though. Dude, if I have this, it's going to be so good. Yes, dude. If we were going to play as this guy, Chad, I would just use this overlay. <laughs> so rude. For all I know, this is a real man. This Fairfax guy, he could be a real man in real life. This could be his actual location. I would, if, if I was going to be in this guy... If I was gonna play him, I would just look like this the whole time. Got my PlayStation controller, we're just hanging out. You guys know how it is. We're just big chilling. It's gonna be really fun. We're gonna play some banisters. We're just gonna kick some ass. What the fuck is that supposed to mean, Bo? You into this shit? You like this? That's what I'm saying? That's hot? What happened to Evil West? What do you mean what happened to Evil West? We beat it. <laughs> oh my god. Dr. Dragons, what's good, dude? Will they return? Will they return when the curse is lifted? I fervently hope so. We beat Evil West. I started they playing it again, actually, uh, this morning on the hardest difficulty. It ain't ago, too bad when you have all your upgrades. Live with their absence. If we do not resolve this situation quickly, Evil West was cool. The community of New Eden shall be broken. Perhaps forever. All right, let's go back. Let's hear about this curse. Can you tell me about the curse? This is going to be important stuff. I can tell you it's good to see you, Dr. Jenkins. Misery for many long What's up, dude? Now. And I can tell you that it worsens by the increments. First, there was pestilence and disease. Then came the nightmares. Creepy. Then came madness. Mm hmm In the end came death. And death remains. Wow. But in all honesty... I think the weather is the worst part. <laughs> Hold, on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This man said, we all got diseases. We started having nightmares. We went crazy. We died. Now there's ghosts roaming around, but it's real cold outside. Is that what you're telling me? That's what this guy cares about? He's like, but that weather, bro, I tell you what, it's been raining. Yikes. It's heavy on us all. The never ending winter. Traps us here. I mean, true. Oh, it's just Detroit. Damn. True, though. What caused it? What caused what the never-ending winter? In my humble opinion, I'll point to the obvious. The abyss disgorges. The abyss disgorges its spawn. Disgorges. New Eden, bent on making God's poor creatures suffer. As to just about to head out, though. Was we going? Uh, That's gonna do my own Elden Ring prep? Hell yeah. Our late friend Charles faced a Herculean task. And acquitted himself. Hey, man, I hope you have a good time. You will have to do far better than that, I'm afraid. Mm. Our contract stands. If you'll have it, I love her little yes. three lines under her Our eyes. Contract stands. I'm going to draw them on my own for face Charles. for this playthrough. All right. For Charles. The doctor's in. Going good? Going to rest over my early birthday? Yeah, your birthday is Monday, right? We have what we need. Then I wish you success. By my instructions, Where are you going to eat? Prepared for you in the old schoolhouse. I'll be here if you need me. So we got instructions in the old schoolhouse on how to banish these guys. Hopefully I'll be back later. Catch you guys then or tomorrow. Hell yeah, man. We'll be live for like five hours. So you got plenty of time. Oh, also, that's uh, probably semi-important news for the Raiders. We stream on a schedule here. If anybody's still hanging out from that raid, 
Um, first, if you're still here from that raid, thanks a lot. I appreciate you guys for chilling. Secondly, we stream every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from noon to five. So we just started. We'll be live for like another four hours or so, four and a half, five hours. So I appreciate you guys for hanging out, man. Thanks for allowing me to entertain all of you guys, not just the Raiders, but just anybody in general for today's stream. Thanks for allowing me to get that opportunity. Pieces of eight. 17. Is the pieces of eight, is that the currency name in this game? Pieces of eight. Hello and goodbye, my good sir. Hello and goodbye. I think we're all done in here. Who sprints inside? The sprinting around inside. <laughs> As announced at the last town hall meeting, I hereby close the King's Arms Tavern, leaving the key to the Selectum. Select men? Sorry. <laughs> Selectum. Uh, there shall be no ale sold nor drunk until the curse is lifted and I return. The storerooms are locked and there, so are the bedrooms. God bless. Dawn Zero. I sprint inside, but only because I get the zoomies sometimes. Little freak of nature. Zooming, zooming around. Woo, 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 woo. What's up, Dawn? How we doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Hope all is well with you. So we got this compass. The compass indicates the direction and distance towards an objective. Follow the yellow marker to meet with your Esther. The real question is, though, is do we want to just run around to, like, grab shit like this? You know what I'm saying? That was probably pieces of eight, but I think it's blocked by this compass thing. These people are idiots. No, I'm gonna say that they're helpless, dude. These people have no idea. I'm not gonna say that they're idiots. These these people have been suffering famine and being fucked up and all this other stuff. I'm not gonna be like they're stupid. These people are fucking dumb. These people, these are dumb people. I'm good. So I'm making some pretzels from scratch. Let's go. Just waiting for the dough to rise. Nice. Does she not look like an actress though, Chat? I feel like I've seen this lady before. Good times. Do you intend to leave? I take it you intend to leave. But have you considered that only dumb idiots get sick and run out of food? <laughs> okay, actually, wait. Might be on to something. Hold on. Turns out, chat, that if... Let me flip through my notebook. Yes, here it is. Um, if you are poor, you're stupid. Got it. Trade a pack of smokes for half a uh, salted herring back then? You'll make too if you wish. Totally said hi to you by yourself. I'm saying hi to you. That's because they like you. There's no hope for Write that down. Write it down. Not till the weather changes and it don't look like changing. She looks so familiar to me. I don't know why. What's your role here? Well, I'm saying hi to you. Lately, Get I wrecked. Need doing when no one else will. Weakened as they are by comfort and the curse. In normal times, I hunt. Now, though, it's cold enough to freeze the nankies off an horse. Nankies? Rots as quick as you can get it home. <laughs> you can't eat a ghost. Can't skin it. Can't sell it. <laughs> Is anybody familiar with that chat? Anybody know that phrase? Nankies? So We're picking up hoof fungus and talking about nankies falling off of horses? I think nothing much about it. <laughs> Don. Hello, hello, spirit. welcome, hello, hi, hello. I think folk went mad, and I know we found the Reverend dead. The Reverend being dead is a problem. That's very interesting. Do you guys think that we're going to fight the Reverend? Because all the people that have died have been stuck here, right? So maybe we're going to have to expel and banish the Reverend's ghost. That'd be kind of cool, actually. Sounds like naked folk running away. No, that sounds like this. What of the governor? Anything I should know. That useless clat wagger. With Davenport dead, godly folk look to be led. Fairfax Askell couldn't be happier. I pity he'll get them all killed. <sighs> what about Captain Pennington? What of the captain? Now there's a man of worth. Without Saul Pennington, there'd be no town left at all. These last months have been hard on him. I hope his metal holds. If I had my way, made my eyes water. Is, opening him that I'll high. Give a rat's knacks for loyalty. Wide. Who but says hi? Does. All right, back. Goodbye. Well then, thank you for your help. Thanks for the words. Aye. Of wisdom. I'm ready to do some more combat, though. I want to fight people more. Said that house stood above the docks. Okay, so they got this all the stuff like kind of locked off. 
seems like a lot of the homes that are around here chat are just locked up like a lot of the doors are just kind of locked away not a whole lot for us to investigate and check out let's go ahead and just go this way i suppose let's go towards the mission objective marker <gasps> flashies i'm actually so excited that these things like flash and stuff so that i don't have to like super look around wild chervil looks like a uh shitty plant hey lady oh it's nice to see you manager in town i'm a settler i want pretzels now but they're not gonna be done for like two hours damn i like food I yep me too this fellow here is red i love her name of course i'm lisbeth o'hara i'm a and big fan of her name antia duarte what? something like that duarte antia duarte i love it Ooh, that's nice it is nice governor haskell told us of the curse i'd like to <laughs> look at red in the background just chilling you see his ass <laughs> well i'll not speak ill of my neighbors someone must i just sit back here and let the girl do all the talking Antia duarte she is antuya so hot eh someone always does I understand vanishers often trade with the forces of evil. We do not trade. We trade blows. We trade some blows with the forces of evil. By the errors of the living. Hands but rated E for everyone. No mercy. What do you do here, peasant bitch? <laughs> what are you doing? Really unfair. Most people say you dumb idiot. Doors. Since you ask, I came to town. You to poor, starving, disease-ridden idiot. Sore leg. The salve eases her discomfort. We have a small farm some miles from here. And yes, the curse sits there too. Did you know Charles Davenport? Did you know Charles Davenport? You know, it's actually weird. I feel like I don't even need to read. Most of the time in dialogue choice games, when you pick something, they say it a little bit different than the choice that you're picking. It seems like you just read it verbatim. So I don't know if I really need to read it before they say it. But then I feel like I'll just be sitting here in silence a lot. That feels kind of weird for a stream. You may have your time back. This game's going to be a lot of yapping, though. Well, so strap in, grab your popcorn chat, and get involved in the story, man. Get invested with me. Let's all just vibe out. Because this might be one of those games, guys, where we're just going to have to strap in, sit down, pay attention, listen, and watch. This might be like basically an interactive movie. I'm not entirely sure. But I'm certainly not going to fight it. You know what I mean? I'm just going to let the game roll however the game wants to roll. I really like it so far. So far, I think this game's actually really interesting. I'm, I'm invested into what is going to happen here. We've got a town that's cursed. And we're here to relieve it. Come in. storytelling feels like the witcher yeah right it's got that like a lot of setup then we're going to discover what we need to fix and then we're going to prep for it and then we're going to fight it I've, i have a feeling it's going to be a lot of that which honestly it's cool as long as the stories that they build are interesting so far this one is interesting i love the witcher me too dude the witcher 3 top tier game you know they're remaking i think the first one never played it so i'd be down Estate. Not remastering it, remaking You're not it. Alone now. We're here. I'm so sorry we didn't get here on time. Truly. I know. I'm so sorry. Charles kept teammate. It. <laughs> Have faith. I'm so sorry, teammate. Will come. If only he had kept his faith himself. If you build your faith, to him. they will come. Poor Charles. Just one more victim of the curse of New Eden. You know how he is. Was. Restless. Impatient. It's not that he gave up on you, his friends, but that he could wait no more. I believe he tried to lift yes. the curse. CD Project Red is starting a fourth Witcher. It's going to be not Geralt. No that was cleared up really early. I think they made that apparent husband. very early so that we could kind of like accept that over time. You know what I mean? I'm cool with that. I knew right out the gate. It's the same feeling that I had for The Last of Us 2, where The Last of Us 2 was going to come out and I was like, well, then Joel's going to get killed. And then he did. And then I was like, well, 
You know what I mean? I was like, that's not upsetting. Maybe how it was done was upsetting or whatever, but I knew that was going to be the case. It's the same thing with this game where it's like, or not this game, but The Witcher, where after I got done playing The Witcher 3, I was like, if they make another Witcher game, it ain't going to be with Geralt. His story's done. Like, this is such a good finale for Geralt's story. Like, we just need to move on from his shit and start a new game, a new protagonist and do its own thing. And then sure enough, they came out and they were like, yep, that's what we're doing. And I was like, figured. I figured it would be Siri potentially, but I think they actually, they may go the path of creating your own character. So you would just like, you know, create your face, but you'd have a, a name attached to it, whether you pick a male or female Witcher, and then you create your character. I bet they're going to do something like that. How were things before? How were things, you know, before all this? We'll see though. We got any fans of the before Witcher in here? Us. I've contemplated doing a Witcher playthrough for a long, long, long time, time, but I don't know. Charles immersed himself in the community here. But I mean, he shit, if we're all cool with how slow this game is, The Witcher's not any slower. Came to rely on him. I'm sure they I love The Witcher. It's now, so good. But I can't imagine it's the same. What can you tell me about the esteemed Governor Haskell? Fairfax Haskell is well-read and educated. But at times his back can be too stiff. Me too. He shares Charles's interest My back is stiff. in the unknown. Stiff AF. But his passion seems less than practical. Here, listen to my back. He's an academic. Still, good to know that <laughs> he has some understanding of our work. He has a, you might hear it again. We met the captain too, along with the huntress, Thickskin. Do you know them? I find Thickskin Newsmith's manner a little frightening. Yeah, I like know, Don. Isn't it so annoying? You know what that is, Don? To me, it's uh, lazy writing. Comes with a I don't, don't want to get into it too much because that's a huge discussion. I kind of want to just get invested in this game. Um, but just, I'm sure this will be something that a lot of people will agree with. So it, I'm kind of just saying it because I want a blanket statement, that whole thing. Because Don was saying it started with The Last of Us 2, but there's been a massive trend of people trashing games. But not only games too, movies as well of characters with like dying or maybe they change them like into making them like a different like they, they've always been like this stoic really good person you can look up to and then all of a sudden they become this like drunken alcoholic who has their life falling apart and they have to be redeemed or saved by someone else some new character and it's like oh cool so the new guy is saving the old guy that we used to love who's now a piece of shit like that whole weird thing that's been going on with movies and video games. You know what it is to me, chat? Especially with p characters being killed off that are loved. Trash writing by lazy people. That's what that is to me. They're like, we don't know what we're going to do with this story. But we can do massive shock factor value that's going to make everybody post articles and do reaction reviews on the internet and do a shitload of like legwork for us in advertising by killing off our main character in a stupid way. And then everybody will be like, and then they'll make articles and videos about it. And then everybody will hear about our game. I swear to God, that's like what they're doing. They're just like, we don't know what to do. So we're just going to do the worst thing you can think of. I swear. I don't know. That's what it feels like to me, man. Hey, what's up, Freaky Zoid? How we doing, man? If you do a full Witcher 3 playthrough, be prepared to be playing it for like the next year. I know. I've beaten the game, Fox, three times. So I know how long the game is. He comports himself with a wry dignity. But that's just how I feel about that writing. It just feels so lazy to me every time. Sad. Charles thought so too. There are wounds beneath Saul Pennington's armor, he said. How we doing, Freaky? That time and God have not yet healed. Is there anything we should know about? Lord, deliver me, for I cannot endure this. I cannot endure it, and Charles does not deserve it. Anything at all, Esther? Yeah, there's a lot of things, Don, when it comes I to uh, The Last of Us 2, that I feel like, honestly, the story wasn't that bad. It was just the order in which things were done. Like, I feel like if they just streamlined the story a lot more and just, like, put things in different order. Like, I thought about it for a really long time after we played that game because... The story is the only thing that gave it a negative review. Like everything else is top tier for The Last of Us, but the story itself was not for me. And I feel like it's literally just the order in which things occurred. Like if they just did things in a different fucking order, I feel like the story would have flown a lot better. It would have just been like better in general. Like, I don't know, man. Yeah. And the person that you were hunting was Joel and then switched to Ellie for the second. I know they did it like fucking, they just, it was bad like directing, man. 
Dude, I just got out of the sauna with a wood burner and it is sleeting outside. So standing in the rain, yo, that hot, cold back and forth. Felt Charles present about the house. But man, Freaky is healing. His ghost lingers. Good for your soul. Please help. If he's here, I promise I will know no rest until he has his. You can count on us. Dude, that like we'll weird. The house. Charles's papers are She's got like office. electricity scars on the side of her head that goes up to that strip of white hair on her head. You guys think that's like from actually like electricity? I also think that a big reason that people don't like the good guys dying is because it's antithetical to the building of a hero complex that like a lot of video games rely on for the narrative. Yeah, and see, there's nothing wrong essentially with Joel dying. I think it was just how it was done. We'll take a look around if that's all right. Because I'm okay with characters dying. Like, spoiler alert, but I used to really like the series Gears of War. And when Dom died, I wasn't upset. I was sad. You unlocked your first hint. It contains important information about the person that it is linked to. You can refer to the hints at any given moment through your haunting cases menu. Haunting cases. Feels great, man. A. Hey, you know it. So we've got one for Esther. Understanding why Charles lingers. Investigate the study. Investigate the bedroom. So we do. We have this thing. Yeah, they spent an entire half of the game giving you every little reason to hate somebody. Then after that, tried to like change your mind. I don't know. Stupid. Like even Abby's parts of her game. Again, I don't want to talk about the last of us all fucking stream. It's such a tired out conversation at this point. But um, Abby's parts of the game. Best parts of the game. Her parts are the most enjoyable parts of that game. But the whole time I was like, hopefully she dies. I never grew to like her. I don't fucking care. Ellie and Joel are my team. Joel's dead. Well, then Ellie's my team. So that's all I got. That so that's all I'm going to care about. Like I don't give a fuck about Abby or her crew. Every time somebody from Abby's crew died, I laughed. I never was like, oh, no. The governor had a room prepared for it was the same when Moto from Biker Mice from Mars got really badly injured. I don't know anything about that. That sounded like just fake words. That sounded, to me, that sounded like you made all that up. <laughs> a new Scotch tune in G major by Henry Purcell. Play it, chat. The school Purcell. Whip it out, Purcell. Better. These days, Damn, we're talking I shit. Can't believe you She's like, this is what you're playing? What are you, poor? It cost a fortune. Not only are you poor but you cannot part a pianist to be uh, playing it, you can't even eat food. You're poor as hell. A study of H. Purcell's Shack Jenny and G minor for strings, whatever. Yeah, that's the only thing about trying to make you like an antagonist feels empathetic. You have to try to make the person consuming it empathize with the villain before you try to make them forgivable. Yeah, I know. So dumb. Sadness and interval. That's why like when people are like, that story is like the best story ever. Like if you're dumb. Esther, some food and ale for you. Sorry for your loss. Your neighbors hold you in their hearts. This is Charles's. Charles's cape. It's like he never left. Have you received other visitors? Most dare not leave their homes. Although Mr. Bachelor came to see So you. when people are talking, I don't think that we can interact with some of this stuff. Like there's just like a little stuff once in a while that we can't actually use. That's to go. See you next time. Hey, no worries, Freaky. Thanks for popping in for a little bit. My dearest Charles, how delighted I was to read your words. It is always a pleasure to hear from you. And to know that you yourself and your beloved Esther are doing well. I have contacted our brothers in London, but unfortunately we could not find anything in our archives that matches the description of the events that you have experienced in New Eden. Be that as it may, pestilence and never-ending winters are phenomena, perhaps too broad for us to pinpoint the exact cause. I can give you no better answer. Be it sorcery, the presence of an Iker, or something else entirely, we cannot say. All I can do is invite you to continue your research and to take note of all of the observations. Our brotherhood of St. Paul's stole has so little presence in the new world. Any new information shall be precious indeed. Please stay safe, my friend. Yours truly, Eleanor Combs. That was a lady. Let me read that over again. I was to read your words. It is always a pleasure to hear from you and to know that yourself and your beloved Esther are doing well. I Eleanor's a lady, right? That's not a man name. Still in touch. I'm gonna go upstairs. Motherhood is a tie that binds. 
Charles was so eager to continue Wait. his research here. Wait, said brother. If only we had known what would I was wondering why Eleanor had a deep voice. I just said that they were brothers. Did I mishear that? <laughs> completely destroyed. She lost him, and now he's back. Look at all this stuff. This is kind of interesting. I, I like that we're investigating his study and like finding all the stuff and trying to link things as to why he's sticking around and so that we can banish this guy. It's really neat, actually. This could very well get boring after a while, but I'm liking it so far. Look, his hairpiece. Pog. Actual haunting, you said. You were. Still, you did all right. A precious king from a chess set protected by a glass dome. Who the fuck? <laughs> Who keeps a... What? Was this from a tournament that he won? Like, what the hell's the point of that? That is so strange. From the set that he taught me with. Oh, that's cool. Oh, okay. Now it's cute. I was talking mad shit. Now it's cute. Remember when he started to in the passion to play part two after finishing part one for the first time last week fades away like a balloon slipping from a child's hands and floating away i still would say to play it dude it's worth it just simply because the gameplay is really good the gameplay the scenery the fighting the new mechanics that they incorporate the way that the game runs is really cool just don't go into the story not expecting it to be nearly as good as the first one for me I think the Two-Face and the Dark Knight trilogy is a great example of a villain that has the audience can empathize with because we have well, he was depicted as a beacon of morality until someone meticulously broke him. Exactly. You build it up. You don't give me garbage and then tell me to polish it off and accept the golden turd that you gave me. It's just backwards, man. The world! Around the world, around the world. A lot of this is just like, hey, we put books in here to put dates to make you feel like you're reading something from that time. Does that feel like that to you guys? It's just like, hey, check this out. Look at this. You open up this book. Told Fear Die Toten by Barofasser Hans Fraunhofer. <laughs> is that German? Told Fear Die Toten by Barofasser Hans Fraunhofer. I tried to read it as upset as I could, just didn't work. Ja, none of this side of the water and few of the other know that I came to New Eden as minister in order to per pursue research into the new world on behalf of the Brotherhood of St. Paul Stoll. And what strangeness I have found, there are ghosts here, yes, old and innumerable, but they are quiet. I shall never say the word aloud, but I suspect there are to be witches. And if I find one, I shall very quickly ask her to for her story, Harry Potter. Voldemort. Okay, here we go. This is the thing that we actually came in here for. Job 7, 13, 15. 13. When I say, my bed shall comfort me, my couch shall ease my complaints. 14, then thou scarest me with dreams and terrifiest me through visions. And 15, so that my soul choseth strangling and death rather than my life. She comes to me in dreams. <laughs> Zuko from Avatar The Last Airbender is great. Yeah. Yeah, because you see him be from a, a, a natured villain do the wrong thing thinking they're doing the right thing you dropped something and then he slowly becomes a good guy in the end of that right what do all these dreams have in common are they the promise of a doomsday or a nightmare coming visions foreshadowing is someone behind this who is the real target and what caused this anger to burst forth i need to know how it gets into our heads sleep no longer offers rest and this cannot perdure Purdue. These notes are erratic ramblings. Charles was worried about the curse plaguing the settler's dream. Ja. That's mine. This curse tormenting Where do the nightmares come from? Investigate the haunt. Is this the thing that we just got? Charles was worried about the influences that threatening spirit had on the settler's dreams. The fuck? Charles Davenport's brooch. 
a silver brooch habitually worn by Charles Davenport engraved with a distinctive three hilted sword. It looks really nice, actually. Charles always wore this brooch. His things are untouched. Nothing's moved. Well, that's because he probably he just died a little bit ago, you know? We hadn't read. You know how weird it is to move there. stuff from people who just died? Actually listen. I'd always let my mind wander. Lo, children are in heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is the reward. Psalms 127-3. Yes. Lord. Three drops of lavender oil in chamomile infused before sleep. Wintergreen to rub tween palms and behind ears. Three times a day. Three. If restlessness persists, use lemon balm. So are we looking through her stuff while the guy distracts? No, no, no. We're here on purpose. Uh, homie's right here with us. Well, he was. He was in this room with us. Uh, we're looking through um, the guy who died. Charles Davenport's stuff. We're trying to figure out clues as to why he's still lingering. And what happened to him initially anyways. No deceit is happening. This is all planned and on purpose. How long does someone have to be dead in order for it to be considered uh, archaeology and not grave robbing? Oh my god. <laughs> my dearest sister, Charles is dead. Oh, sorry. I think this is the lady, right? I cannot tell right from left. I cannot tell which day it is or how long ago my Charles departed. My world has come undone. Nothing happened as it was supposed to. I could not attend the burial. The shame of it. How I have failed my dearest husband. I just could not find the strength to leave the house and walk to the place where Charles died three to see him buried. <laughs> Lord, have mercy on us and guide our friends for us to enter. Wait, what? Before it is too late, why did I say what I said? New Eden will not last much longer without my beloved husband to protect it. I do not know or not have the words left in me, but I thought that you, who loved him so, should know of his passing. Uh, ask Indiana Jones. It's a valid question, though. Ask Indy. What up, Durs? That's terrible for her. What up, Durs? Is homie talking to us through the wall? Why did he sound like he was right in my ear? Where are you, Red? Oh, there you are. Why he might be back? So intent obtained. We've got uh, this thing about how he was worried about how the dreams were affecting people. Exhausted by grief. Esther was unable to leave the house to attend her husband's burial. And then we have uh, this thing. Esther Davenport did not properly. Oh, oh. Esther Davenport did not properly bid her husband a farewell and now suffers from it. She, he's not leaving this realm because she's too wallowing in her own self-pity and not allowing her husband to rest. It's her fault. That'll be really nice. That'll be really nice, Chad. We get to go down there and tell Esther the reason why he's suffering is your fault. We get to point our finger right at her. It's your fault, dummy. Maybe you should do better. I'm sure she'll really appreciate that. We should go investigate the cemetery where he was found. Hey, in case you're wondering, it's uh, your fault. Can we actually talk to her and tell her that? Esther, I'm sorry to trouble you once more. How may I help? Yes, give her a reason to wallow in self-pity even more. How are you bearing up? Do you have any bad dreams? Do you think about how you didn't let your husband rest and now he's haunting you? Just tell her, God damn it, Esther. If you'd be so goddamn sad all the time, maybe he'd be happy. You know, if you weren't such a leech. With all that's happened, <laughs> how are you bearing up? This all feels so... You unreal. freaking leech of a woman. One more nightmare. Even in the afterlife, you wait. sap the love for, and happiness from your husband. But that will change. I promise. Was there something I should have done differently? Did I fail him? Yes. Did I fail Charles? Yes. None of this is your fault. Wrong. I don't want to believe he is gone. He cannot be gone. I do not permit him to be gone. You're in pain, and that might have brought him back. Maybe he lingers because you suffer. We'll do what we can to ease your pain. And we'll do what we can for Charles. Has the curse brought with it nightmares? Yes. I've had nightmares. I suspect we all have. Charles warned that something was stalking our dreams. 
that it had a in a way you but are actively failing him now might. <laughs> but now Charles is gone and my night sorry changed in my sleep God I that'd be so brutal to hear falling, screaming into the abyss all hear him none respond he plummets on into the bottomless pit sky pacer oh, been really liking this game how you like it so far i'm loving the case buildup. i mean we've only fought like six dudes but i think this game's gonna be more story oriented anyways so i'm not really too worried about the fact that we've only fought six dudes we'll see how it unfolds but as of right now i'm enjoying it because i'm enjoying the process of trying to figure out and help people i like what we've got going on here i'm glad that you're enjoying the game as well though sky pacer we must good to see you my dude to the cemetery please be careful dear Auntie. hey lady in red we did start it indeed so far it's good so this is clue on playstation yes we just got a letter we just got a letter i wonder what it says it says that esther you're the reason why he's suffering that's right blue she is a leech <laughs> what will you do for my charles Oh, you weren't if thinking blues clues? Present, oh, sorry. We'll find him. Making choices on normal was too easy. Then he increased the we'll difficulty to hard. Making choices. To Must I see him too? I increased the difficulty to very hard. Thank Spider you very much. What happened? After that. Yeah, these dialogue choices were just too started. easy. Time that was super cute possible. though. Thank you. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. I wonder who it's from. Charles. You'll be all right. I doubt it, but I'll do my work all the same. We came here to help Charles and help Charles with Charles. The main character struggles to make decisions. Finally, a character I can relate to. You did make the decision, however, to start making those pretzels. I'll go to the. I love the story and the aesthetics. The aesthetics are very nice so far. I'm loving it. Story's good too. I'm captivated in just this beginning uh, entry mission here too. it wasn't a decision it was a compulsion you're like must must make it to find the location of your next objective open your map left on the d-pad oh, okay i've been pressing the giant center button this is probably just a shortcut to the map okay so we want to just go to our right and apparently there's a shop here okay there's a shop over here auntie auntie Hello, Auntie. Hello. Open up for Auntie. Hey, what up, Jay Butt? I missed you doing uh, those six dudes. Did you take them all out at once? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. After I took five guys on at one time, I then took I on the six guys right after that. Myself. Need a place to spend that hoof fungus. Excuse me. Mm hmm. I'm sorry. Did you just say excuse me? And then, why are you trying to look at my boobs? How about you, woman? How? How? You're lucky. Oh, no. I attacked through her and got stuck. <laughs> I thought the game was going to be fucked for a second there. But we just attacked back through her yet again. So there is a shop over here. Must be down here. This is going to be the game showing us what the shop is all about, probably. The docks are closed for sabotage by fire. Goddamn! Jay Butt, though. Hope you're doing great, man. It's good to see you in the chat. What up, dude? Happy days. This fire can't have started on its own. Character got stuck. Time to refund. I don't want this game. Get it out of my system. I want to take it away from me. Leather? I can't jump in there. Thought we'd be able to. Can't jump over there. Where's the shop at? I feel like I'm standing right next to it. What could the shop possibly be? This thing? <laughs> what? That guy? Oh, it's probably this guy, huh? 20 pieces of eight. Nice. Be warned. I need but cry out and help shall come in an instant. Calm you, sir. What? Antea Duarte, Minister Davenport's banisher. Oh, it's a very God of war oh, oh, of course. I like it. I'm so sorry. Poor Reverend Davenport. But how much of an eight is one piece? I don't know. Eight of them? I don't Welcome know. To New Eden. I'm afraid you find us at our Got up at 3 a.m. to watch some WWE. Now I need a nap. Get some sleep. And you are? Get some sleep, Jay Butt. I am Squire Sincere Paris, traveling merchant, stuck in this cursed place and eager to be somewhere else. I like this guy's voice so much. 
This guy has great voice acting. I, Esquire, dear madam, I'll tell you what for have you, for art thou, I will smacketh you if you get in front of me one more time. I am on my way. I will cry out and help the gods. Gods! Tell me about the curse, if you will. An eighth I'll of an eighth? You this. Those who dare an eighth the curse of an eighth brave is just one, though. And I fear foolish banishing is a job sir and to do it i need detail i love red's accent me too if you please a banisher must have charms a trinket the show was in australia that's why i was at 3 m i was curious about that surplus, I'd happily eight eighths is one yeah but it's not eight one eighths it's eight eighths so it would be Ooh, one that's nice if it's a piece of eight you know what? It's a piece of no one cares. That's what it really is, eh? What I need is information. What I need right now is information about the curse. What have you seen that might help me with my work? I've seen famine, madness, famine, shadow of early death, weather too. So much weather. Weather. I mean, I've seen it all before. But never all at once. All the weather at the it's same time. Everywhere and all at the same time. <laughs> yeah, Crash. Hope, hopefully, CD Project Red hires me to do some voice acting. Could you imagine, guys? I would just be like, famine. Die, really. Who fungus? Ghosts in the it's all the people eating. Who fungus? But no one listens to me. I'm just a crazy man in a tiny little chamber apart. And no one fucking cares about what I have to say. But nay, lo and behold, the town has gone mad. I could have saved you all, but no! Don't listen to Crazy Ultra. He's just a voice actor for the upcoming Witcher game. The nightmares. <laughs> do you get them too? Of course I do. Not hey, girl, you piece of ink is you're the only dreams. one for me. Of what do you dream? I dream someone watches me sleep. I sometimes fancy she's present when I'm awake. Ugh. She never speaks, nor moves. She you fancy that? No harm. This guy likes to get watched. She just stands there, watching me. And I fancy that. Waiting, taking my measure. Does she manifest? My mating dance is just aggressively spinning pizza dough above my head. Does, it's a good call. No way of knowing it. it would, would get me going. In this I'd be like, dude, grave. you making pizza? <laughs> well, there you are. Information on the curse, as per your request. Mm. <laughs> I won't even charge you for it. <laughs> ah, you're leaving town. You're leaving town. As soon as possible. Don't go anywhere, though, man. I got. I want to check out your stuff. I see. A ship Jokes on you. Make pizza from scratch all the time. Well, I guess I'm just interested in you all the time. I don't know. My wares to safety. The crew refused to dock, and I suspect they'll leave on the next available tide. We rode ourselves a show. Might I ask where you abandoned this rowboat of yours? Along the coast. By a path remarkable for its angry specters and bloody corpses. If you wish to make the sailing, I hope your wares can swim. True, Don. Also, same. Uh, show me your wares. May I order a pepperoni pizza? May I order a pepperoni pizza? <laughs> I was wondering if I could get one of your pepperonis? But not your pepperoni nipples? Uh, so what what do we want to do with all this stuff, though? Can be found in dark woods region or bought from merchants. A sturdy piece of leather. What do I need this stuff for, though? I'm so confused. And we can also buy this same stuff? Resources. Just all buy, sell, open inventory. It doesn't say, like, most of the time when games are like this, chat, they kind of say, like, what you can use them for. Sometimes it'll be like, this item is used strictly for selling. And then you'll go to look at something else and it's like, this item you can use to craft blah, blah, blah. So, I'm not really sure. Start sharing that pizza, baby? Sir, you have plenty of food. What is that supposed to mean? I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this guy. I'm just going to say goodbye and leave for now. I bid you good day, Squire Paris. And thank you for your I'll tell Buns that she forgot to sell pizzas. Pleasure, Mr. You'll find out? Fine. Do Fine. I'll come back to this guy later then. Wait, why did we just get 20 pieces of eight? Was that carryover from earlier? I take an Italian pizza? Take it. It's yours. Take it. Shake it, make it. That is mine. Thank you. 
ate leather in a tiny little sack. Buns just sent Saint a care package full of American snacks. Oh, that's right. I remember when Buns was putting that together. Did it finally get there, Saint? You like it? What's your favorite thing out of that American snack care package from Buns? Or have you not dove into it yet? 38 pieces of eight, some hoof fungus, and some leather. Hoof fungus? Just in case anybody's wondering what the combat looks like. Because we haven't seen it in a while. There you go. The cemetery. Oh, spooky. A wisp. A wisp. Close to town. I love it this far. Uh, it has been the steakhouse beef jerky, I think. Yeah, beef. you can't go wrong with beef jerky, dude. A lot of things I haven't tried yet. Yeah. Combat? Combat? Where is that at? The cemetery is closed by order of the governor in all caps, bold font. Hear ye, hear ye. Where are you leading me? The cemetery is closed. You can go wrong with beef jerky because it's way too damn expensive for food. Oh, dude, I know. Oh, that's right. There's a lock on system. I'm stupid. Get banished! Poof. Ooh, do we get one taps with those? Squares to heal. L1 to block. L1 at the perfect time for parries. Oh, there's a parry system. Let's go. Get banished. No one is safe here. What's this for? Oh, spectral dust. Okay. Whatever that's all about. Capitalism shake my head, but it's so good though. It is. It is, man. Parry the platypus with L1. Go to sleep. That's my favorite thing to do to people when they tell me that they're tired and going to go take a nap. If they pop and chat at any point in time after that, I always just yell at them to go to sleep. It's fun. A fun little inside thing I like to do. <laughs> and I need to take a nap. Go to bed! <laughs> just woke up. Go to sleep! A fungus. It really is a fucking mushroom. I'm so dumb. I love having fun. Yep. What was that glowing on her hand just then? That was weird. Pyrite. Am I right? Pyrite. Am I right? That pyrite is the best. Am I right? We can't jump that, huh? Not very Kratos of us. Not very Kratos indeed. So, yeah, it's just in this area somewhere is where we need to be. Insight. As a banisher, you can feel places or objects that have been marked by ghosts. When in close proximity to these elements, your ban bane rings will be triggered and light up with an orange aura. Walk around to find its source. Bane rings, dude. Fucking cool name. There was something, like, over here. It popped, like... Did it not pop up over here somewhere? Bane rings, StarCraft 2 reference? Oh, dude, Pog. Is that StarCraft 2 reference? Is that StarCraft 2 reference? I've seen more graves here than I've met settlers. StarCraft. A wisp. A will of the wisp. I see it. I just don't want to interact with it for some reason. A memory lingers here. I might be able to reveal it. Revealing, perform rituals. Whoa, rituals. Memories of the dead linger here. To reveal them, you must gather the necessary resources. So we need pyrite and seashore candles. To this day, StarCraft II is the only game I've been called actual cancer in. Well, why'd you, why were you so rough? What would you do? Why, why do you got to be actual cancer if you consider just not being unbearable? Jesus. Everyone buried here died in 1677. Bane Ling Rush. Epidemic. Bane Ring. So if you do that move, people are like, oh my God, you're the worst. I hate you. You actual cancer. You suck. Okay, this is where some more part pyrite is. We need to get some, uh... Ooh, there's a quick turn. We need to get some, uh, 
seashells down by the seashore. Which I think we just need to go this way. See candles, actually. I hate how people use cancer as a swear word. It is kind of weird. It's a dated phrase. I feel like that's something that people would say, like, in 2007, dude. You know what I'm saying? Seems like it's so 2007. Can we go through this gate? We cannot. A lot of the places that I want to go in this game are uh, blocked off or locked or whatever. Here's, uh, uh, uh. The opponent's fault for not uh, screening base enters quickly. True. Why call someone cancer when you can call them like a crumbling dick biscuit? Facts. Is this a candle? This should be seashore candle. That is a seashore candle. Nice. I'll take that one. I'll take this one. I'll take that one. I'll take this one. Yay. Yay. I've got all the candles. Too slow, you suck. Imagine being so slow in the afterlife, even. You've had eons to work on your stamina and speed. But I, just a human, have outbested you. Pathetic, really. Back when I actually played as a terrari Terran player, half of Zerg's kit <laughs> infuriated me. I have no idea what the fuck you guys are talking about. Or if you're feeling extra toxic, you can uh, tell them that their favorite game is Tetris, and then they'll just, uh, that they're not even good at it. Oh, back to that joke. Let's get it. I'll take that hoof fungus. Speaking of using weird words, though, I saw somebody say facts as facts, and it irritated me. Ew. Why change spelling? That's goofy. Wait. Oh, oh, our rings are starting to light up. That's where the initial pulse comes from, and then we're getting here. Oblivion! Because they're weird, true. Facts, dude. F-A-X. So banishers can perform rituals. The nature of the rest sites is in the ritual base and the performed performing a ritual consumes resources. Even if you select an incorrect ritual, I need to f pick the right one. How do we know which one we, that we want to pick? It's good to see you though. Oblivion. What up, dude? I have like three jokes and if you just keep pretending they're funny, um, it'll help your self esteem. Oh, okay. To reveal the memories you need to perform the hearkening ritual. Are we going to have to remember that? This ritual helps one to tune into the fading but persistent memory left by a lingering ghost through compelling words, carvings, or drawings of the Leo constellation. Draw it up, dude. My ring lights up after a hot curry. Different kind of ring. <laughs> In each stain hides a story. Different ring. Whoa. In the name of the Lord, I This game is from uh, this Lords place. of the Fallen. You do not command me, clergy. The ring on my Xbox 360 Who lights up when I turn it on. Who in chat had uh Lord had suffered from the red ring of death? I did. Well, since you ask so politely. Anybody else? Who are you? Architect? Not me, because I'm an Xbox boy. You've ever well, guess what? Be gone. Your Xbox 360 annihilating no this? No <laughs> I think I had a friend of mine that no the disc purpose. exploded no. in their console a couple of times. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. My chest. Damn, dude. She about to kill his ass just by moving her hand? She got the force. <sighs> Brutal, dude. Damn it. Whoa. That thing he faced. That thing he faced. What was it? Facing the terrifying entity threatening New Eden, Charles Davenport's heart gave out. Dude, he had a heart attack trying to combat the creature and then it fucking threw a spirit spear through the back of his head while he was rolling around on the ground rest in peace lost planet three ah based what was it rest in peace screw the force choke it's all about the force heart attack 
Get him. Get him with the force heart attack. Dude, that'd be pretty brutal though, not gonna lie. Imagine just being just being like, squeeze your heart. Charles's Bible found half buried in the mud of the cemetery. It's opened to job 713 to 15. 13. When I say, my bed shall comfort me. My couch shall ease my complaints. This is the same note that we saw from inside the place, inside her home. Then thou scarest me with dreams and terrifiest me through visions. So that my soul chose strangling and death rather than my life. This tie is doused with the essence of Charles's ghost. After a closure performed by an Anthea, the bond between the ghost and the world will be severed for good. What you really got to worry about is the force nut pinch. With it, I can make him manifest. If I can find his grave. All right, we got to find his grave. It's here in this place. E Ouch. Vader would really be so much more intimidating. 100%. So his grave is somewhere here, huh? It's that one. It's this one. Many dead in more recent It's this days. one. Forced test testicular contortion. <laughs> Here's Charles. Oh. Here you are. Here I am once again. I'm Charles Davenport. So for this one, we probably need to use Charles's Bible, and we don't want to do hearkening, do we? Summon. The game's not telling me which one that I want to pick. Force a ghost or specter to appear. Is that what we want to do? Reveal an echo? Do we just want to do more revealing of echoes? Force a scourge to appear? What do I want to do? Oh, make the ghost manifest. That's our objective. So make manifest. Duh. Let's go. Now is a good time for we old friends to talk. We've come too far. Red and I. Where is Red actually? See you one last time. Wait, where is Red? Your pupil has become the master. If we fight, I'll beat you. I like her confidence though. I actually really like it. If we fight, I'll beat you. Yeah, bring it on. My wait, my lady's ready. Antia. Join me now. D. I forget her last name. I really like it though. I just can't remember. It. I'm bad at it. Bad at memory. Got a smooth brain. I know you're here. Come forth, Charles. Fight me. One v one me on Rust, you pleb. I Duarte. Thank you. I know that she was a badass demon hunter or whatever, but the thing that I'm you know most impressed by is her ability to I draw perfect you. circles. <laughs> worries. What's up, spatial spandex? How we doing? Antia? Antia. Aw, too bad they can't hug each other. What up, dude? Oh, Esther. I'm so sorry, my friend. So sorry for us all. What happened? Don't be sorry, Charles. What's going on here? You tried. To say, dear friend, I made a mistake, and it cost me my life. Is Red with you? No. There is no time to waste. Red is not here. What did you learn about the curse? No, I want to ask the little questions first. Why did you not wait for our help? Yeah, but dumbass. What the fuck? Why didn't he wait? Growing. There were so many dead, Antea. So much sickened flesh. So you thought you'd join them instead of waiting for us to get here so we could fight the curse in numbers? There was no What's wrong with you, dude? Men always trying to rush things. Just slow down, bucko. Do you know how this curse began? What prompted it, I do not know. Nor do I know when. Many months ago, certainly. Why did the but music get so much more intense? This nightmare chose New Eden for a reason. So, a ghost. This one is wow, good thing it's a ghost, because we're banishers. Go figure. Very clever. Many magnitudes more ferocious than a specter. <laughs> just as relentless. I came outside. Actually, I'll tell you the truth. 
I came outside to get away from Esther, and then I died. But it's okay, because I was dying either way. Did you know that she's a leech? Did you know that she's actually the reason why I am dead? Isn't it technically your job to kill them? To kill him? No, it's our job to banish him. So whatever sets him free. I don't think we have to fight him, necessarily. Before you died, you investigated the curse. What did you learn? That our enemy is deceptive and merciless. But we should not underestimate its power. We? I am dead, dearest Dantea. But I am a banisher yet. Automated. I think Automod was like watching you. Antea, do not repeat my mistakes. It's staring at you. It's like this person Dawn likes to talk about penises. They get one more, and I was like, "All right, that's it." Its presence felt strongest in the meeting. I was zoned out, so it took a while. It took like two seconds. You're fine, Organ. I had the building closed. The worst of the malevolence is contained. It is weird that the word clay gets automated. We'll banish it, Red and I. Our good friend's death shall not go unpunished. Be warned. This nightmare is too angry to be persuaded. True. True. And too powerful to be. Orca's normally swift with it. Your death pains us greatly. Your return pains me. Oh, too. you summoned him. I know. For my part, I'm glad. You summoned him, Antea. 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 Ant Ia. Anti. I'm probably talking uh, about peen a lot because I spent all money more uh, spent all money rocking out to super homoerotic country songs. You spent all your money rocking out to that? You bought them? Morning. Okay. Nightmares were a myth. A nightmare is the rarest of ghosts. A powerful, insidious spirit. Birthed by tragedy most dreadful. How do I banish it? Mm, but how? There is meager wisdom in the texts. What little there is says it cannot be banished at all. If it's a ghost, <laughs> all morning? I can banish it. You took notes, I suppose. Where might I find them? They vanished. In the days before my death. Perhaps I mislaid them. Good thing is, you don't have to. Yeah, you don't have to say what you're typing. I spent all morning. I don't know if that's what you mean or not, but that's what I imagined. Something important. How did this nightmare kill you? You watched it, Antia. I believe that I could come to the cemetery and make it. You literally watched it kill him. To my initial delight, I worked. Oh. I see. It seems. Amused, as if it were a pleasant game to weigh my measure as a man. What did it look like? What did it look like? I don't know. Whoa! When it manifested, it appeared. That's kind of fucked up. <gasps> Esther. What if she's already dead? My dear Esther. What if the Esther that we were talking to in his home was not actually a real person? Yo, that would be crazy. I don't think that's the case, but that would actually be such a twist. She was laughing. I felt her gaze. My heart froze. Damn. I died. She looked at him and he died. Is vengeance pure. The ghost of one who was terribly wrong. Nah, it's probably just like a, a weird thing. You can go. I see dead people. No, I must remain. Esther needs my protection. My flock needs me too. You know how this works. You know I won't allow that. I am still myself, Antea. With time, I'll grow ha, stronger. Nerd. Help you. Died from being looked at the by a woman. You want, Esther, the hungrier you'll be. Ha. You know this. This is different. Being looked at by women makes me go. Your friend Fills me with energy. You know me. Yeah, but have you seen any women? You know I also see dead people smiles. Smiles in the chat. You. you were a good now you are a ghost and i cannot let that stand personally i have it but i want to one day the nightmare will end and red and i shall dawn is lonely it. listens to songs about dicks Charles claims that they don't like penis got it man. everybody write down the dawn lore 
And you a fine student, though you took a hard line. I never could unpick that from your character. Has life tempered you since? Life has tempered my steel. Death and the manner of it has made you the very thing you once opposed. <coughs> Goodbye, Charles. You're banished. Peace on your soul. Kia. Wait for Here's what? red. We're banishers. Death to the dead. Let us <laughs> choose ourselves. Jeez. Hey, whoa. Hey. Sorry. Oh, Lord. Please don't ask me to do that. Then why did you bring her? Why is she here? Don't ask me to do that. Why did we bring her? We were going to do it ourselves. It was going to be fine. We we're going to banish him out. Oh, dear Lord Charles. Why are you here? I guess she needs to come to grips with the why fact that he he's supposed to be gone, right? He well, why is, why is he back? We summoned him. Yeah, this is a little awkward. The thing in the meeting house feeds on our torment. I should have known that. I know better now. Red's name is the play on Wrath, is it? Like his full name? Antia, give Charlie the ascent he deserves. Are we gonna have to make this choice, actually? Or is the game gonna just do it? The scars actually look hella cool. On her? Yeah, they look great. I actually like them a lot. You have no reason to stay. Go. Let Esther grieve in peace. Red MacRaith. Yeah, they look like lightning bolts, and it leads up to her hair where there's a white streak. So it might be lightning. That's what I was saying earlier. She may have been electrocuted by something. Goodbye. Goodbye, Charles. I'll do it. The women can talk. Uh, then all the way to the schoolhouse and make the bed. Red's like, okay, I guess I'll do nothing. <laughs> Charles is at rest now. And Tia, she gave him the care he needed. That seems like a combo of the two, spatial. BRB are going to get struck by lightning, so I look cool. All right, be safe. Get struck by lightning in a safe manner somehow. Figure it out. Anyways, the women are going to walk so we can talk. Die! 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 Where do you think he is now? It's actually funny. I can He's... speed this walking up. I, I can actually know. speed this up. I miss the warmth of his hands. If I do this, this actually gets us to go faster. If I close my Look, she's running. Alright, I'll put it away. Fresh milk. The sheets are clean. <laughs> More games need the force walking. Hurry up! Nothing can ever be the matter. Hurry up! He's at peace. Hurry up, woman! And you deserve to rest. And boom, she's done crying. You see that? She was only faking it while in the cemetery. Now that she's out of the cemetery chat, now she's going for a light morning jog. Sure, Charles might be dead, but now I have the whole house to myself. La la la, la 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 la, la 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 la, spread the sadness away. I'm sorry. I'll miss him dearly. Sorry, I'm looking for loot. <laughs> we'll continue investigating the curse. Uh, sorry about that. I'm looking Good for loot in things. I am glad you are here. Damn, his wife is watching. Now I gotta be do this the nice way. I need you. Good night, my dear. Sprinting to find a new man. Time to find me a new man. Whoop, 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 whoop. Can I talk you to her at all? Get some sleep. Okay. You'll need it. I miss him dearly. Yoinks the ham. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, I think we're all good here. I think we just need to go straight to our objective. Huh. Relatively just straight ahead. We'll Why just run right there. What you doing? Get it out of my Ginger face. beard Party spice you know, coming like, in. Buy, honey, and and kiss it on the lips. Good day to you, madam. Antea Duarte. I had no idea. 
Antea Duarte. I fucking love her name, dude. Duarte, you came with the Banisher, did you not? I am the Banisher. <laughs> right. So you're the face of hope, are you? You what my tithes are buying. Let me have a look at you. Oh, right. Come at me, wench. I hope I'm wrong. Little Especially settler. Whistle, or I was last time I looked. You want to fight me, dude? All rise. Ginger Beard Spice is here. All rise. Tell you about the curse. Good to see you, Ginger. Not lay it out. This we person's freeze. talking smack, man. And at the same time, we rot. I know where he's done. said he'd summoned the best banisher there is. Make those then pretzels. Curse. In my experience, most curses are actually hauntings. And while ghosts are treacherous, they're not invincible. Well, I'd like to tell you I find that a comfort. But Absolutely. I'm really lying. Better get those picks. Put the picks in the Discord. It may seem like an odd question. But may I ask if the curse has brought you bad dreams? Every time I close my eyes, damn. I'm in this door. Coins fall from the ceiling. Only a few at first. When they hit the floor, they break. Like rotten teeth. Ew. Finger bones, perhaps. <clears throat> a trickle becomes rain. A cascade smashing down to flood the store. I try to flee, but the flood rises too fast. I drown in shards of broken bone. Oh then, my god. Aren't you glad you asked? Lady, your response was supposed to be yes or no. Don't be mad at me because you don't know how to do things. What the fuck? It was a very simple, straightforward thing. I asked her if she had nightmares, and then she told me what the nightmares were. There was a yes or no question. Off the shelf reviews. What's up, brother man? How are we doing, Raiders? Welcome into the stream. It's good to see you guys. I guess we can do this thing. We're actually in between things. I can do things instead of listening to dialogue. Let's go. Hey, look at all those shout outs, dude. God damn. Off the shelf. Thank you for bringing the community through here. Some of the coolest people on Twitch are over there, man. Welcome on in, dude. The music. Dude, how was your stream? What's good? Raiders, if you guys want to just keep lurking, feel free. If you guys want to pop in the chat and add to the conversations that we're having or talk about this game or talk about a game that you've been playing lately, whatever you guys want to do, feel free. If you guys are from this community or not following Shelf, be sure to do so. He is a good man and he's a good streamer, good conversationalist, and he's a great dude. So just be sure to go over there and check him out. Be in their next stream when they go live. You got a typical time when you're going to be live next? Do you have a uh, planned stream coming up? Uh, but Raiders, welcome on in though. Kick back, relax, hang out with us, and thank you for allowing me to entertain you for the rest of your evening. If you guys gotta go, do your thing. I won't be offended. If you guys want to stick around, I'll be pleasantly pleased. What can you tell me about the town meeting house? The minister closed. Podcast down. night. Nice. Said it was dangerous. Back to Alan Wake 2 on Monday. Imagine Pog. Worship. Alan Wake 2 with that now. new game plus. Do you remember when and why? New the game. To say. Plus. I admit I have lost track of time with the dullness of the days. Makes me want to play it again, too. I probably would have played Alan Wake 2 back to back if it had New Game Plus available right away. If we didn't have to wait for an update. For whatever reason, that's a thing. I'm sick of games coming out and not having New Game Plus right away. And they're like, we have New Game Plus planned to come out in another three months. I'm like, yeah, whatever, dude. Tell me I don't get that. Saying. I don't know why companies do that so much. Why? Would you like to buy some china? I'm waiting to dive into some the podcast Carolina. world still. Just haven't made the a move. You got to get on it, Apollo. That's about all we have Maybe catch some of uh, off-the-shelf sure reviews podcast stuff and take some notes. Next to no supply of the staples. I should have gone when I had the chance. I suppose beneath it all, I'm an optimist. An I ought to, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Again, though, Raiders, welcome on in. You're optimistic too, Thank you for hanging out with us tonight. Aren't we the fools? And thanks again, Shelf, for bringing the crew. There we go. I mean, they got a shout out earlier. Yes. Yes. What can you tell me about the curse? New Eden is scrutinized by God. Scrutinized by God? His servants remain humble and true. This man's like, just keep believing. I detect disapproval. I've come to help. I've come to help. Wait, why did that say red? Be a good and humble servant and tell me about the curse. Didn't show on mine. 
Uh, I'm it got the, the regular, like, banner shout-out one. I'm afraid for salvation. And you are not it. Yeah, having a topic you're passionate about is the hardest part. And the hardest part is just starting, yeah. Do you have bad dreams, Mr. Butchener? <laughs> you don't want to hear about those. Yeah, now it says an, an Antia between these. The Puritans, everything's about God, yeah. Why did it say red, though, just a second ago? Try me? Try me. In my sleep, chanting demons defile our precious meeting house and burn it to the ground. Two oh, yeah, yeah. The stream elements one didn't care, yeah. A man and a woman screaming oaths and curses in strange tongues. Have you played this, Shelf? And rush to the window. If you're still there. I am relieved to see the meeting house still standing. If you got things that you got to take care of, man, please be sure to do so. I know the after stream care thing is super important, so do your thing. Do what you got to do, man. I always raid and dash. Did you know the Reverend Davenport thought the meeting house haunted? I did know that. To his shame, Who the hell is this guy? The late minister ended services and closed the meeting house. No wonder we are where we are. And what do you think sits in the meeting house? Miss. This looks like something I might be interested in, in though. House, it seems it like it's very story driven, so. Of New Eden have failed to repudiate his works. I know you like good stories. Obviously. Goodbye. Farewell, Mr. Bachelor. And you may wish us luck. Budget value Liam I Neeson? Yeah, I could see it. A I younger one. You salvation. Budget value is Liam Neeson from Wish. Gleaming Beeson. Need to go see my guests and pack away. I'll be lurking, dude. Hey, you know it. Do your thing, brother. Appreciate you, man. Thanks for uh, raiding again. All right, let's go to the fuck to sleep. After I check for lootable items. Nothing. All right. Let's get going. So we're going to go to sleep. And then we're going to deal with banishing this main ghost. I'm pretty sure. New Eden Town Schoolhouse discovered. Mine. Mine. Banishers techniques. Banishers techniques. As banishers, we are no spiritual guides or inquisitors. We are ghost hunters for hire. Specialized and sensitive crafters who train hard to protect the living through our rituals and knowledge about ghosts and specters. We are no cult. There is no hierarchy nor established dogma among us. The most obvious reason why a banisher becomes a banisher is because he or she wants to protect the living from the dead, whatever the reason. We are effective, adaptive, and versatile. Our community is sparse and nomadic, just like our predecessors were. We wander the world in search of living victims of the dead, cleansing haunting cases using techniques tried and trusted and honed by generations of masses of pupils, releasing or banishing the ghost, rarely blaming the living. Unlike puny sorcerers, we do not waste our time crafting enchanted rifles with the butt barrel and stock engraved with runes or other symbols of power for hunting specters or otherwise. Who would wish to depend on a single weapon? Instead, we bring our Bane Powder, which is a single weapon, prepared according to recipes handed down from generations to generations, rendering any firearm capable of shooting and damaging a supernatural target, no matter what the ammunition, effective, adaptive, or versatile. Our knowledge of alchemy and botany helps us selecting minerals and plants whose properties will support our work. We do not waste time in liberties, or sorry, libraries, or schoolrooms. We do not waste our time drawing, carving, or engraving complex circles of power, because what we gain in power or nuance, we lose twice as much or time or more in time risking putting ourselves and those around us in unnecessary danger. We literally drew circles earlier. I'm very confused. They were like, we're not going to rely on one weapon. We rely on one powder. We don't waste our time drawing circles. I literally drew a circle at the cemetery. I'm so confused. I don't... What the fuck? Zara Mario, what's up, man? How we doing? 
Instead, a, cleave, a clever banisher carries stamps in wood or metal with which to mark a door, wall, or stone with the necessary symbol for the appropriate ritual. Okay, so they're saying they just go bam and slam it down. I'm buzzed. Shocker. So we always have a range of powerful runes close at hand, as it were, efficient, adaptive, versatile. Thus we prevail, thus we fight, thus we send back the creeping dead where they are supposed to be. From Death to the Dead by Bathosa H. Frenhofer. Bathosa H. Frenhofer. Let's go to see who's Armaru. I'm glad that you're buzzing and chilling and relaxing with us, man. Stan Halen! Oh, what up, man? We got Stan and Zarmaru sliding into the stream at the same time. You'd love to see it. Welcome in, guys. Hello, hello, hello. Dude, homie's slaying that little thing. He's playing his mustache. We're going to rest on the stool. Nice. Oh, shit, dude. You guys juked me out so hard just then. That was an accident. Oh, no, you guys didn't. That was weird. I, it, the stupid uh, um, thing changed the stream deck, switched uh, pages on me. I don't know how to explain Charles it. It went from one to the next one when I only pushed one button, so it juked me out. I was just going to do this. Come rest by the fire with me, honey. I love you. Come by the fire, darling. But, but when it comes Hi, to ghosts, your heart makes you reckless. It's dangerous. I thought somebody redeemed the mask. And that's why it switched on me. Were you really about to banish Charles? Okay, so we did not banish Charles. That wasn't Charles. Charles would have done the same thing. That's the response. Charles would have done the same thing. He was going to banish. He is a banisher. He would have banished us too. Were you really going to banish Charles? Yeah. Charles would have done the same for your ghost or mine. I hope he'd have at least hesitated. Charles was a good man. Full of love. Banishing his ghost wouldn't have been easy, but it would have been right. Ghosts only bring misery, Red. You ascended Charles they instead? Interesting. I wonder how many times we're going to have that option the as the player to actually make that decision. They don't always do it out of malice. Of the man. We should always banish everyone. As banishers, we bring banishings. The dead have no business with the living. Period. I like that. That sounds like something actually more like that she would say, because she seems like she's a little bit colder when it comes to her general actions for this kind of stuff. Because she was going to banish Charles. She was in the process of banishing him. She was just going to get rid of him. I think this is something more that she would say, her character. The dead have no business with the living. Letting go is hard. Even for the dead. Dies bind fast. And we are paid to cut the knot. Would you banish me? If it came to. You'll not escape me so easy. You I would bring back from the dead. <laughs> That's not funny. I'd fill you with fresh essence. I'd give you so much essence you'd return bloated with life. Steal essence from the living to feed my ghost. <laughs> you with me. And then I'd kill you again? What the fuck? <laughs> What is that end result to that sentence? I'd bring you back from the dead. I'd fill you with so much essence it'd be like you were alive again and then I'd fucking kill you again. No, I'm going to say this. I'd do anything for you. You're a scruffy-headed lout, Red McGrath, and I will never let you go. Over my dead body, mister. I thought I was meant to be the soft-hearted one. <laughs> you are. I think Charles was right. This thing in the meeting house could be a, what did he call it a nightmare i really hope not such entities are legendary ghosts even for banishers we'll see tomorrow now to sleep this was a dreadful day it was dreadful it was eventful though as well i really liked it Poor Charles. Poor Esther. Aye, poor Esther. 
Whoa. The nightmares. Are we having one right now? We just got here. We just got here. You think we're infected already? Whoa. Damn, we did have a nightmare already. Until. Until. I think I'll find him. <laughs> she says I'm the reckless one. Until. Nice. Now we're playing as red. Nice. Mommy? You think that was Red's mommy? Mama. Mama. Death to the dead. The meeting house is already like. What do you call it? Defiled? Oh no, rats. A plague's tale. It's a plague's tale all over again. I'm just following the little objective marker. Why would you go up there alone? Did we go up here before? We got the rats running this way. Locked. I don't know if I went up here. This feels like this is a new area somewhat. Just want to check if there's stiff. Read. This part of the town is closed by the governor's decree. Dude, what if we're still dreaming? Dreamception. Hup. Couple of different little paths here that we can take. Left, slate right, slate left. Got a homie. Just the one. Fairy system seems to be a little like you can kind of just do this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm gonna banish you! Be gone, thought! Dude, look at the moon. Don't look at the random piece of the tree that's floating there, chat. Just look at just the moon. That looks really fucking cool. Imagine if you saw something like that in real life. Kind of looks like the sclera or whatever that surrounds the pupil of the eye. Those clouds don't look normal at all. It looks like they're being sucked towards the moon. It's really neat. It's fucking dope. Oh, okay. This is just like a little circle that leads to the same spot both ways. The iris? Yes. Correct. The sclera is actually the white part of the eye, isn't it? A level four. Shit. Get banished. Ugh. Didn't kill him. Nice. There we go. Beautiful moon, dude. Flip that moon right in front of my face. You know what I'm saying? Waxy cap agaric. Agaric. Agaric? Waxy cap. I just want to poke everything. You know, actually, I'm... I'll be honest, I kind of like the fighting in this game. I like it so far. I think it's pretty cool. Dude, no, what's going on with Antia? What's she doing? Oh no. Antia! Antia! And they... here, blind, all blind. Oh, red, can't you see? We never stood a chance. And here, are you hot? Where are you? How did he not see her? She's front and center. Did she just appear? I guess she's here, sitting right? down next to the table, but she's right in the what front. Happened? Uh oh. <laughs> I'm here, my love. How mundane. Show yourself. 
God came to the man in a dream and said, Behold, thou art dead. But the man had done nothing wrong and said, Lord, wilt thou also slay the righteous? What? Oh boy. Is he crawling on the window? Oh, okay. Boss fight? First death inbound? Will you slay the righteous? Yes. Be not alarmed. I bring you aid. There is no aid. There is only dereliction. Where is Antea? What have you done with her? Yikes, Hell's dude. Balls. Hell's balls. Lady, if you hurt her, you cling to love. The fool to the last. There is no love. There I wouldn't let her touch me, dude. Ah, that's what I'm saying. I wouldn't let her do that. What the fuck? Dude, back up. What are you doing, man? No. <laughs> no one tells me no! Wow. She created an arena for us to fight in chat by removing all of the pews. Very nice of her. Shit, dude. Whoa, whoa, I didn't even have time to heal. I tried to heal. I didn't even have time to heal. All right, we're playing this game on super hard or whatever the fuck, so we're gonna get our ass beat. Boy. Ouch, dude. Trying to get parries, dude. Again, I got caught while healing. Yeah, this is the hardest difficulty. Definitely a nightmare. I got caught healing again. The healing animation is taking too long. Whoops. Also, circle the dash for some odd reason is weird to me, even though that's really typical. I want to press X to dash. God damn it! She hit me with that again. What? I was not only blocking, but, uh... Thought I dashed that. Yo! I... Can I parry her typical move? Should we try getting better with the parries? I prefer pressing X to doubt. Three blind mice. Hmm... I want to practice the parry system. That hit me? Yo, what the fuck? I'm supposed to double tap it to roll. I tried doing that. No, she won't. You don't know her. Oh. Caught healing again. Bro, my brother in Christ. How I'm so far away from her and I go to heal and she covers the entire arena, it feels like, and hits me somehow. That's three deaths in four deaths and three of them were when I was healing. Come on, man. Ta-da. What's up, nerd? There we go, got that parry. I, I don't know, can I not parry that? Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Wait, is there more than one enemy? Oh shit, dude, really? Nerd, how you doing, dude? Good to see you in here, man. 
Ooh, a little iframe action while we were banishing her just then. Nerd, this game's pretty cool, man. So far, anyways. Oh! I'm having a hard time getting through this fight, though. I have this set on the hardest difficulty. Whoa. Okay, so I, I think I cannot so parry those. I feel like I tried parrying that at the right time just then and missed it. Another new game. What's up, Sag? Three blind I don't know if this game on the hardest mode is the best way to do this for the first time, but maybe we just need to get good, huh? Who will suffer like I do? Who'd want to help me? Nice! Yeah, maybe, maybe we just need to get good, huh? Dude, that hit me? That's so crazy. I feel like I'm so far away. We only wish to speak with you. I cannot be hurt. Oh, I was hoping that my dash to attack would have pulled me away from where she was at. There we go. Get the little banish action going. <gasps> oh! And the third swipe somehow, somehow is hitting me. <laughs> it's all part of the learning process. Yes, it is. I feel like that uh, that third swing is has massive reach on it. I feel like I'm not getting hit by that, but it's hitting me somehow. It's crazy. Oh shit. Damn, I got hit a couple times there real bad. Oh, I parried it. I parried the swipe. I actually did parry the swipe. What the fuck? Turns out she can. Oh no, did I miss it? Banished. You can! Look at that! Check that out! You just gotta figure out the window. It's a weird window, but you gotta just figure it out. Aw, oh, F, dude. I heard that throw coming. Oh, I missed. Whoa, what's this? Banish? Hey, let's go! First phase done. Did that hurt me? I can't move? Uh-oh. I couldn't do anything. <gasps> I couldn't do anything there. Any news on Deathbound? No. Finger on her. What? Come to her aid. There is no aid. There is only. Here she comes. Retribution. Retribution. There she is. You come to claim the man you think you love the internet. There, in the dark of your mother, there is no love. Six cinematic. Really cool game. I offer you a trade. 
He stays and you leave with your life. I'll bargain with no ghost. You have a brain, yet you think with your idiot heart. <laughs> You're weak. We're gonna jump out there? <gasps> oh no. One shot, dude? Oh, that was easy. Dude, she's got one tapped? Um. Well, thanks for watching, chat. This was uh, Banishers, and the game is over. She could have just done that to you. She tried, but I dodged it and perfect parried it. Hehe. <laughs> Will you come to her aid now? Shot through the heart and you're to blame. Esther. No, so main character? Not so main character after all. I'll be waiting. The nightmare. We're going to hunt down the nightmare for sure. So did she just drop us into the water? And I'm just to expect Red to survive as well? She just beat the fuck out of both the of us, dude. The ocean made a diamond from his grief, then buried it in his heart. Man. Brutal. The weight of his failure dragged him down. Outside time, drowning in the gloom, he spoke her name. Antia. Antia. Banishers. Ghost of New Eden. Take me instead, he screamed. Soulless. Ah! To the cold and silent waters. Take me! Out beyond the black veil. Take me! Something heard his cries and reached for him. That was the first boss? Yes. Let her go. Take me instead. Let her go. Whoa. He's got some crazy arm and hand tattoos, it looks like. So where are we now? Yeah, and I'm guessing final boss as well, but we'll see. Yeah, right? We only got through the first phase of three. First little third of her chunk of her health bar. Who that? Why does that man look like he's wearing a suit? Ah, you're awake. I'm a seeker. Who are you? She who rescued you. Tended you for days on end. Weeks, maybe. Weeks? Oh, God. What have I done? Get your strength back before you beat yourself up. She's dead. Yes. That's why you're here. And why I was sent to look after you. Nice hair, idiot. <laughs> what the fuck oh, yeah. is that hairstyle, I dude? Like we've met, but I'm sure we have not. I feel like I know you forever, but, but do I? <laughs> Bro just went straight to Rose thing. Well, what the hell? Yeah, finally the prologue is normal. done. You can start playing the Didn't actual game. By a nightmare. You've lost your beloved. And now Mullet rat tail. Which? Ain't my thing. Which? Ain't for me. I go by Seeker. Find the banisher, said my mistress. Tend him and answer any questions he asks you before you leave him be. So, how do you feel? Does it matter? Of course it matters. It means you're alive. And you haven't given up? Who sent you? Not my jam. Her name is Ceridian. Not my jelly and either. Her hands and words are hers. Beyond that, don't burden yourself. You should have let me die. What are you? A child? The governor also Thinking shut down the beauty salons in town. Too now. much turmoil and discord. Perfect. This nightmare. 
Oh, it's sport. Hear ye, hear ye. Right I, through. the governor, have decided that I'm sport. going to shut down the beauty Do salons. No more barbers. To tell of it. Because what of the discord and turmoil. Who knows? Something now go awful, to bed. I don't doubt. The worst angers rise from the most terrible wrongs. My friend said that. He's trying to warn us. An immutable law. You have wise friends. What am I to do now? What am I to do now? How do I... How do I do it alone? You're not alone. Have faith. You're not alone, dumbass. If Ceridian had told me more, I'd tell you it. I'm right but here. You must have faith. This is this sad. Is what not like this. Not without her. No one gets what they want. You get what comes. No and one gets survive, what. No one get gets what they it. want. Shut up, seeker. Leave you a suck. Hole in you. A yawning, grimacing pit in your soul. That's love. Thanks for the reminder. The hole won't fit. Thanks for the reminder that my love died. Thank you. What have I done? What a help you Here's are. Thing. Unlike most. You get a second chance. I suggest you seize it. Why do you hate me? I serve my mistress. She bids me help you, so I help you. Ceridian says the wall between the living Suck and the dead. Suck it, Elbozo. You, it seems, have a part. Big L. Life. This is mine. You've lost me. No, I found you. But so did your grief, and it demands to be felt. You may think you're done with your ghosts, Red McCraith, but they aren't done with you. I'll go now. Rest. Okay, bye. Why ever my mistress says nice she has straw the boot shin guards. The best. And Where stupid fucking hair. Oh, <laughs> she needs me. Where shall I find you? If when I need to. Maya marshes. Great big swamps other side of the woods. You can't miss them. We'll know when you're coming. I'm just going to keep stacking them. Each time I notice something new, I'm just going to repeat the previous ones as well. That's right, Banisher. Now, turn around. What? I'm leaving. What the fuck? Your hair may be influenced by Native Americans. Well, then it's cultural appropriation! Ah! Well, all right, man. Jeez. Five XP. Cool. I don't want you to see which way I go. Or for you to look at my butt. I've seen her hairstyle, but with a mohawk. That would probably be cool. This is like a colonial Massachusetts after all. Just my speculation. That does make sense. Wait, it probably is a mohawk. Yeah, it's just like tied down. I don't know what this is, but I'm staying away from it. Circles. Perfect circles, by the way. That's mine. Is this just another origin of Banishers thing? Banishers, if you read this. It means that you have enough brain to know your alphabet. Like, so that I can read. You have not resisted going through what I left behind. And you may take whatever you deem useful since my mistress wants you to live. We shall meet soon enough. Until then, be well, Seeker. You have seen Mohawks look surprisingly normal when they're laid down? Yeah. Not, not too surprising. Uh, is this the same thing? No, this seems like it's actually different. The origin of the Banishers. Uh, I'm going to ignore the stuff at the top. The Banisher. In ancient Greece, was there the Metragirits? Metragirits? What the fuck? I don't know that word. A cult of wandering beggar priests. From place to place went they, singing songs and banging drums that the spirits of the dead be calmed, or set free, or 
exiled, perhaps banished, maybe? Mm. This they did in honor of the long dead Thracian magician Orpheus, he whose love for Eurydice was so powerful that he followed her through the land of the dead and into the abyss, won her freedom, and near brought her back. As the world grew, so did the knowledge of these sons and daughters of Orpheus, but some did not embrace the new wisdom. They learned not to remain forever beggar or priests. Through shapes and patterns seen and heard from antiquity to modern times, these wanderers used the hidden laws of the universe to open the gates and send the spirits of the dead away. To serve the living, the banishers destroyed the dead. But they know little. They have forgotten their parentage. Parentage? Um, they have lost touch with we who see the colors of the shades of all the light and all the dark, the good and the bad and everything, living and dead. The banishers have their uses, yes, as a hammer has its use when driving a nail must be. But the hammer does not care about the plank or the nail, nor does it understand that it is made of the same wood and iron. The banishers know nothing of the hem, for they are not, and might never be, one of us. They do not stand between the world of women and men and everlasting darkness. They do not minister to the dead so that the living may live. They do not know, for they are not witches. They are yet the children of Orpheus, and they do not look back. From letters to Theno by Mother Shipton. Yeah, all right. Did I grab this thing? Right. That's that. Look at this fucking aesthetic, though, man. This game's so pretty. This is on performance mode, by the way. This isn't on graphic mode. This is so that we get a higher frame rate. That means that this game actually can look even better. Can I flip it on the fly? I'm kind of curious. Let's save it. Because I haven't saved this whole time. Um, options. Video. Apply. Well, it just looks basically the same, but now the frame rate's ass. It looks basically the same, but the frame rate's just ass. Well, looks pretty on graphic mode. Probably just not in this spot. That was really funny. I don't know why. That made me laugh. Maybe you gotta like quit out first. Maybe. For it to like truly apply. Can I go out into the water? Oh. Hurry up! Whoa! Radical, dude. That was fucking sick. I'm guessing streaming takes a lot on the graphics. I'm playing on PlayStation. So, my PC is not doing, like, the computing. That's a separate thing. Otherwise, yes, it would. At least a little bit. Herp. What's that about? Can I do something with that? It looks like something I'm supposed to, like, you know, obtain. But I can't. I don't have any, like, range. Maybe I'll get range stuff later. I don't have anything range right now. Hook shot. I don't have anything ranged, right? Squeeze on in. Whoa. Getting real low. Get low. Damn it. What am I doing here? Yeah, what am I doing here? <laughs> Windy path discovered. Mine. I'll take that. Poof fungus. Hey, 
and this pyrite. Can we go up this little spot right here? Waiting for you to call it to boy. Boy. Atreus. Atreus. Where are you, Atreus? My boy. Atreus. Atreus. Mine. Mine. I'm just going to take all the stuff. All the things and all the stuff. All right, where's some beasts? I want to fight some ghouls. The real thing is, though, chat, is that do we also get to fight not beasts? I would like to fight, like, humans as well. Or even just, like, wolves or something. Like, fighting some sort of beast like that would be nice. Be a nice change of pace between just fighting specters the whole time. Gotta mix it up once in a while, right? And boom, dogs. That looks like wolves to me, baby. Let's go. Come on. Come on. We watch some of this shit. Hey, watch some of that. Whoa. Hey, yo. What are you going to do? Hey, yo. I got you. Wait, can I banish a living creature? You can ban what? Threat indicator? Oh, okay. I thought that was talking about the fact that I banished a living animal. I thought it was about to be like, yo, you can't do that. What the fuck are you doing? What are you insane? Oh, I tried to roll. Can I parry a dog? <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> what in the hell am I doing? I did not type that. It's just like auto sent again. Hey, we leveled up. One skill point, level two. The game's not going to prompt me to open up my level up screen to go through the menus and do stuff. I guess I will just figure it out on my own then. Evolution? You cannot access this menu for now. Okay, maybe that's why. We leveled up already, but the game's like, no, you don't get to. That's kind of weird. Why put animals in here that will make us level up then if it's not going to walk us through the tutorial? Maybe the tutorial chat for leveling up will literally be in like three seconds. Twitch be twitching. It's doing its thing. There was no other places for us to look, right? I just ran a straight path. Well, good. I'm glad that we're fighting not specters the whole time. That's wonderful. I ask for one thing and I get it right away. Damn, that guy's been dead for a while. Him and his four leather. Whoa, don't look down. Whoa. Am I the last bloody living soul here? Well, except for the lady. We're going to go this way. A chest. Interesting just some stuff yeah piece of eight some leather some wild chervil chervil henry Cherville. and more hoof fungus oh oh thought that was something i could pick up climbing it's painted yellow chat so we know where we're going if it wasn't painted yellow how am i supposed to know i really would like some range combat actually whoa a level five an alpha wolf Didn't mean to roll that close to you, my dude. The button input's a little delayed. Like, I can tap from a previous time that I tried attacking. And it'll kind of carry over. I'm going to use this just to get this one out of the way. Oh, shit. Another one? Oh, numerous other ones. Great. Oh, shit. That hurt. Nice. Leave me, me. All right. Just being the big boy. Get banished. Ah. 
Going ham on him. All right, there we go. Nicely done. The inputs always felt off. Why beating up dogs? I'm sorry, owls. I'm sorry. But because they're bad boys. They're bad. Bad puppers. Oh, a fungus. Owls, it's so great to see you in the chat. How have you been? How you doing? What's new? What? What? Yeah. Huh? And yeah, those wolves are gonna eat you for lunch, man. I've been napping on the stream all day. Hey, appreciate it. It's been a, a relatively quiet stream, so hopefully I haven't been waking you up or anything. Hey, hey, Borbo, what's good, dude? Borba, how you doing, man? Good to see ya. What's new with you? So we got owls sleeping, but what's Borba been up to? I've been out like a light? Hell yeah. So chat up that way or we want to go this way? That looks like objective, right? It's got the marker on it. So let's go this way, actually. I think this is going to be that ledge that loops all the way back around. I'm digging this game, man. I like it. I will agree that it feels like maybe the combat's a little off or whatever, but I'm just trying to play to the game's speed. Seems like the game wants to be played a little slow, you know? It wants meticulous button inputs. Like, it wants you to just take it nice and easy. Wait, I thought I had three healing items before that wolf fight. Did I heal twice during that? Or did that fucking specter thing just suck a heal out of me? <laughs> I hope that's not the case. I probably used more heals than I realized. Yeah, it's good to see you, Borba. Okay, so not the th area I thought I was. I kind of fell asleep, too. Uh, was the whole beginning a dream? This is the first boss you only need to finish? The first bar? Yes. Great, just got six ads. I have no idea if I'll just speak it. Damn it. I kept hitting square by mistake while fighting? Oh, while, uh, oh, to heal. You were accidentally healing. I see. Hey, Ron. Thank you, dude. Screw those ads, man. You know what's really annoying about that? I think I'm going to turn off the thing that Twitch added where it's supposed to, like, um, make it so that ads run when it affects the least amount of viewers or whatever. Because I think it's stacking time. Because I have it set right now to run three minutes of ads an hour. So it should only run one minute of ads every 20 minutes, right? six ads is probably like two minutes or more of total time so it's like that's not what i set my shit up to do so it's like when borba gets hit with six ads in a row it's like dude that's like two probably two three minutes of ads it just punched all the ads at one time probably because they were like finally someone that we can throw ads to and it threw a stack of ads at him square was punched in my last game oh damn well hey borba uh enjoy the ad free viewership and all the emotes man this is not Party on, Wayne. This can't be happening. Climb, 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 climb to the top. Tippity top. Antea? I was just asking you, Barbara. Um, I hope you've been well. What have you been up to? Aloha. Aloha. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Some more leather and pyrite. Yeah, I've been absent for a minute working uh, nights. Has my schedule all left up? Oh, hey, man, it's no worry. I'm here. Leave We've been, uh, we miss you, of course, in this chat, hanging out with us. But uh, no one's holding it against you is what I'm saying. We all are busy. We've all got those adult things going on. Life throws some pretty big shits at us once in a while. Whoa, what's that little blue guy? Ah! Aff, dude. Fuck, brother. Uh, get him. Banish him. Banish. 
half dude. Here. Matea, are you there? <gasps> she's in the waterfall. My darling. Now she's gone. The money's way better than I was towing, so I got a uh, thick of the good deal with the bad yes. Yep. Gotta do what you gotta do. Antia. <laughs> My lady. There she is again. Right here. My love. Right here. Be careful, dude. Don't banish her. <laughs> it's you. Oh, insane, Borba. So hype, dude. I'm ready for it right now. So excited to see these new boss designs look so great. And uh, I just love the way they look when they're moving around and stuff. Well, don't like fly towards her, dude. The problem was, oh. <gasps> I have you. You have me. Now, Keith. I will come that way. I will come. After I make sure I've explored everything over here first. Hold on for a second. Wait, where are we actually? Oh, okay, we're right here. There was nowhere else for ghosts. I thought we went through the waterfall into the back side of the cave. We went through that waterfall and somehow ended up on this side again. I don't know how that happened. I've been so addicted to skull and bones. It's not even funny. Yeah. I've got a lot of people on here. Uh, Bo might know if he's still in chat. He's been playing skull and bones like crazy. Where are you going? Boing. Over here. Now that was very Kratos of us, Chad. Did you see that? Big jumps. Big jumps and big domes. You were playing as her in the beginning. How did she become a specter? Oh, we died. <laughs> she I'm died. She took a big Where spear through the heart, man. She got one tapped by a ghost. You're also in Skull and Bones, Armaru? Yeah, people be liking that game quite a bit. Antea. The first quad A game. Not a triple A game chat, quad. It's so good. Biggest pile of fucking ego I've ever heard. I can't believe Ubisoft's like president said that. It's so stupid. <laughs> so dumb, dude. Yeah, man. Antia so died. Weak. You need Starting to get bored of Helldivers 2. I haven't even started it yet at all. So hopefully I'm kind of getting a little bored of seeing videos for it though. Said what? I feel hollow. I don't know. Sorry, I'm not sure. Do not be troubled. Oh, Ubisoft's person said something me. that Skull and Bones was the first quad A Lost game. You. So like big developers make triple A like games. Like that's when there's like a ton of like funding and manpower that went into the yes. making of the game and massive writing and like huge deals and like all that shit. It's like when you see games made by like Ubisoft or EA or something like that. It's not a thing though. No, it's not. That's why it's annoying and super egocentric that the president of Ubisoft said that. They were like, the new Skull and Bones is so good, man. It's the first quad A game. <laughs> By the way, chat, I'm partnered with Ubisoft. Some essence remains upon it. If they, it, I'm not going to hold back. If they do some stupid shit, I'm going to point them out. If they make bad games, I'm going to talk shit. I don't give a fuck. What am I going to do? Lose my Ubisoft partnership? Oh! Oh no! Anyway, chat. There's love going on. <gasps> Slightly bringing her back into the real world. Satan! I needed this. Oh no, she's fine. I feel better. I actually think we gave her us. life. 
I know. Did we give her some essence just then? Don't get me wrong. I'm glad you're here. People are shitting on the game for the rock. I bet that. Well, Truly. that's his fault. The living I mean, if you think about it, if the president of the game said our game is such a highly rated game, it's a it's its own category of perfection that when there's anything wrong with it, it's actually his fault that people are shitting on it for that being said because he set the standard that high, so it's his fault, and I actually think it's deserved. Just saying. That's my opinion on that. If you're going to come out and tell me that this is the best meal I've ever eaten and you serve it to me, and then I notice that like maybe the corner of the steak is not cooked how I ordered it, I'm going to tell you best meal I've ever eaten. The steak's not even cooked properly, my dude. And that's not me giving the game a hard time for the fact that it's not a triple A game. It's that you told me that it's going to be the best meal I've ever had. So when it's not meeting those standards, that's your fault for bragging to me that you made the best meal I've ever had when it's not. You know what I mean? He set the standard too high. It's like overhyping something, you know what I mean? Yeah, somebody should have told him to read the room. <laughs> like it's an MMO, pull your head out of your ass. Right, exactly, dude. Exactly. Like, dude, chill, man. It's not gonna it's not gonna go down in history as like one of the best games ever made. So like what the fuck? Like it's maybe maybe say something about how it's like a triple or a quad a game when it's really well received across the board and people are starting to say that it's like one of the best games of all time then come forward and be like yeah we kind of set our goal to make like a quad a game you know what i mean and then like fluff it with some but it's like to say that like before the game even came out was just dumb as fuck but yeah it's a full price game 70 bucks with the dead I've known that since we childhood. absorbed Charles's essence. That's kind of fucked up. You never told me that. Oh, through the book. What happened? Absorbed his essence through the Bible. It was a lifetime ago. Would Elden Ring be near Quade for reference? I mean, I guess so. But that's only for people who like that genre, though. You know what I mean? I don't know. I feel like the way that people talked about Boulder's Gate Three might be Quade, which is hilarious because that's an indie company. How are you feeling? Awful. And with a few more words? Angry, frustrated, useless. We should talk about what happened. After the meeting house, I mean. What do you remember from after you die? <laughs> Mista, people just like screwing everything that walks in Bullers Gate 3. Have you seen everybody in chat? I don't I don't want to talk over this too much because I actually like the dialogue that's going on here. I don't want to get lost in the uh I gotta find like a smooth way to separate like the, the cut scenes and then talk about silly things with you guys in chat because I, I love the chat talk. It's the only reason why I stream, but this game's interesting to me right now. So I'm just I'm trying to be involved in both and it's hard. Um what Mista just said, chat, about people just, like, screwing everything in Baldur's Gate 3. Have you guys seen that there's a Baldur's Gate 3 fastest sex you can have speed run? <laughs> there's a fucking YouTube. It's, like, a minute and a half. Apparently, you can have sex with something a minute and a half into the game if you want. <laughs> I didn't watch the video, but I was like, no fucking way. And it was, like, Baldur's Gate 3 sex speed run. Any percent. And I was like, what the fuck is that, dude? what's up avocado me it's good to see you man cyberpunk was uh projected to be the biggest game ever if i remember yes and see that's another case of it being overhyped that's a really good i was going to mention that crash that's a, a game where the developers and the team and whoever like is pulling the puppet strings for their uh marketing team and all that that was a, a reference of a game being over marketed and setting the standard too high for themselves so then when it comes out to the public and the public starts playing it, they have this really high expectation. So when it doesn't meet that unmeetable ceiling, they get mad. So it's like, it's kind of like the marketing team fucks themselves over and ruins it right out the gate, you know? I just saw the Demon Slayer movie. Didn't know there was one. I have no clue what that show is, but my daughter wanted to see it. Goku and Yugi are, were swing lightsaber. Get the fuck out of here, avocado meat. Also... Uh, I could see Goku in Yu-Gi-Oh swinging lightsabers all over Hogwarts for sure 
in an actual movie made. That sounds like something that would legitimately happen. Uh, that's that seems like something that Hollywood would do. They just absolutely fuck it up. Ah, yes, my favorite avocado. Someone saying the quad game is a quad A is like when someone makes up a number that doesn't exist to brag about how much they are, how rich they are. Yes, I've, I'm actually a um 17 fintipolo millionaire. Fintipolier? Fintipolor? Oh, well, how would that word end? Fintipular. Yeah. Nope, that doesn't work. Try to come up with something fake. Couldn't do it. <laughs> Whatever. Shut up. All right, let's continue. Crooked Finger Man, it's good to see you. Timeless. Hey, I hope you're doing well too, man. Yeah, today's been really nice, dude. The stream's been super, super comfy, actually. Quintillionaire? No, I was trying to fluff a fake number. I woke up in a cave. Or is, is that actually fake? By young woman <laughs> named Seeker, a witch's apprentice. It's a quad A game, and I'm a quintillionaire. To take care of me. Witches rarely show themselves. Intriguing that one would help us. You know what's really weird, chat? Is that it sounds like to me her echoed voice is a male voice. Quintillionaire. Quanta, quantant, quantantillionaire, mare, bear, fair, gare, slayer. Um, but do you guys hear her echo of her voice? It has like a, it's got like a low pitch. It's like boom behind it. We should go back to New Eden Town. We should run away. We should run away together. No, let's go back to New Eden and fight that lady. I think we should go back to New Eden Town. I agree. To free me, I believe we must reclaim my body. I refuse to be this way. I'll not abide it. I'm so sorry, my love. How can I help? I'm a ghost. It's over 9,000 inches. I'll not banish you. <laughs> I cannot and tear. So you die. Pog. You can't ask that of me. If that's what I wanted, you'd have no choice. But you don't wish it, do you? Not before I've had my revenge. Not before I've seen the nightmare defeated by you and me both. Just did my nails with no bands? Nice. I think we're going to be able to pick one or the other here. I selfishly, as Red, want to bring her back. The I want my so lady friend back. You joked about bringing me back to life. Is that possible? Yeah. Yes. The ritual of lesser palingenesis. It's extremely difficult. Highly dangerous. Yeah, and we actually read about I traversing the land of the dead in that you book. Teach me. When we were in that cave. It's an ancient ritual. It requires power. It consumes essence well, in if, large quantities. If we came across a book, sacrifice. if the little prayer book, the little Bible that we had, had a little bit of Charles's essence in it, then we can just go about banishing other things and just gather enough essence as we go. We can complete other jobs and eventually bring her back. Is that not the case? It's tempting, and that's dangerous. To think of being back in your arms. I'm tempted to. Oh, we do get to say both. Could I give you your assent? That would be the simplest solution, but not the easiest. Why? My body is my tie, and the nightmare still holds. You can't just go around putting your in the meeting, essence before into books, before. Ultra. Oh, yeah? I swear she did. That's what you think. Bad. She's a demon. Watch me. She is powerful. She won't just hand it over. Then what shall we do? If we are to return to New Eden Town, we must first learn more about our enemy. Charles said nightmares don't appear without good reason. Yes. We have a mystery to solve. Witches to meet. People to find and questions to ask. And then you'll help me go. One way or another. I will. I swear it, mother. Rest. You need it. I'll stay close. Is that a challenge? <laughs> Finally, we're going to be able to level up. We're at level three already, so we've got a couple level up here. Um, my question is, would that make it harder or worse when people died? 
if you could just sit down and have a full-on fucking conversation with somebody like they weren't dead, would that make it harder or worse? I'm actually not, or harder or better. I'm actually not sure which, I, I don't know how I'd feel about that. I don't know what I would think. You have to kill the living to bring her back? Human sacrifices, she said. I thought she just said it was like essence in large quantities. And we got essence through that Bible. So I figured that would be enough. We have to actually make human sacrifices. I'm down. Can we do it with children? I want to sacrifice the children. Sacrifice them all. Oh, sorry. Wrong voice effect. <laughs> so Antia can allow Red to see the world from the other side of the veil and uncover ethereal, ethereal elements such as spectral stains or webs. Hey, what's up, Andrew? Welcome back. In combat, Antia can deal increased damage to possessed corpses. Ooh, so we're going to fight zombies, basically. What's up, sup? Good to see you back. Whoa! A little glitch. I was looking at chat, so I kind of half saw it. Is there a massive glitch just then? She can't sleep, can she? Oh, that's so weird. Can you not literally stare at me while I sleep? You didn't choose a skill? I'll, the only options were to back out. I'll just, I'll go back in there and look at it. Shelters allow you to upgrade your equipment via the inventory menu. Uh, evolution. See, these were all locked. They all had lock symbols on them, so I thought we couldn't mess with them. I think we had to rest first. Invigorate. Banishing an enemy increases the damage of the next heavy attack by 200%. Each enemy hit by a light attack increases the damage of light attacks by 10%. This effect can accumulate re resets on being hit. That's pretty nice, too. Both of those are really good. Uh, more healing? I don't know about that. The fourth light attack triggers a punch attack that ignores resistances. This is crazy, dude. I feel like this one and this one are both ones that I want. I'd be here like in HR, but playing Apex. Sorry, chat. Hey, no worries, dude. Just lurk away. Hang out with us. Perfect switching. Switching to Anita right after a front dodge to trigger a melee attack that ignores resistances. Costs 15 spirit points. Oh, it actually costs us. We have like a magic thing that we have to deal with. Damage dealt by all perfect switch attacks is increased by 20%. So you, you dash forward, then you switch, and then you swing. Damage dealt by red is increased up to 50%. The higher the health points gauge. Okay. I like this one, though. Oh, wait, what? Oh. We can only pick one or the other. Hey, Arrow. How's your day? Good, dude. It's good, dude. How have you been? I see. We can only pick one or the other. Then we can probably only go this way or this way. Like we either go here or here. Perfect switching or damage dealt by red. I think we'll get good with the perfect switching because I really like that kind of stuff in games. I think we'll go with this. It's good to see you, Arrow. How have you been, man? What's good with you, bro? Yeah, you can only have two. Yeah, I see that. So we've got upgrades available in our inventory. Upgrade your equipment. Upgrading your equipment improves their bonuses, but requires resources. You can access the upgrade menu by hovering an equipment and slot and pressing square. So if we go to our chest armor here. Upgrading it costs 14 and 2. We've got plenty. So if we upgrade it to common 2, we've got unlimited power. Now we need scourge asseration or assertion. Sorry. Asseration. Just creating words out here. So we don't have enough to upgrade that any further. What's rudimentary? Does that like knock it lower? Back down. So the saber here. Spectral dust. We need a couple more spectral dust and we can upgrade that. Don't have a rifle. We can probably upgrade this, I would think. Yeah, we can upgrade this. It takes 14 and 14. We got plenty. Just increases how much it heals us probably. Antia's strength? Oh, no, this is something else, it seems like. No, it's the decoction charges. This increases, like, damage taken and strength and all that. This must be, like, our general health or something. 
ultimate cosmic power itty bitty living spaces go to sleep <laughs> translucent fibers zero of nine okay let's check out this guy over here rude of me not to ask oh no you're fine uh things are good man other people have asked like i i answered it when arrow asked so it's all good yeah things are fine borba no worries my dude so this is her ring lilac stuff let's get it i just skip out for a bit you digging the game it's actually really cool nucleus i'm liking it a lot so far the combat is a little stiff and there's it seems like it needs to be played at a specific pace the first boss that we fought was one tapping us so we died six times fighting that one boss i think everything else has been really smooth so far i don't think i've died in regular combat right i'm not forgetting that or misremembering that but yeah, we're just figuring out the scale or the skill tree thing for upgrades and all that. So we're we're just figuring it out. It's the man, the myth, it's the legend. It's nucleus. Shup nuke. So we rest here to get more of our charges back. There's a fast travel thing too, so that's pretty nice. Yeah, it has been a while, hasn't it, Nucleus? It's good to see Borba. piece of eight so let's see whoa not the best map this is where we were I think this is where we started I or maybe here we walked all this way this was a switch thing that I couldn't figure out how to climb up there could we have just climbed right up there it seemed like it wasn't reachable but maybe I'm just stupid so we went into here then we worked our way up here. What's this way, though? Can I go back? Oh, look. I right. So how do you do the switching thing? Oh, this is that. Okay. All right. We're in the same path. I just missed that pyrite right on our way in, I guess. Or it regrew when we rested, probably. So you can just, like, farm stuff over and over and over. How do we switch? Mid combat, maybe the game will tell us. I'm saying it right now. I often hate clothes shopping in stores. Amazon, from here on out, dude, clothes shopping, awful. I've always hated it. Even as a guy, shopping for myself is pretty typical. Nothing too crazy. Just like you know exactly what size pants you need, and all pants are basically manufactured the same. You just get them. You know, guy shopping is much easier, and I even hate doing that. Hate it. Ooh, more reading. 14th September. During one of our explorations of these new lands on which we first set foot many years ago, Angarad and I discovered a new place. A special place. A cave. Hidden behind a waterfall. Where none would find it. A strange feeling of lightness drew us into it. As though the veil between the incarnate and the invisible was as thin as the finest French silk. From the chamber, a manated the power of the other world. Surely, we thought, this was a fine place for ritual experimentation. The cave was larger than we had at first thought, containing a multitude of galleries. Angarad and I decided to take young Shelley along with us to continue our exploration. Pleasant but ungifted, his father insisted that he train with experienced occultists. What a surprise it was when we found out the mushrooms that we needed for our rituals were growing on the walls. We set about collecting them while I drew the symbols and prepared the rituals. We felt the powers magnified tenfold. One page is missing. The 18th of September. The cave is vast and dangerous. I heard whispers in the darkness. Something watches us. Neither Beldon nor Shelley can hear them, or so they say. But something lurks, I am sure of it. Perhaps I am wrong. Perhaps the fever I had some weeks ago yet lingers. Last night I caught out young Shelley watching us sleep. He was talking to himself. It was... fucking weird. That's my birthday! The 14th of September? Nice! Clothes shopping is the worst, dude. T-Bolt! What a man! T-Bolt, it's good to see you, dude. I wanted to blow my brains out? Yikes, man. Yep. Hell yeah, J-Butt. The 14th of September. Everybody write it down. Write down J-Butt's birthday. That way we can remember. 
while I was waiting for uh, waiting in line, I found exactly what I wanted on Amazon and bought it. Oh my God. For cheaper? T-Bold, it's good to see you, man. Write that shit down, chat. See the, the 14th of September. Maybe the wolves took him. Remember, Maybe remember, the 14th the of September. Just got home from eating some catfish, Take gator tail, and frog legs. I want to try you just like jump into a pond? Demonologists and their shabby rituals. Maybe that was a little extreme. <laughs> she wanted to try something. Frog legs are good. I've never had frog legs. I've had gator though. Way cheaper. Whoa. Is that possible through our bane rings? They allow us to connect the invisible. This is gonna be really interesting. All the switching and stuff. Very Lords of the Fallen with this multi stuff going around. Tastes like chicken. Yeah, uh, Gator does for sure. Do frog legs also? Are those webs made of spectral stains? My oldest left on vacation all by herself. Oh, wow. Tastes like chicken. Press X to remove the spectral webs and reveal some shit. Sorry, I didn't read it before I pressed it. What a dummy. More or less. Interesting. The dead hide more from key to the occultist's equipment. Key to the equipment of a missing demonologist found inside the mystical caves. So this mystical, dude. Helpful. Tastes like chicken. This game's super pretty, man. This game looks great on the PS5. Is it just me or hidden spectral resources? Press triangle to switch to Anita. Anita! Antia. Antea? I always forget. Anita. I need a fine ass woman like this in my life. <laughs> she turned 20 this month. Oh, nice. Went on a little trip all by herself. That's cool. Good for her. I wonder if humans taste like chicken. You mean you don't know? Or it'd be just like pork like. I've heard that human flesh is very gross, apparently. It's not too surprising. We put a lot of toxins in our body. Most animals don't really do that. Humans taste like pork. Probably bad though, right? Dude, she's just out here punching. Okay, so wait. If we perfect dodge towards and then switch. You gotta press circle, then triangle. I don't know if I like that. That combo feels weird. Hmm. We can fight them together. Press R1 to perform a punch attack that deals more damage to possessed corpses. Attacking with Antia consumes spirit points. They are regenerated by Red's attacks. Okay, got it. You gotta watch a couple of health bars then. Or bars of stiff. Sweet baby raised in a few hours on the smoker. Makes anything taste good? Ginger beard. <laughs> what are you talking about? Eating humans? Super proud of her. Uh, she's worked super hard all year. I meant, or I mean that she went with friends, just not mom and dad. Yeah, I got you. I know what you mean. Wait, does she not actually have a health bar? I think Anita has, or Antia, my God, has uh, not a health bar, but just has this bar. I, can help. I know that you can help. I'm busy. So does she, can she not get hurt? I think it just takes stuff away from us, huh? One less to worry about. Shit! Yeah, I'm getting messed up because the combat's, uh... Kind of getting in me, in my dome. Yeah, so we use her to punch the spirits out of the corpses, and then we use him to beat up the spirits. I promise. Got it. You get better. It's interesting. Things will get better. Ginger tried out for the cast of the movie Alive. <laughs> the game wants us to go that way. I say we go this way then. I feel a draft. From the invisible. 
Tia! With spectral dust. If we go back and rest, actually, there's quite a bit of things that we could... Oh, never mind. We can't just drop down right here. She seems to be good at sucking out essences. Yeah, dude. She does seem to be pretty good at that, doesn't she? Hey, yo. Hey, yo, what are you going to do? Hey, yo. Are we... Actually, I don't think we can get back. How are you finding this game? Tungi, it's actually really good. I like it a lot so far. I only call you finger in my head and I wish I could change that. I know. I do the same thing. Remember that time when Crooked Finger was like, Ultra, I think we're at the point that you can just call me Crooked. And I was like, all right, finger, sounds good. Pizza crust. Hey. Welcome back, Dawn. Let's go down here. Let's check out this thing. What's this about? I feel a draft. From the... In I'm right here, you know. Shut up. Yeah, I know that you're right there, but you're not needed for this fight because they're already outside of the things. It's already just the, the dudes, the spirits. That's what I'm for. You're for the other fight. Tungi, how are we doing though, man? It's good to see you in the chat, man. I do remember that ultra and it's like the mode that will ever be cherished forever. I do remember it and it's my favorite. I'll never forget chat talking about stream times. This is actually not involved with this stream and this is a very strange story, but it's it's relatively short. So I'm just going to hammer it out really quickly. Um, I was in somebody's stream. His name is Milton T Pike one. If anybody in chat knows who Milton is, that would be crazy. He hasn't streamed in a really long time because of issues with his house got flooded or whatever the fuck. And he's just been kind of absent off streaming for probably like almost two years now, I feel like. But he was a big streamer. But I was in his chat and he was playing Lord of the Rings stuff on a flute. And his whole chat was like, I love Star Wars. I love Star Wars. And I'm pretty sure they're all joking. And then I typed in his chat. Imagine not knowing this is Lord of the Rings, you uncultured swine. As a joke, like I posted with a, like a laughing emote after it or whatever. We were all just shooting the shit. This man in front of like, I think it was like a few thousand people did like this shit. He did one of these. He did one of these. And he was like, look at this guy. And scrolled up so that everybody could see it. And he was like, look at, look at this guy. And he was like, yeah, you bunch of pieces of shit. And he was like talking shit to the rest of his community. He was like, yeah, Ultra, you fucking tell him these dumb asses in my chat. Like, dude, it was so funny though. And I'll never forget that time. Like he was like, oh yeah, look at this. <laughs> banned immediately no dude i think he like i know that like everybody was just joking or whatever but dude i like banned myself i felt like i was like i gotta get out of here man i was like i gotta flee pretzel picks post in the discord hell yeah spiritual necklace nice is this a new item because i noticed that we had necklaces available in our thing strength dex build these are all for what this thing does 18 strength seven dex eight wisdom interesting we won't Oh, it went on us right away. Do I have this equipped? I can. Oh, I can upgrade on the fly. I thought we could only upgrade when we were at the rest stations. Oh. Equipments can only be upgraded at the shelters. Got it. Got it. All good. I just started streaming in a few others in chat. Also called me finger. There you go. That's what's up. That's it's going to be that way for a long time. Might as well just change your stream to that. Just change it. You're no longer Crooked Finger. You're just Finger. Probably taken, though. Up we go. Hop, 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 hop. Wrong thing. Good enough. Just change your name. <laughs> to Finger. Trademark, 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 trademark. I've only ever been banned from one stream. And it was dumb. I don't even remember what it was for. Well, probably something really dumb. Couldn't imagine banning the ginger beard, man. No way. No way, no how. Will you stop teleporting? Leather! Man, she's gonna just keep teleporting in front of me like that, huh? It's heading for that corpse. No! Oh, fuck, dude. 
Possessions and interruptions. Spectres may attempt to possess corpses. You can interrupt possessions by attacking the specter before it reaches the corpse. I ran as fast as I could in a straight line, dude. Perhaps talking about eating people? There's only one chat that I know that I'm banned from. It's this one. Goodbye. I can't get out of the corner. Don't let that specter get to the corpse. Or maybe I just will. God damn it. God damn it, dude. Dude, what is that, man? Come on, I'm right here. Banished. Marcin left. So when you're seriously fighting as her, you can kind of just like fall asleep because there's a, I don't think you can get hurt while you're her. It just takes away your spirit bar. And the idea is to just punch the spirit out. So that way you can just fight this guy. Right on. Okay. Solid five inches wide. Those are not small pretzels. God damn. What happened here for the veil to be You know. I'll keep that in mind. Now that doesn't seem like the bannable offense people talk about eating ass all the time. Well, it depends on what stream you're in, Gingerbeard. What do you mean? There's some streams where you can't swear. What do you What do you mean? That's not the thing. It depends on where you are. Every stream is different, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> the hell? I just uh, made some pizza dough, cooked them, or cooked them like pretzels, and they just turned into loaves. That's a bummer. <laughs> Did they? Oh, do they taste good? good? Did you eat one yet? That'll be why Swearing on my bad. internet, dude. F that man. Absolutely not, Tungi. No way, no how. Now nah, that doesn't seem like a thing. Oh, true. You're right. They're amazing. Just fun shaped pizza crust. Fuck yeah. Oh, okay, Mista. Chill. God damn. They look amazing, but I can't stop laughing at the shape of them. My mom doesn't let me swear on the internet. See? Or else uh, Ascended Fox's mom will ban them in real life. Hunting gear. Perhaps I, I just came upon a guy life. standing five feet off of the ground. Nice. Good visuals. Might take some good Definitely no problems here. 10 out of 10. Got that Christian internet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can't go into vegan streams to talk about barbecue meat. Exactly. I mean, this isn't one of them, but... First weird thing that I've come across? Yeah, this game seems like it's good for the most part. People do, though. Yeah, they do. And then they get banned. And that's what I'm saying. Ta-da! Full circle. We're there. We're getting it, chat. We're learning. Everyone. We're here. I think we're getting it. I think we're getting there, guys. I believe in you. You guys can put 2 plus 2 equals 4 at some point. I, I believe... <laughs> the circle of life! Andrea, Character development! Be able to tell equal seven? Oh, but come on, architect. Come on, man. You were the chosen one. Unlikely. You were supposed to they had talent do training, the they thing. Us and you did it. Three. Whoa. All that for nine pieces of eight. Nine pieces of eight, chat. Do that math. It's almost like everyone draws different lines and crossing them on purpose makes you an asshole whether you want to say is now or standing up being offensive or like oh yeah is that why i need to spread the good message of meat i need to spread it wide hey what a blade fifth try i mean first try i can't count and uh do one plus one it's okay next time Blade, how you doing, man?
What's with the little wispy things, though? Like, there's a wispy thing over there. Like, I want to see what that's all about. Blade, what's good, man? Completed. Collected. Now that I'm thinking about it, though, I'll see if I can find some actual pretzel picks. Post them in Discord. Or, sorry, pizza. It's funny that I read that as the opposite of what you were talking about. It's just because you've been mentioning pretzel stuff, because that's These what you made. You must yeah. Know something about the night. You wanted to post the pizza picks we that you've made, because you make pizza as well. That was so goofy. With people if they absolutely have to. Your little you pizza pretzels look like the bottom half of the Dead Among Us dudes. Oh my gosh, yeah. Let me see. I want to see now that you said that. I want to see that bit of it. Oh my god, that's too funny. Not bad, I ended stream early and then send some love to another guy's stream. Well, thanks for not bringing it here. And thanks for bragging about your A-person raid, Blade. Cool. They wouldn't be strong enough because they only eat vegan, or er, eat vegetables. So they couldn't stop you. True. I think I see a crossing. Nice Over subtle there. brag there, Blade. Cool. Look at me. Nice place. Wolves and specters assigned. Don't you have wolves and specters? They just wouldn't be islands. strong enough. The hybrid arms have the courtesy of letting me catch my breath between fights. Creepy. Another month? What, Jen? Let's go! Jen coming in! Let's get it! You don't have the required manifestation to unlock this path. What? This thing? Whoa. Yo, Jen, thank you for the 28 months. It was an hour ago. God, you think Twitch revolves around you? Damn it. I think you think that Twitch revolves around you because you keep talking about your stream and shit. I don't know why. I think you think that it revolves around you, actually. <clears throat> Thank you, Jen. Appreciate the tier one at 28 months. Thank you so much. I got you next time. It's all good, man. I, it's fine. I'm not worried about it. Please move on. Bad news. The no, bridge the bridge. F. We'll find another road to New Eden. Now cure my headache. I got you. I see. <laughs> Did that work? Need to walk the dog before making dinner. Catch you later, Ultron Chat. Hey, Crooked Finger, it's good to see you in the chat again, man. You have a good one, dude. Thanks for popping in while you could. Oh my god, I can see again. I have strong ankles, but at this height, I'm gonna make it. It's a far fall. I'm gonna fall down, break my legs. Over here, you can climb down. So they want us to go specifically that direction. Got it. Not really, but I appreciate the effort. It's all I can do. Yeah. Down we go. Architect Orchid, you guys know uh, what we've talked about before, I but that's a little much. Me. It's hard to think clearly. Not really feeling what's going down right there at that moment, you know what I'm saying? Right. I'm on team what you guys are putting down. Mm-hmm. They never learn, do they? The switching is rough. It actually is kind of weird. It's weird that it's triangle to switch. It should be a different button. That hit me? I thought I cleared that for sure. Ready and waiting. Did I just get hit again too? That's the oh my god, really? You're wasting your time. Wow, really? Jeez. Jeffrey Bezos. Wait, 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 wait. There's a guy protect this guy's like protecting them or some shit? Wait, hold on. What's going on? The guy had like full health again? I wonder what the best climbers in video games? Probably Dathan Drake, right? 
Yeah, the headache's been hanging around for like almost 24 hours. Whoa. That's not good. Orchid said my food looks good and that's all the affirmation I need. Hell yeah. I sing that song in my dreams sometimes. Yeah. Then sleep order Amazon. Oh no. That sounds like some uh, conjuring. It's gotcha. Yeah. They never learn, do they? Like, I think we need to fight this guy primarily. Shit. This isn't over yet. Falcon Patch! Oh, that's why I think a third wolf popped up last time that we were fighting. That's why there was another dude. She's got a really boring move set. I kind of hope that we can incorporate some like heavy and light attacks. Because right now it kind of seems like it's just the same. Like actually, does she even have heavy attacks? She might not even have heavy attacks at all. She doesn't. She only has light attacks. She has just punches. Yeah, she needs like a different skill tree or something. It's just not quite enough to keep me fascinated with what's going on. Interesting. Also, I thought we'd be able to combo the jump attacks a little bit more, like jump attack, switch to her, switch back to him, switch back to her, switch back to him, you know. I was thinking Ice Climbers because it's literally in their name. Never played Ice Climbers, the game. Ooh, what game is that from? I'm hydrated, I'm eating, and I'm not withdrawing off of caffeine, so we'll see what happens. Weird, man. The Devil's Lettuce helps my headaches. Yeah. She's a ghost. Ultra war do you want from a dead person? Some kicks or something. Shit. Anything, dude. Anything. There's someone inside. Someone tainted a tainted meat tainted meat person mini boss fight or something look at the movies ghost uh can move things with their mind she could do that oh sorry i thought you were going to talk about the climbers thing more because i was saying what game is that from is it ice climbers You're back. Huh? I ain't Ben, bro. Beg pardon. <laughs> Beg pardon. I thought you were someone else. Uh, sorry. Beg pardon. Let her do some possessions? I don't think she can do that. Maybe. Let's get some upgrades going, huh? I'd be glad to share. kind of you to offer lad. are we no, being so awkward because we're trying to figure out if he's human or something Been a while it took our dude a long time to even say a single face. word can he see her you come from camp you a hunter of so <laughs> red mccraith i'm a banisher like he cannot interesting stories. jacob lind I'm a trapper. <laughs> That's a real job. Um, did he just say that being a banisher is not a real job? What the hell? Jesus, man. We just met. He offered me food. And then I was like, I'm a banisher. And he was like, I'm a trapper. That's a real job. Jesus. You're exhausted. I'm surprising given how tainted are these woods. Are you sleeping? I don't like sleeping. I see things. What's next, dude? My SoundCloud mixtapes aren't a real job either? Uh. What's tainted mean? Marked by ghosts. Ice oh. Climbers is the name of the game as well? Yeah, I've never heard of it. Tell me of your nightmares. Oh, for the NES? Jeez. Oh, nightmare. Always the same Maybe bro's on a little, uh... Has it too. Would you care to share them? 
Next thing you know, that guy's gonna make funny of how much money is in your bank account, like five dollars and thirty some odd cents or some shit. <laughs> like an internet influencer. That's not a real job either. What are you doing here? How do you know we're safer? The woods are kind to them as knows them. We hunt here. When we get pelts and meat, we trade and we need it. The game's been entertained? scarce. We've not to trade, so we wait. When even the wolves are Hold on, son. Stop talking, Jacob. I've got business to attend to, brother. Everybody in the chat, bang your heads. Let's get it. The band is yours. Hunters with a single purpose. The world of evil spreading curses. Uh... Winter? This is June. Is it? Could have sworn it was. I'm sorry. On my own, I lose track of time. And with your friend? Oh. Look, man, if my mixtapes don't sell, I'll just swap over to selling OnlyFans. I didn't know that fans were in such high demand. Was... It's kind of like the big ass fan company where it's just a giant fan. Blade is over there selling literally just fans. Me and your character are locking the same man bun. Nice, dude. Also big beard too, right? Hell yeah. Who's Ben? Sell both. Double income. Another dropper. Hi, the best of us. Summer's just Call around the corner, home. baby. He's out now, but he'll be back. Where has he gone? The bridge is down. As down as down can be. Can't cross. Bad things lurk in the shadows. They sent flesh. Game's low. Game's low and Ben's gone. He'll find game, he will. I know it. This made me snort. Was it loud enough for your neighbors to hear? <sighs> what locks in the shadows? Is that what keeps you here? Hey, Apollo, thank you again for the hundred biddies, man. Much appreciated, dude. And the fog. Can't hunt if you can't see. Can't hunt and if you if and if and you can't. Knows the woods better can't too. hunt and if and you can't. Not I quite this time. Him. Where did you meet Ben? We found each other. Brothers in spirit, he said. He's been good to me. Your neighbors have ducks? Too nice. Why? He's important to you. I nice. And me to him. He's lost his nerve. <laughs> Jealous. Taken it from him. All right. See you later, Ben. Wait, that's not his name. Get ben is the guy that he's him. looking for. See you later, Maybe. Jacob. If you see Ben, kill him. I'm thinking of him. I'm definitely gonna kill Ben. Tall lad. Even when he's lying down. Tall lad. Okay, that's our boss Can't fight coming listen. up. Got it. Poor child. He's shrouded in spectral stains. You have started your first haunting case and must investigate the ghost that haunts Jacob Lind. Use the notification shortcut or open your haunting cases menu to follow this investigation. Inspect. The flesh is friend. weak. Food is scarce. We might do. I like duck eggs? He's not fussy. His meat is crawling. Do you sleep here, Jacob? Ben sleeps here. She sells her eggs? I don't sleep. Nice. Whatever haunts the boy Duck eggs are quite large, right? Should talk to this In comparison to chicken eggs. Oh boy. Genesis 9. And God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. To and the fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth and upon every fowl of the air upon all that moveth upon the earth and upon all the fishes of the sea into your hand they are delivered three every moving thing that liveth shall be meant for you even as the green herb have i given you all things 
all but flesh with the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, shall ye not eat five? And surely your blood of your lives will I require. At the hand of every beast will I require it. And at the hand of man, at the hand of every man's brother, will I require the life of man. Six, whoso sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. For in the image of God made he man. Quick question. Shoot it. Jacob sounds like a nerd. That was the Bible. <laughs> what the hell is that voice? What do you mean? It's Monty Python, guys. The fuck? You shall count to three, not four. And five is right out. Ben went out without a gun. We're trappers, not hunters. We had the gun for safety. I'm reading from work. history books. Never mind, pop off, King. That's what I thought. You don't find hairs on duck eggs, but you do find hairs on an ape. It is only the hairs on a gooseberry that keep it from being a grape. Is that a weird nursery rhyme that I've never heard of in my life? What is that? These Ben's things. <laughs> Most of them. Not the rope. Hey, we got the rope. Kind of you. Thank you. I'll take that rope. You can take a stupid fucking rope. The sturdy rope is mainly used to descend safely from dangerous cliffs. Hey, that one spot that we couldn't go down. Sirens, what's up, dude? How are we doing, Sirens? The voice also could have been the priest from Princess Bride. Mm hmm. Yep. He's so confused. I doubt he knows. We have he gathered is. here today. Mowage. Mowage has gathered us here today. Sirens, hope you're well, man. We need to just go up and to the right. Did we explore this way, though? What's over here? Mowage. That scared me for a second. I thought we were running in place forever. Forever. Is this thing alive? It is not. It's in pieces. Numerous pieces, and I'm wondering if it's alive. Going to be lurking? No need. Or no worries. Not no need. I read the word need in your next sentence. I still need to get things packed. Hope the streams are going well. Yeah, dude. Things are good, man. Appreciate you. Loved that movie as a kid. Princess Bride? Amazing. Yeah, generally carcasses aren't alive. I thought it was going to stand. It's not weird to see an animal from a distance and think it's going to get up. Lurk it up, though, my dude. Appreciate you, sirens. My name is Duke, the Doom Guy. Welcome in, Duke, the Doom Guy. Definitely not Duke from Duke Nukem. Definitely Duke from Doom. Thanks for the follow, man. Appreciate you. You're expecting more holiness, lights, courses, pizzazz? Well, I can only do so much. All right, let's see. Do we want to go down already? Or is there more stuff for us to be able to explore somewhere else? Ah, eh, whatever, dude. I don't want to overthink it too much. Well, hey, Duke. Hope you're having a good time, man. Don't worry. Appreciate you swinging on in. Oh, that was very short. Can't see nothing. But she can. Oh, it's Lane from Off the Shelf? Oh, cool, dude. Just saying. Hey. Yeah, now I remember. I was going to say, that name is really familiar. I was like, did you not follow me before? But yeah, it's you're from Shelf's community. Thank you, dude. I appreciate you swinging through. Did you come in off of the raid? Did you just realize that you're lurking in a different stream? <laughs> I appreciate you swinging in, man. Things that are short can be fun, or so I'm told. Oh, no, I had a good time. It was just, I thought it was going to be a lot longer. That's also what she said. Do you see that? It looks like the fog is coming. Hold on. No fall damage on this lady? I'm not sure. Well, Yikes. Were we getting hurt? 
No, okay. Dispel the quick mist. Guys, it's quick mist. Do ghosts take fall damage? I don't know, chat. Oh, Leon? Ian McKellen. Oh, that's an I at the beginning, not an L. Ian. Sorry, I thought it was an L. Yeah, I mean, why wouldn't you capitalize the first letter? Yeah, Ian. Got it. Iron. Well, this is not... This game doesn't have to follow the rules established by other things, you know. Oh, wait, we can remove that? That was the first thing I tried to do was walk up to and do things and it didn't do anything. The first thing that I tried to do was walk up to that thing and interact with it and the game didn't let me. Damn, man, we're getting fucked up. I know we're playing on the hardest mode, but damn. Attack towards the enemy, Brosif. No, dude, you're good. I will call you Duke, though. I don't like to use first names with people in chat. I like to just call them by their chat name. I'm sorry. I didn't know that would happen. Got away with Hello, downstairs neighbor. <laughs> so we talking when uh, you tried to do it? Oh, she was talking when you tried to do it. Yeah. So there's like dialogue stopping me from being able to interact with it. That makes sense. This game looks super cool though. Hope you're enjoying it. Yeah, man, it is actually really cool. I've heard some pretty mixed reviews, but I think the user reviews for this game is like over 90% positive. I only call my brother his real name. That's fair. That's because that's his Twitch handle probably. You've been using my middle name this whole time? <gasps> Wait, what? Ark is yes. your middle name, dude? Something's here. Still not your first name though, which is true. That's what I said. <laughs> it has to coincide with what I want. All right. What is... This is the spot for us to get down and up, right? This is the spot where she, he was like, I can't jump down there. That's crazy. That's too far. I can't possibly do that. That's way too far. Maybe we'll jump down and break my little ankles if I jump down there. I'm assuming that this will be the same. That's this spot. No, that spot right there. That looks like it. Maybe we just need to add the rope there or something. Is it open world? No, not really. I mean, like, maybe, like, minorly open world. Um, Like, you get this area that you can explore just here where it's not green. You know what I mean? So, like, kind of semi-open world, I guess, if you want to call it that. Looks like a big map. Possibly. We'll see where the game expands from here. I tell people I share my name with the character from the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise and no one believes me until they, my brother shows up. Okay, back for real for real? What's up, Andrew? Welcome back for real for real. Got grilled cheese now? Oh, oh, baby. Yes, something's here. But not here for me to mess with just yet? Okay. Interesting. Grilled cheese sounds bomb. I want a grilled cheese right now. I had a panini earlier. Food in general sounds really good. Alright, Chad, I'm ending the stream. I gotta go eat. I'm just kidding. I felt it too. I gotta go. I must eat. A nice hot dog. Eat stream. Everybody watch me eat. Judge my eating technique. Oh, of course. There's something for her in here. That's the whole point of them. What'd we get? 59 pieces of eight? Five spectral dust. Pieces of eight, I mean, that's nice. 
All right, let's go towards the objective marker this time. Some butter, garlic paste, chipotle, and my grilled cheese. Nice. A little pang to it. Fuck yeah. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. But did they charge extra for guac? They made it at home. <laughs> I think. Traces of a pretty sure. An echo hangs on it. Oh yeah, we got to perform some rituals, yeah. But it has Chipotle in it. Not the company. Colby Pepper Jack and Gouda. Nah. Thanks for the shout out earlier. Um, what was your favorite film? What's my favorite film? Uh, really hard to say. Um, Lord of the Rings is up there. The first couple Matrix movies are up there. Um, Boondock Saints is up there. And uh, American Psycho. We had this talk the other day. We did. Imagine not picking Scott Pilgrim versus the world. What do you think about that movie being like remade or whatever? Andrew, they know. Dawn's just being silly. Reveal the echo. So we need to perform an echo ritual. Execute the echo ritual. Just being a little goofy goober. Here and now, I lift the curtain. Yeah, I can't go wrong with Lord of the Rings. Whoa. I can't. I can't do it no more. <laughs> there was a firefight! Fuck yeah, dude. On what about you, man? Land, we don't give, give up. up. I've had enough. There's no way up. There's no way down. For days we've eaten. A Dorito tree. I keep forgetting to watch the Scott Pilgrim show. Is it even out? We I didn't think that was out. Give up. <laughs> Bought the game, but keep forgetting to play that too. Look Sounds like you're a fake me. fan to me. Not even a real fan. What is you doing? Don't hurt me. <laughs> Gotta go with John Carpenter's or John Carpenter, sorry, the thing every time. Nice, man. I don't know if I've ever seen the original thing. Oh Ben died in the fall. And now his maggoty ghost is back to haunt the friend who pushed him. Jeez, dude. Jacob pushed his ass? And he's waiting for Ben to return? That's kind of messed up, actually. Jacob Lynn's friend, Benedict Stone, brings him food. Driven to disarray by weeks of nightmares, riven sleep. Um, Jacob pushed Benedict off of a cliff. Dude, what the hell, man? What are you doing, Jacob? I think Jacob's delusional. Did he really forget what he did? Maybe his guilt got the better of his reason. We need to find the body. If yeah, I think he's uh first. not admitting it to himself. I've been saying that I want to rewatch Doctor Who for like three months, and there's just nothing stopping me from doing it other than just like me remembering to do it. If you really want it, you'll do it. Jacob needs a Snickers. That man is just not himself when he's hungry. <laughs> Something's nearby. Where is it? This thing? Is this his body? Jesus Christ. Covered in webs. Look at him. Spectral dust and pieces of eight. That's what we got from that? We didn't get like something that identifies that that's his body? Maybe that's not his body? That's kind of weird. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, there he is. <sighs> Looks like me if I got off of that vitamin D. That's him. Right there. This guy? Oh. There he is. See that guy there? He's dead. That guy? Him right there? The last thing that we got was Jacob Lynn carved meat from Benedict's. <gasps> Ew! It's 
it actually is Gingerbeard. Gross, bro. This man pushed his friend after having days of nightmares, shoved his friend off of a cliff, went down, found his body, carved meat from his body, and then went home to eat it, probably. Jacob Lind carved meat from Benedict Dalton's body. Jacob Lind killed and ate his companion, Benedict. Yikes, dude. Jacob was eating meat. Jacob was eating Ben. Poor, desperate, starving boys. Poor he had him for breakfast. Starving boys. That's where Sometimes Eggs Benedict comes from. To survive. Shut the f up. What? Kind of 10 out of 10 joke. I hope you didn't accept any food from him. Ate the whole thing. Can we ban Apollo? Yes. Yes, we can. So gross, dude. Ew, man. He harvested the sausage first to stop it. Enough. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm hungry. Hungry for that sausage, and I'm carving up your body. Nom 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 nom. They brought more friends. You shouldn't stay in there. I need a save point though, so that I can rest and get my heels back, man. I also feel like the doctor was written by the most or the best and worst possible version of the doctor in terms of who was the person. Apologies uh, for the more food conversations, but favorite donuts, though. Uh, I don't have a favorite. I do enjoy the ones that are custard filled, though, the most. But I, I don't eat really donuts all that often, to be honest, to have like a uh, like a specific like that one. You know what I'm saying? I'm a maple buttermilk bar person. Blueberry cake donut or cream. Uh. Elf. Whoa, shit, dude. One punch. Dude. Okay. Difficult with the no health. With the no healing items and the guy that keeps going in and out of phases. I need those custard donuts, brother. Give them to me. So what do we do about the guy that's vanishing in and out of the shit like that? Door dash him? Okay, do we punch him as her, too? I don't know what the play is. Get banished! Rough, guys. Am I not locked onto anybody now? No, oh, I went in for the strike just then, but he was still swinging. Homie has swung so many times. I wish I had any healing items. That'd be nice. I had to do this entire area without being able to go back to the rest spot, so it's kind of weird. No, it's just I have it on the hardest difficulty, and we used all of our heals, and the only place that has a rest point is all the way back at the base, all the way over here. 
So we did all of this stuff and used all of our three heals by the time we got to over here. And now we're just stuck in a spot where we don't have any healing items. Yeah, a little punishing. What the fuck? Shit. Oh, come on, dude. Get out of here. Whoa, what? Reinforcements. Watch out. Spectre possession. Oh, come on. No way. Yikes, man. They're going to go shower. Sounds good. Dodge. Dip. Dash. Dive. And dodge. Stream Elms is trash, dude. I have a funny feeling that you're on your way to rest spot too. Yeah, we are. We got to be. Oh, my God. Every time. Oh, got him in the corner. I think we hit him. Too far away. Hey, Wags, thanks for the 50 biddies, dude. What the fuck did he just hit me with, bro? No way. Thanks for the 50 biddies though, my man. Hope you're doing great. Wag. The worst average gamer ever. I can't switch. So what am I dead? Don't Terrible. Oh, that's a lame mechanic. If you don't have any spirit for her and you get caught in that stupid thing, you can just sit there until you die. What in the hell, man? Wow, that's terrible. That's a bad mechanic, dude. They need to make it so you can get out of that, even if you're if you don't have any spear for her. Spear just makes it so that she can like fight and punch and stuff. Like, there's no reason for that to be limited to that. Coat my wolf kills on one hand. Get back up. Watch out. Hey, homie's dead. Homie's dead. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. We did it. We did it. We did it. We're good. We're good at video games sometimes. Hell yeah, brother. Gotta know the block, baby. You gotta know how to block, brother. We did it. GG. Thanks, guys. Is there... Is, is there an item back here? Yeah. I know where things are because I play video games sometimes. Chad, if you guys aren't checking out Worst Average Gamer, you should. He's a fantastic dude. Good man. Thanks again for the 50 bits, homie. How have you been, dude? What's new? Actually, you guys were saying that we might be walking into a boss fight or, or not a boss fight. Sorry, a rest spot. I actually think we're walking into a fucking boss fight. We're about to confront Jacob. He might be a little upset when we are like, hey, you're a cannibal. Just maybe. Let's He's actually a rock star, plays Jacob's bass. Inside. True.
where is he at? Just a little bit. Doing great. Went to the Demon Slayer. Oh, uh, we just had somebody else uh, watch the Demon Slayer as well. Unless they were joking. They said some goofy shit after that. How did, what did you think of it, worst average? I do dabble in being a rock star, brother. Yeah, but consider that Jacob is alive, though. He should be easier to kill. True, like just a human. Yeah. A hand whittled wooden bowl and spoon used by Jacob. Look, there's his uh, sausage and eggs chat. Check it out. It's a uh, Benedict, whatever the fuck or whatever the hell we were saying. The eggs Benedict. Check it out. There it is. This tie is doused with the essence of its ghost. Once a closure has severed the ghost's bond to this world, this essence will be automatically consumed by Antia and make her stronger. I was eating. Sorry. I think I found our tie. My coworker said the movie sucked. Bummer, dude. It was good, though. Should have seen. So there should be a great season coming up. I think their whole season releases April. Come on. Let's talk to Ben. Let's talk to Ben by summoning him. Uh, force the ghost or specter to appear. Sorry, Andrew. Yeah. Oh. Well, you were eating, though. You were eating grilled cheese. You done eating that? Jacob. Yeah, well, you're not Eggs Benedict either. Who's oh, you are still eating? Okay. My name is Red McCraith. The skull. Yeah, all good. You? Antea Duarte. <laughs> what kind of art school do these people go to? I can't even draw circles that perfect. They just look good like that, man. I don't know. I'm beyond help. They're just real good. Where's Jacob? Uh, he's eating. How long have you and Jacob been out here in the woods? Some winters now, but this one, it never ends. No way out, no way in. We were alone, not an animal in sight. No, when things changed, we got stuck. <laughs> These godforsaken woods. You tried many times to leave this place. I tried and failed. Week on week, month on month. He really popped that K on that first week. In circles. He said week. The woods are tricky, sir. Treacherous. Mean. Round and round we went. Round and round and back again. Jacob said you both had nightmares. <laughs> the same. <laughs> I... And yet we got no sleep. Could a little inflection. From fantasy. The shadows seemed to flicker at the corners of our eyes. We know what befell you, Benedict. What keeps you here? He does. He waits and waits and waits on me. He'll not face what he has done and I cannot go. I cannot go. But I'll not hate him. How could I? Dude, he pushed you off a cliff and ate you. He pushed you off a cliff and ate you, bro. What do you mean? I think you can hate him a little bit. We thought Just a lost. smidge. Just a tiny, tiny little bit. Who would not lose their mind? Stuck in place for weeks on end. It was an accident? It was not. He went right. He said. Though I denied it. I mean, the, the part that was the accident part didn't mean to eat him. Oh, accidentally yeah, slipped onto his body. Then, oh, and carved a chunk of it off. And, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what do you want from Jacob? Do you seek revenge? I seek no vengeance. He is I, and I am him. Yeah, I was madness getting him. Yeah, that's the accident part. Accidental cannibalism seems logical. Yeah, I think he was losing his mind from all the nightmares and pushed him out of a fit of madness and then ate him because he needed to. Why do you not confront him? Why not show yourself? I did. He thought me alive. 
and then accidentally ate him. A little trip. Oopsies. Yeah, and they were starving. Exactly. Shia LaBeouf. In the woods. Shia LaBeouf. In the forest. Read scripture. God would mind us if we were good and honest. Jacob taught me that. We were good. We lived honest lives. We kept to ourselves, minded our business, and no one else's. So tell me, Banisher. In the corner of your eye, you spot him. Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> this was not God's doing. Another powerful entity is at work here. Yeah, he fucked up massively, but the situation is forgivable. I take the opinion of the ghost. Yeah. I don't think... I think Jacob needs to be saved, not, like, killed or something. Does the audio keep glitching for you guys? Or is that just my headset? If anybody's, like, act, like deliberately listening to the chat... Or not to the chat, to the stream. Are you guys hearing the audio just every once in a while go boop? And then it comes back. It's just... It's fine here. Okay, it's probably just my headset then. Nah, condemned. Straight to jail. It's probably just my Thank headset you, then. Benedict. Perhaps we'll talk again. Have you guys kept up with Shia LaBeouf? No. I haven't. Sure. Perhaps I was listening, didn't notice anything? Okay. It's very subtle and for a very short time, but you, when audio like cuts in and out like that, it's you pretty jarring. So I feel like you'd notice it. So. The truth will break him. His d denial runs strong. Oh shit! Uh, uh. His denial runs strong. Must have loved Ben very much. Is there something to keep up with Shia LaBeouf? What's the latest Shia LaBeouf news? He's trying to go through the process of becoming a Catholic bishop. Whoa, really? The ghost of Benedict Stoughton wants Jacob Lindell to tell the truth and admit his cannibalism. So he just wants it to be said from Jacob's face. Then Ben will be able to disappear and go off into the distance. Last time I saw Shia LaBeouf was in, was in Fury. Oh yeah, that movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, probably for me as well. All I know him is do it. You mean just do it, that? Yes, you can. Oh, there's Jacob. Hey, Jacob. Uh, want to tell me that you're a cannibal? Oh, there, dear Jacob. Ho there, Mr. McCray, sir. Hey, you're a ho. Have you tried leaving? You were struggling yourself and Ben. He's my reformed Orthodox Rabbi leave? Bill Clinton. Leave. No, Dude, fuck leave. that guy. This here is home. I liked that a lot more when Which I thought it was just somebody who was a weirdo. Time when time I found out that here. it was somebody doing a bit. Fuck that the guy. Lives are here. Can't leave. Did you not try the river? Like what a loser. The fog had to lift sometime, and if you stay, you'll starve. We have enough. Thanks to Ben. Dude, homie, you ate Ben. You ate Ben. Time Ladies to grease up the weekend. Welcome to the number one hit song in the world with pure sex appeal. You're listening now. You Dance it up, Chad. Grease, grease up you the dead some guy. Grease on me, daddy. Put some grease on me, please. Rub it up and down my body. Oh, won't you please? Enemies in the lands between Make them fall down to their knees If you listen really closely You'll hear their plead Won't you plead? Put some grease on me, daddy Put some grease on me, please Won't you plead? Put some grease on me, daddy Put some grease on me, please no good morning to that guy. Hey, thank you for the 69 biddies, dude. Greasing up the weekend. Thank you, Nucleus. I'm sorry, Jacob. We must talk. Something has happened to Benedict. What? Where is he? My Benedict? My eggs, Benedict? Come on now, Jacob. If something's happened to Ben, say so. Where is he? You need to remember. No, we need to make it so that he admits it. We got to make him admit it. Benedict is in pain. For his sake, you need to remember what happened. You need to remember what you did. But I... What I meant by that was I'm pouring no, wine. Fuck yeah. I would never... 
I couldn't hurt him. I love him. Jacob, look at me. See, chat? I love you guys, too. And by that, I mean I'll push you guys off of a cliff, too. What happened on that cliff top? I was tired. So tired. And I also might eat you. Hunger was it's possible. Holes in me, burning in my throat. I could think of nothing else. Aw, Andrew, I'm sorry that your we uncle's diagnosed with cancer. We Less than a year to live? Me. I'm so sorry. I too. I wanted it all to stop. Yeah, of course. Yeah, your father's facing a huge chunk of his life disappearing. Aw, oh, man. I'm sorry, Andrew. It's a real bummer. Seems like everyone knows somebody who's suffered from cancer. It's a real problem. Cancer is so rampant. You know, I'll be honest. It probably doesn't help having wireless headphones and shit like that and cell phones in our pockets all the time and allowing all these radio waves and signals to penetrate our body 24-7. It's probably triggering cancerous things in us all the time. You know, everybody has cancer in them. It just needs to get triggered. And I feel like we're just, as a society, with all of our technological advances, man, we're just making it more abundant. It seems like everybody's getting cancer these days. It really sucks. Yeah, it was a shitty way, but it's good uh, deep down. Yeah. Sorry to hear that, though, Andrew. Hopefully, science will progress, and maybe we'll get some sort of solutions to this kind of thing. But yeah, really sorry to hear that, though. Yeah, see, Dawn went through that with her cousin. Yeah, it seems like everybody knows somebody nowadays. That was deep. Yeah. <laughs> Not the same situation, but I know what you're going through. Yeah. I mean, uncle, cousin. But dealing directly with the dude's brother, their father. Yeah. Um. Anyways, this guy killed somebody in this game. Yeah, then he ate him. Yet you gave up on Benedict. I'm just kidding. And then you turned on him. I failed him. I failed Benedict. I'm Streamer. so angry. No. So angry. He kept pushing me. We kept. We argued. And I couldn't think. When I saw him lying there on the ground, lifeless, the whisper said, it was him or me. I hope things turn around for you and your family as best as they can, died. though. I should have died. My sins, I deserve. Yeah, no remind you of the troubles a little bit. He's a sad case, too. Yeah. I failed God. I failed my friend. I'm a monster. I deserve no mercy. No. You're just a sinner, begging for help. Ben? We both faced a choice. My favorite part when he's told him that he was a sinner, then he sinned all over the place. To kill or to die. Nice entrance, Ben. Very epic. Straight down the center. Here we are. Do you forgive me? No. Could you imagine? He stabs him. Reaches into his body. Grabs his heart. It's sinning time. Are they going to kiss? What's going on here? Sick guitar solo. They're in the hands of others now. It's sinning time. Just lays down some sick chugs. Actually. Yes. I think it's time that we sin. You have to come back. If we had to use the ritual, we spoke It's of, Vader time. Squeeze that heart. This is when it starts. Heart attack. Red, if we take one step along that path. Jacob is ready to die. The others won't be. We'll tell lies. We'll harvest the essence of the living. Oh, this isn't, this is really important. Oh, shoulder the blame. As the man says, we face a choice, simple and awful. 
Whoa, to this is intense. To be together again. Well, we bringing back our lady chat? We're going to kill everybody in this game to bring back our lady? Ever. We must decide now. She dude. So these guys were in love? Maybe. It did seem like it was a little romantic, didn't it, Sag? Chef Relicious, how we doing, dude? Welcome into the stream. It's a pleasure to see you. This is actually really important, guys. This is a big choice that we have to make here. We're doing closure for this, and we have to do human sacrifices to be able to bring our lady back. I'm assuming we're going to have to do human sacrifices constantly to be able to bring her back or not and allow her to be ascended later. Um, we bringing her back? Do we kill everybody? We make all the bad choices. Whatever we got to do to bring back our lady. That's what I want to do. I'm okay with playing the little villain, man. I kind of want to play the little villain. Just nah, 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 nah. I tell my homies that I love them constantly. You got to tell your homie. You got to kiss them goodnight. Back in the days, love was deeper than nowadays is morally allowed. A lot of people think that it should. They would be gay for men to just say I love you or make small gestures like that. In reality, it was like more common than it was uh, nowadays. Yeah, I suppose so. I don't give a fuck what outsider, outside onlookers think. I don't give a fuck. Go full Kratos and kill everybody? All right. I think we should kill everybody. Does she want that is the real question. She seems indifferent. She seems indifferent. She's just like, that's a dark path, brother. And that's pretty much all that she's said about it. I don't really think that she's voiced much of opinion at all. Oh, she wants it. I thought she would rather be dead be gone she wants you to choose i think we should definitely uh do what we gotta do to bring her back dude i think we gotta sacrifice all the people kill them all bring back her lady you have reached the closure of a haunting case as a banisher the audio is cutting out like crazy are you guys not hearing that it keeps going like doom 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 and it like has this weird gap and it's not on purpose it's like cutting notes in half That. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> you feel the tension? I can. I can feel it down in my plums. Sounds like a bad loop. Yeah. There's several endings. Yeah, I heard it. Yeah, it's been doing that. There, there goes a bad. Yeah, bad soundtrack loop. Not cool. I don't like it. I also feel it in my plums. Yeah, the looping's bad. Each choice will have consequences, specifically on the way Red and Antia evolve as a couple. Reminder, if Red wishes to bring Antia back to life, he must blame the lar blame the largest number of living settlers. Blame them? Okay, we're gonna blame them all, dude. I don't give a fuck. We're blaming everyone. Flat rate across the whole board. Nothing but blame. Blaming every single person that we see. Goose, what's up, dude? Welcome into the stream, man. Good to see you. Maybe eventually the choices will be timed and the loop doesn't suck as much. Blame equals the kill. Yeah, we're blaming. We're fucking blaming them, dude. Confirm. Blame. You believe you merit no mercy, but your suffering must have an ending. You murdered your friend. Blame. The blame. You called your blame. Brother. Blame. Blame, 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 his ending and bound his spirit to this realm. You can never right this wrong. But the truth and your death will ease his suffering. Damn. There can be no half measures here. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Benedict, my friend. Sounded like a bad loop again. Forgive me. Forgive me. I thought we were just going to punch him in the face. Ah! Oh. We sucked his soul out of his body through his chest. Have you been enjoying Banishers? Goose, I have. Dude, get sucked. Suck. Sucked. You chose Ascension. Are you going Ascension only? Dude, look, she's back. She's normal. And then right back to being a ghost. Damn, that would be rough. Shang Tsung, finish him. 
suck them, dude. Prisma's clearly a good man. You may Don't know that matters. Best. I'm trying to get my wife back. I think I need Your soul is mine. You can rest inside. Dude, we're gonna sleep in here. Nice. We killed the guy, then we took his home. <laughs> no more maggots. Just like a real settler, chat. Let's it's fucking go, dude. I haven't murdered anybody. Nice. Well, good for you. I'm here to fucking murder. Blame? Nah. Shame. 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 I've been on the edge to get it or not. Sir Andreas with the five gifted sub. Let's go. Ultra replaying Christopher Columbus. Murder. Steal the home. Dude, thank you. Chevrolicious, you got one. Uh... Fajin Khan. I, I was trying to get that name last time too. Goose, you got one. Velkyrene, crooked finger, you got one. Look at all those people. X5 yeah, you. Just dude, thank you for the five subs. gifted subs there, my dude. Sir Andreas, welcome in. And thank you for the five bomb, man. Much appreciated. Did that before even saying hi, I'm pretty sure. What the fuck? Dude goes hard in the paint. Also, welcome back, Orchid. Dude, thank you, thank you, man. Squeaky, super clean. Welcome back, bestie. Dirty, dirty girl no longer. What the fuck? Who says that? Uh, we have two level up points. There's him and then there's her. Oh no, this is still him? Team assist, the fourth heavy attack triggers a punch that ignores resistances. Of course. Hey man, I really appreciate it. Damage dealt by red is increased by 30% against full health enemies. So the first hit... Each enemy hit by a punch attack increases the damage of the punch attacks by 7%. This effect can be accumulated resets. Probably should do that. Using leap while the banish gauge is full increases leap damage by 500%. But consumes all banish points. Good God, man. Are we having a wonderful night? Yeah, Sir Andreas. Things are good, man. We're doing good around here. My reaction was the same as Ultra's. Bearing restores 15 spirit points. Charged heavy attacks... Damage is increased by 20%. Probably this one. Oh, I can't do this one. Sorry, I don't have those. I can only do the red ones. Okay. Probably go with that one then, huh? Or this one, actually. Will charge heavy. Defeating an enemy with a heavy attack reduces the next damage taken by 90%. That's pretty nice. Counter blow, perfect switch. Switch to a need Antia right after you block an attack to trigger a punch attack that ignores resistances. Costs 20 spirit. No, I think I'd rather have this one. I think that seems pretty good. Making a bomb lentil and rice one week meal prep tomorrow. Super excited. Hell yeah, Sag. Week prep's where it's at. Hey, Crooked Finger. Didn't, did you leave? You did leave, didn't you? But hey, thanks for stopping back in. If not, or whatever, though. Appreciate you, man. Thanks for saying thanks to uh, Sir Andreas. Let's try to boost our stuff. We got a couple upgrade points. Let's upgrade our saber and fire thing. Nice, dude. We got plenty of spectral dust now. We need scourge as accretion. Accretion. I need to do laundry so I can take a shower. Well, we'll do that. Well, hurry up. Uh, let's upgrade this here thing too. Plenty of hoof fungus. I'll get to it. No, right now. Adding a tomato into your lentil will make it quite good and taste. A good little tip you might want to have known. Lentil soup with a little bit of tomato. Tomato, tomato. Yes, definitely rest. I did leave for a bit, but I just got back in time to see the gift sub notification. Fuck yeah, dude. Sir Andreas, though, I appreciate you, man. You can't make me? Okay. You're the one that's like, I can't remember to do anything because of my ADHD. So I'm just trying to tell you to do it now. You want to come in here tomorrow and be like, I still haven't showered because I didn't do my laundry. That's on you. I'm just trying to help you out. <laughs> that man killed and ate his friend. When I was a soldier, I heard many stories of those besieged eating their own. Some were true. Famine is a ferocious master. Jacob was hungry. Yeah, just like you. Just like me. No, it's nothing to do with ADHD. It's it. more about being lazy. I've not killed since I quit the army. I swore I'd never kill again. 
It's not too late to change our minds. Got that blue eye stare. Sorry, I'm not talking much. No, you're good. You're fine, man. Just hope you're doing well. We made the right choice. We made it together. No turning back. Then, so I may have my resurrection, we'll steal human essence. We'll kill Anyone recommend Helldivers? Ends. I think everybody in chat that's played it recommends it. I have it. I just haven't played it yet. No longer. Oath. Red is about to swear an oath to Antia, and together they will choose her fate. Choices make choices you make when bringing closure impact your chances to fulfill the promise that you made to one another. Oh, we're sticking to resurrection and we ain't going to falter. Don't you worry, chat. We're not going to ruin this relationship. Don't you worry. We're sticking to resurrection. We're going the whole way. She ain't going to back down. Don't even worry about it for a second. I don't care if it's a child who saved their parents or some shit. And then it's like, are you going to sacrifice the child? Fuck yeah, we're sacrificing the child. I don't give a damn. You know, if it's like a puppy that finds a small boy in a well and its name is Lassie, I'm going to grab that dog's neck and, and it's going to die. And then we're going to resurrect our lady. That's all there is to it. No heart. Full blast. <laughs> I just got my toner that uh, chemically exfoliates in my eye. Oh. Don't put that in your eye. My God. Um, remember, you remain free to make any choice that you want when bringing closure, no matter the oath that you have sworn, as long as you are ready to face the consequences. Don't worry. I'm not worried about that at all. Yeah, why'd you do that? Yeah, what are you doing? Red swears that he will help Antia come back to life once they retire or retrieve, sorry, her body from New Eden's meeting house. To keep this oath, Red will have to sacrifice as many settlers as possible with a blame ritual. FML. That's not settled. Thank you. I hope you've no regrets. Any regrets, chat? Soon I'll not me. My life. I ain't got no regrets. I want my woman back. We will pay Give me my lady. Prices. We banish Give me my lady living, back. But our hearts will know we're taking lives. How many? Once you do one evil thing, the rest comes with no regrets. That's right. Perhaps too many to ask of you. I want us so, back. honey, I was I uh, thinking about um, resurrecting your body. I want to do with the whole of my heart. No price to buy. <laughs> will my tears do no well fuck we are gonna be gonna go wash my eyes out sounds good probably should have done that right away you know because you don't want to lose your vision or whatever <laughs> saint Perfect demo combo. I'm glad that this little objective marker thing on the map actually does a pretty good job at guiding you. Wait, did we just level up from that? What the fuck? Let's turn around. We just leveled up because I climbed up that? That's amazing. Holy shit, dude. Is that Jacob? We melted him? Man, I loved <gasps> Dude, we fucking melted him. I Unless you can stick your whole face in the sink. Jacob's body has disappeared. Eaten by animals or by Ben Stoughton's maggots. Yeah, either way. Should have buried him. Let's go. He wasn't melted before. He got eaten either by animals or maggots. Yeah, that's gross, dude. Wait, can you do this over and over? What's the point of that? Okay, it's just going to repeat. This. Yeah, it must have happened when we were asleep. He'll listen to your whole conversation now without saying a single word. Okay, now I'm going to get up and do laundry. Sounds good. 
Let's check out our evolution. Unveil. The fourth light attack triggers a punch attack that ignores resistances. So we can do that with heavy or light. Oh, let's do this one. Let's increase our number of heals. We don't need to do light attacks. We can do heavy attacks. We want a combo. Bro just staring. Right into her soul. Wait, can we actually make contact with each other? I thought earlier when they had their hands and we were like touching, it was like kind of just them hoping they could touch. We were actually touching? Because he definitely just helped her get up just then. Oh, well, that's nice. Because every time I touch, I get this feeling. Every time I touch, I swear I can fly. Apparently so, yeah. Yeah, apparently. I'm glad that we have four healing items now, though. What's the point of resurrecting if they can just interact? Um, because of, uh, let me think. <laughs> because it is the path of evil. Yes, and evil is good enough for me. <laughs> Stains align. Align the stains? I'm sorry, what? Okay, we got that rope now. The only... Oh, wait. It's Ooh, only at the rest points, huh? Nice. I don't know. I'm not sure. Must be. And... How do we line this shit up? Is there something that I need to do, like, button-wise? Oh! We just weren't staying in the right spot, okay. I'm back with functioning eyes. Bog. Nice. Must be nice. Whoa! Hell's balls. Hell's balls and a twice as white preacher ass. I don't know. You were right. Never better. Maybe it's because of his rings, though. Something to do with that. The reason why they can touch is because of the rings. Is that how we jump back and forth? We have to do that animation every time. Is it going to be that long-winded animation every single time too? Stupid fucking rope. No? Okay. Yeah, maybe it's faster next time. Seems like it. This... Is a new place? Seems like it's a new place. Oh, nope. This is that one spot where I was like, I think that's the other side of this. Blah, 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 blah. Eventually, we're going to be able to shoot those or something. Yeah. We've been here before. I think it's, it looks like the stuff reloads every time you do that. Pyrite, yep. Pyrite, indeed. The game wants us to 3,000 meters. High rate is fool's gold. Makes more sense. Yo, they're going to make me go that far. There's going to be like a boat section or something somewhere, dude. Ain't no fucking way. <laughs> well, blew my mind, man. Oh, 
Uh, yeah, this game's huge, apparently. Can we jump this? Spectral stains are out of reach. Nothing to work with here. So we find another way. Stupid when the game is bigger than when you, you though. Back to New Eden Town, you can make a complaint. Oh, there's another thing that I want to shoot. When we get back to Eden Town, you can make a complaint. Shut up. Maybe I'll end up banishing you in the end. That jump was quite something. When no, the game is bigger than you thought. Something. But I, feel I thought you were just like, it's bigger than I you, know LOL. What I'm doing. You'll master it. <laughs> You've mastered everything else. No way through here, neither, as far as I can see. Floating enemies? Leap. With Anita, you can leap with L1 to engage in combat and get instantly close to your target. Such manifestation consumes spirit points and will need to be a cooldown before you can uh, be used once more. Got it. Would it be awesome, though? You blame everyone just to banish your wife at the end? <laughs> the ultimate evil ending? That's probably one of the options you can do, you know what I mean? Spectre. Going for a meat suit. You know, there's a combo that we got thing for hitting enemies four times or whatever with heavy attacks. I don't think they'll survive. The thing is for four heavy attacks, then she comes in and does an additional punch. But I literally don't think that, uh, like, if I hit somebody four times, they're just going to die. I don't, they won't be alive for her to punch them. And this is on the hardest setting, too. Maybe characters later in the game or whatever, but I don't know. Maybe it's because our sword's upgraded. I don't know. Spectral activities. You have found a cluster of spectral activity. As a banisher, it is your job to eliminate the threat. Your health points and decoction charges will be fully restored at the start and at the end of this encounter. Eliminating a cluster grants permanent power bonuses? Permanent power bonuses? Let's go, dude. Sounds fucking sick. Spectres have gathered around. Why not force them to appear? Let's do it, man. The big blue specter were tankier. Maybe not the gray ones. Yeah, true, true, true. Just different enemies, yeah. Okay, so they want us to do this one, though. We gotta make sure that we collect all the things for this to be able to summon these guys for these. Do we only need to do this once for each attempt? Like, only once to open it up? Or do we have to do it every single time we fail? Did I do the wrong thing? Thank you for the update. I guess we gotta do this one, huh? I did the wrong one, sorry. Did we miss a few? Did we miss a clue? Snap oh shit. Are we able to do things and have it be more uh, correct? Watch like out. easier? Spectre possession. Ah, right when he got in that. Alpha tormented. Stop that 
Fuck. This is a pretty long fight here. Die, you bastard. Kind of get to this one. Oh, man. Oh shit. Hey, nice. Did that kill that guy? Nice, dude. Nice, nice. You can use the leap. Yeah, I uh I just didn't have a reason to jump. Plus one to all attributes. Nice. I'll take it. Yeah, I just didn't have a reason to leap. I felt like I was able to get to people, except for using it for when the people are taking over the corpses. That's a good idea for it. When it's like, oh no, stop that specter before they obtain a corpse or whatever, or possess a corpse. Yeah, we could use it then. Switch to her, then L1 over to him. That'd be smart. That'd be a good reason for that. How does the combat feel so far? It's actually not that bad. It's just a little slow. Like, you can't, like, don't expect to, like, fight. Like, as fast as I was fighting is probably as fast as you can play this game. I've just been very meticulously using the button inputs. I've been spit like very, very meticulously just like hold R2, do the charge attack, you know, hit him a couple of times. Definitely just keep away. Just keep doing the little dodges with circle. Anytime you see the red attacks on like the meter for the damage indicators coming closer to you or whatever. Like I've just been really trying to just watch what the game wants me to do. And it seems to be working out fine. If they line up. I'd say the combat's all right. I'm sure you can. It's not like the funnest combat I've ever played in a game or anything like that, but it's enjoyable. The combat's probably my favorite part so far. But that's just because I like fighting. Yeah, I don't think we can knock that down until we get something ranged. Can I jump to it? Nah. How do you think the combat looks? This was one of the games that I was super interested in, so I'm curious to see how it unfolds. Yeah. I'm just very interested in, in like the game itself, like the story. Which is what I was hoping for, so I'm glad that it seems to be the case. That like the story is really good and worth caring about. Like I want to bring my baby back. I want to resurrect my woman. Oh, there's another one of those spectral leap things up here. Okay. Oh, no worries, Chevrolicious. So this is like to jump yeah. across. Yeah. Cool, dude. Yeah. It's actually a sweet animation. Yes. Remind me to close my eyes next time. That dude is like right here, isn't he? Oh, he's over there. Silly me. The year is 1695. Of this, at least I am sure. Following the new smiths was a mistake. After abandoning our homes and trudging the dark woods through rain and storm, our group arrived in what was once a hunter's camp. The bridge to Boston is down and we can go no further. Our flight to freedom was a fool's errand. The memory of our home in New Eden Town seems distant now. We had friends and neighbors. The schoolhouse rang with laughter. The meeting house had a minister who cared for us deeply. When we left the thick skin, thick skins band, yeah. The new Eden town we'd built was no more. I miss it deeply. Beth misses it too, though she hides it. We're going back, packing our things once more and going home. To hell with whatever prowls these woods. God be with us. Oh, wow. Why don't you go sit in the pond at the park? Since you want to act like a silly goose. Uh, wow. 
shit. <laughs> That's rude. I kind of want to go back down here, though, man. I feel like, uh... Oh, see, we're going to be able to shoot that later, and that's going to make that guy fall when it frees the wagon or whatever. I feel like we didn't do everything that we could in this area, though. Let's go back. Whee! Silly little goose. Big stabbing little silly. Let's explore this uh, section of area. This spot. That was cool, though. Doing this little bonus, like, fight thing, fighting a couple big guys, getting some plus one... To all of our attribute points. That's pretty rad. Yeah, I feel like I didn't really check, like, up here. Dudes. This bike's not easily chewed. What the fuck? Eyes peeled. Get rid of the other Spectre first. Kia. Back down to hell. So if we do this, oh nice. Okay. Sorry, that probably wasn't the best display of the combat. I was trying to figure out a couple of different combos, but general, generally it's like that. Pretty typical thing. This is the first initial split spot. Okay. Okay. Now we've done everything. Let's go back up top. We'll go back up from here. Wait, why'd his hand glow for that? Was that because of the spiral thingy up top? Yeah, I think once we get like some range combat too, that'll change things. Because I know we get a gun at some point. I'm sure that'll open up the combat too a little bit. Maybe some decent combos. Oh shit! Oh, I thought we got bear trapped. I thought we stepped on a bear trap the way that sounded. Hell's balls. He keeps saying hell's balls, dude. It's a strange term. I'll be better right side up. What happened? Rope trap. Jacob Lind Use your eyes. Hunter's camp. Use your eyes, Red. What do you mean what happened? You have a blade on your hip, my dude. Something's there. Then again, I guess cutting that, that's a pretty far fall. Something alive. Yes. All right. Brilliant. All right, so who are these couple of losers I'm going to sacrifice? Hey, you two look like you've eaten somebody recently. Who are you and where did you spring from? I'm a banisher and I'm going to banish you I'll so I can sacrifice, yeah, resurrect my woman. That's a very long way from here, sir. Yeah, falling on your neck would suck? Yeah. My name is yeah, New Eden ben. is far from here. 3,000 meters? Selectment of New Eden Town. I'm a banisher. Didn't you and the other one die in the meeting house? Just me. Or just her, sorry. No, I'm alive. The tide took me. I mean, I'm alive. alive. I don't mean to be uh, confusing with that last statement. I'm quite alive. I've it's just her that's dead, because clearly I'm not uh, a ghost. I more. Could I please continue this conversation with my feet on the ground? Easy now. Dude. Stop your jiggling. What are you gonna shoot the rope? Do you not have a better way? Hold still, I said. You try holding still when some lassie's shooting at you. In that case, a woman? Trap, you may escape. Did you just yourself. say that it's more frightening because a woman is what? shooting at you? No, no, come on. Our camp lies downhill. 
I'll wait for you there. Come back here. Say it! I don't suppose you can help me, can you? That was entertaining. <laughs> it's good to see you smile. Wait. Something's there. Something alive? Something alive. No. Yeah. In the cabin? The thing that's in the cabin is not alive? Oh no, the dead are deadening again. The dead are just deading all over the place. Yeah, oh, don't worry. He'll wait. Yeah, she said wait to him. She's literally hung upside down. Oh my god, the dead are deading all over the place. Dude, cut it. You have a sword on your hip, my guy. D buddy. You, you can do it. Remove your boot or something. Uh, what? Do what? What are we gonna do? Oh, yank him down? You have a sword, but the rope. I have to protect the rope. Okay, here we go. This guy's got, uh, some shield on. It looks like he's got some ghost armor shit. By. Uh, blocking stances. When enemies are blocking, you can break through their defenses with specific moves like Red's charge attacks, Anita's manifestations, perfect switches. Oh shit! What the fuck? He was 1 HP! I went for the grief! He literally needed one more hit and I just went all the way in. I was gonna hit him one more time and then the game just- Oh, what the fuck? What even happened? What even occurred? Where am I? Oh my god, they're gonna make me run through this forest again. That was so silly, dude. How did that even happen just then like that? I switched back to him. I could just stay as her and punch his ass a couple more times. Because she's literally invincible. Man. Damn, I fucked that up, though. No oh, shit! Kia! Devil take it! Man. He was uh, politely waiting for the tutorial message to go away. To body you. How sweet. Yeah, very nice of him. Not gonna lie, though, if the character was using the mentality of Victorian or an earlier era, they might want to save as much of that rope as possible. Signs of life oh. Ahead. It's a video game. We didn't collect the rope, so... I wouldn't think that our dudes are that into it. We already took the rope from the other guy. We already have infinite rope. We got that rope from that other dude. We've used it like three or four times. A chest. I spun the rope by hand for you and didn't even collect it. Well, too bad. So visually, the combat looks kind of like God of Warish, but slower. Yes. It doesn't look bad, but I kind of see what you mean. Yes. Yeah, you just got to like watch what's going on a little bit more. You just got to be a little bit more meticulous when you're doing stiff. The hoarder me is crying. Well, good thing it's a game. Good thing it's not real. Nothing is real, Chad. Everything is fake. To them, devils as dirties. To them, devils as dirties the place with their rotten, half-eaten, bloody leaving and their sharp-edged, broken, bloody arrowheads and whatnot for shame. Is there something wrong with my brain? Is there like seven words that are incorrect in this? What's going on here? Simulation theory. Nothing is real. Freak out. 
to them devils as dirties the place with their rotten half eaten bloody leavings and their sharp edged broken bloody arrowheads and whatnot. Maybe I gotta read it like I'm a southern cowboy person because this is an old hunter's note. <clears throat> to them devils, as dirty as the place with their rotten, half eaten, bloody leaving, with their sharp as broken, bloody arrowheads and whatnot. Or shame. There we go. Now it makes total sense. I feel like I'm having a stroke? Dude, yeah, what? Yeah, there's a few words missing in that message. Feels like it. It's an old Englishy way of saying those motherfuckers let the place a mess. Yeah, that's I mean, I got the message for sure. It just didn't read well. I knew what they meant. The for shame. It was saying whoever left this place a mess. Fuck you. That's what it said. That was the message. But what? What was that? What was that writing on the wall? It was a goddamn mess. Take mine. Take mine i need it oh what's that definitely old english yeah i keep running by these things and thinking that it's something i can interact with but it's the little light inside the lantern my brain just is refusing to believe oh i could just jump down right there god damn it i'm ready for you to find out that says why do they call it oven when you oven the cold food and out of the heat the food Get parried, idiot! I have another you insight. filthy casual! Get the hell out of there! Go! Oh, I thought my attack would stun him. Half, dude. There's been a lot of times that I felt like. Uh, I was born in the wrong generation, but if I had to live through an era where people talked like that, I would have punched a lot of people in the face. But see, at least in that situation, you would know no better, right? You'd be like, that's me too. Well, for art thou Romeo? You would just be one of them. One of them. I have another insight. <gasps> yeah. Oh, right. Did we miss a few? Banished. Oh. Get out I don't know what those little guys do. I can't really tell. I would have verily dispatched them forthwith of their egregi egregious manner of speech. Sorry. Egregious, I almost said. <laughs> I would have verily dispatched them forthwith of their egregious manner of speech. I was born in the wrong generation. I know I was meant to be born in the Middle Ages and die of a minor infection at an early age. Hard times like these, fewer folk will help a stranger. Bright side of life. Do 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 do. We did good against those bone walkers. You did good. Yeah, we did all right. Strange to see the dead from this side. We did all right against them, their bone walkers. Hey, Chad, we are going to be wrapping up the costly. stream probably within the next like 20 minutes or so. Um, that being said, if anybody's new in the chat, came in off of a couple of the raids that we had today, or if you're just uh, browsing the Twitch page or however you've come across the stream today, if you guys are enjoying your time here. Don't forget to follow. Um, would love to have you guys here more. We're going to be playing this game till we beat it. I'm enjoying it so far, so I'm looking forward to playing more of it. Um, but thank you guys for tuning in. Bone walkers, sir, so just say skeleton like a normal person. To New Eden Town. Don't be a weirdo. Good day, madam. And a good day to you too, sir. I would have loved to have been a knight, having trained for years as a squire, serving plague and disease, or surviving plagues and disease, only to be dispatched in my first battle by a longbow. <laughs> no doubt. I should have been born a hundred years ago. When I would have been uh, given a lobotomy by now. Though the oh. times remain strange indeed. Not bad, eh? No, oh, I don't doubt we'll prevail. But right now we're tired and hungry. 
Cut my brain into pieces. I am very mental. What's new? I'm sorry, sir. Too busy to talk. God will bless this place, but he needs us to do the work. You understand? No, I don't. Yeah, of course. I do not understand. Yeah, about a hundred years ago, you couldn't wrap yourself into a blanket burrito and then zone out and watch TV. True. Like, what are you going to do? Are you back here alone? Dude, I want to do that. I, mean, I want a burrito blanket like in and eat a burrito. No husband, Can I get a burrito, asking, eat a burrito, be a burrito, and watch burritos either. get made on TV on a cooking channel? To feed, and that's enough. I mean, look around you. How could I possibly want more than all of this? Blanket what burrito sounds say? tasty. I'm about to go get some ice cream. Shit. Nice. You're a man ice cream sounds good, too. I want to pig out. Maybe I'll get some Dairy Queen. You don't look rich. Know what you should do. Find yourself a rich man and marry Just end up sweeping out the barn. I must go. I love that. We shall all I love what this. just happened. This lady just said, What should I do? Find a rich man and marry him. Ha! And then my guy said, I must go. Found out my favorite burrito place and GR closed down. Oh, no. Love their soft serve ice cream. Yeah, Dairy Queen's good. Good day to you. I like it. I'm Red Good The Banisher. What kind of ice cream? You're gonna judge it? Oh my god, you're gonna say some shit like... What is that? Um... Pistachio ice cream? Vegan pistachio ice cream? Worse? Or I'll hype it up. Whether I like it or not, because that's what homies do. Not that we're alike. She likes her story. Mint chocolate. Likes I like it too. Self -talk. She likes a little drama, does Edith? Mind you. This guy's eyes freak me out. out. Sunday banana toffee one? Ben and Jerry's? It's probably good. I don't know if you've ever been to El Sombrero Ultra. I believe I have actually. I got some damn good burritos. Yeah. That place closed down, huh? That sucks. Love Dairy Queen, but they play... But they place called Andy's here and they have frozen custard it's good I'm not a fan of banana but if you like it go for it it, it kind of sounds like you're hyping it up I don't know it kind of sounds like you had to make sure that she knew that you didn't like it sounds like you kind of had to <laughs> I was wondering what brought you to the new world why leave home for the unknown like so many, we came looking for a better life. <laughs> <laughs> a better life. Indeed. Appreciate you, Don. So, Daniel, what's new? Damn, Daniel. Sorry to out here with the away, disgusting eyes. I'm behind on me chores. Even the poor Sorry, I can't type. It's okay. Bit, eh? Oh, ew. Okay, no, sorry. I don't. I don't mean to ew because of like it. I'm ewing because the link that you posted, what's with the goopy things? I don't like the four or five goopy teardrop things at the top, like the graphic, the obviously fake underside of that. I don't like the way that looks. I like the rest of it. I don't like that. I'm not a fan. Not a fan of whatever that is. The caramel sperms. That's a good way to put it. Yeah, I'm not too into the caramel sperms. Thank you. Cutting Brussels sprouts, my fingers are moist. Like it was drawn by somebody who draws uh spot professionally. Oh my god. Goodbye for now, Daniel. It's my job. Aye. Try not to die in the meanwhile. Yay. That's the lady that told me to F off. The caramel sperms. <laughs> There's always houses that have locked door symbols on them. It's like people are locking me out of their homes. Like I'm not their friend. It's rude. Very rude. I want something sweet but my diabetes prevents me. Don't do too much. Gotta be careful. You know how to pace yourself. I ain't gotta tell you nothing. 
Orchid casually posting smut links in chat. No big deal. Jesus Christ. Imagine mods doing something like that. Unbelievable. Banisher, you made it. Banisher, you made it. La 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 la. Banisher, you made it. So, you found us safely, Red McWraith. Aye. Well, thanks to you. True facts. I had yep. to know you could look out for yourself. Facts, F A X. You're welcome to stay until you're told to leave. I'm Kate Newsmith. Far as you're concerned. I'm in charge round here. As far as I'm concerned, or is that actually the case? What is that? What the fuck? No, hold on. Pause? Wait? That's dumb? If I just entered into a new town and I got told some lady said, as far as you're concerned, I'm the ruler of this place around here. I'm in charge. Be like, no, 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 no. Who's actually in charge? I will treat you like you are also in charge, but who's actually in charge so I don't fuck up with those people or something? Like, what? Not even her name, dude. That head makes me want to call her uh, a colonizer and nothing else. Jesus. BDW, I got, uh, I got to go. Hey, no worries. Andrew, we're going to be closing out the stream really soon anyways. Appreciate you being here. And uh, again, I hope you and your family are okay and be strong and kind to each other as best as you can during these times, all right? And try to stay on the bright side as often as you can. I know times will be tough and it's not going to be possible like nearly half the time probably, but just do what you can. Things will get better anything to thick skin i we're sisters me and Antea, we met her in town when we first landed thick skin will return from the hunt soon enough sorry for your loss by the by you have a good night andrew why might you tell me to leave he who don't pitch in pitches out we'll not go hungry to feed him that don't contribute better than killing you for food i suppose That's very nice of you, Don. I'll stay a while. I have certain skills, if they may be of use. Our hearts are low. Nightmares plague our sleep. Do what needs doing, help who needs helping. Well, give me some names. Prudence Hick. A widow, like so many. She cooks. Lately, she's cooked shite. <laughs> he who puts the food aright is a hero. No indeed. way we're about to start doing, like, cooking mini-missions. I'm going to go help a lady cook. I'm heading back that way. You're mad. There's no going back. There's not to go back to. We may be all that's left. New Eden Town now is naught but sorrow, pestilence and death. I'm excited to get back to New Eden Town Some of our and see it in an even worse condition than it was when we were there. All the people that we talked to, including, what was her name? Back. Esther or whatever? Something She's going to be dead. Prowls. Folk dream of a murderous beast that'll kill them if they dare to leave camp. There was a second group. They never arrived. Some think the beast got them. Like I say, we may be all that's left. Guilt. Dread. During this time right now, chat, we're just staring at this lady. The truth is think, think about it. Think about it, chat. Think about it. Okay? That lady just said all those things to us, and our dude's literally looking at her like this. Because she can't hear Antia. So while she's talking to us, we're just like. Not saying a word. What a freak. He's just staring at her in awe of this minor request. Can you help this lady cook? I'll make the rounds. I'll pay my respects <laughs> to Widow Hake and see what's the bar. If you can't find students, ask Jane. They're close. Also, please check on our blacksmith. He's already meager skills. That's how I act when people ask me to cook too. Oh my god, you know what? Same. Never mind, I take it back. The response was totally legitimate. Right. Got it? One empty cabin remains. Never mind. The tree fell on it. But you may have what's left. Welcome to the dark. Don't worry, I'll cook for you guys. Pog. In your forays into Have you seen any bone walkers, aka skeletons? What the hell's a bone walker? Corpses possessed by malignant spirits. The dead walking. You'd know if you'd seen one. God spare us. 
Have you? Yeah, just earlier. Of course not. Standard question. I have to ask it. Of course not. The lone walkers seem drawn to us, but not them. Is it you? Is I love baking, but cooking? Fuck that! Yeah. Can I ask you, what do you know about the nightmare? I have bad dreams. Aye. The worst kind. We all do. Better at cooking than I am at baking. But baking is definitely more fun. The results are more fun too. Typically, right? Like that's when you like make sweets and Aren't they all? delicate things or whatever. My sister knew it. Or After decadent? I think decadent might have been the word I was looking for. After your mishap, it was Cinnamon time rolls, to shit like that, dude. Your bad dreams. Get I can cook, but I'm not a fan. Might be the hunger. Might be the fear. I'm very limited in that category. My skills are very a beast. basic. A I'm cooking right now. I suck at baking. Larger, stranger. The idea of trying to cook anything for dinner is so annoying. I'm thinking I'm going through my brain about places I want to get food from instead. Oh, you know what? I think Naomi was saying that she wanted to get sushi tonight. I'll probably try to find a place to get sushi now that I think about it. Totally forgot that. That's probably what we're doing. Some blame the beast. We stay close to I don't get sushi very... I think I've had sushi literally two times in my life. I had sushi before. There's a moderator in here. His name is Straight Up Brutal. He took me to go get sushi one time. And then um, I had sushi in Hawaii. And I think that's literally the only two times I've had sushi like in my life. Unless I'm forgetting another time. So if I get sushi now, that's going to be like the third time. <laughs> Tell me about this beast. Though we've heard I'll have my people call your people. And then they can work it out for us. Nice. Heard screaming too. And those who've traveled on have Steak night, Brussels, pasta, salad. Sounds hope, fucking baller. Actually, Nucleus, that sounds great. As we must, if we're not to starve. But our dreams say they did not. There's really no way out. We can live here on the edge of starvation, keeping our cheer as best we can. Or we can die in the woods, prey to a drooling beast. We choose to live. I must ask you about the camp. Ask? Where's your sister? Ask, ask. nodders. Making the rounds. I love sushi, but my wife doesn't like it, so it's not too often that I have it. I'm typically not a fan of it either. She goes out alone. Like I, the, the two times that I've had sushi, I've had numerous types of rolls, and some of them I just straight up did not like, and then some of them are really good. I don't remember which ones are which though. Not one of us knows for sure. Time here flies for some, for others it stands still. There's no night, so. Counting days is difficult. What would thick skin say? <laughs> She'd say I'm not that into sushi, but I do thoroughly enjoy making lying. gambas al ayilo with tell some me. rice on the side. I gave up. The nightmare twists the perception of the passage of time. Al ayilo? These folk have not escaped the curse. I'll throw that into Google real fast. Oh! Okay, so it's like shrimp, a bunch of shrimp in a sauce, fry it up in a pan of some sort with some, some nice juices. Looks nice. Looks like some good stuff. Who about the place needs help? Do you think? She already told us to help. Something's not right at the forge. You could start there. It's the only fancy seafood that I can think of. So this lady told us to go to the blacksmith to go to the forge, which is probably two and one the same, to go to that one lady and talk to her about her cooking and tell her she needs to get good. She needs to get good and learn how to dodge iframes. And then we need to um, go help somebody else about somebody who passed. Seafield Alfredo? That's less snazzy. I'll take my leave of you for now. Rest. Okay, I think we're going to find the cabin, Chad, that has the tree that fell through it. I wonder what that's going to look like. It's going to be completely fucked. And then uh, probably call it for the night. Pasta dishes? Pasta's good, man. She seems to like me. Do some pasta anytime. Is this the one? Oh, yeah, look at the tree. Oh, that barely put any dent in it, it looks like. That looks like that didn't even hurt the cabin at all, dude. That looks like it didn't even do anything. 
Pasta's like a blank slate for everything, dude. Slept and washed. Look, it didn't even do anything. And it smells better than Jacob Lindsay. It's fine. A little bit of issues, but it looks like all the Jacob trusses Lindsay are still good. Smell. I'll be a big baby about a game. Come on. The official translation of the Christian Bible for the Church of England that also serves as the official Bible for Puritans. I don't know if that makes sense. It does? I think so. All right. Yeah. No Key to the Trapper Reserve. My dear Evelyn, as you know, Alexander and I must go home. The new smith's plan seemed the right one, but now God calls our hearts back to New Eden. The horses in their pastures are gone, but the house yet stands. We shall rebuild, or we shall die there, where we belong at home. I'd write now, for I must thank you for the kindness and your unwavering encouragement, especially when I thought my rotten lungs would die or be the death of me. Thank you sincerely, and may God bless you, your dearest friend, Elizabeth. It's always a lady! I, I read it. I need to read the name first. I just need I need to look at the bottom and see if it's a lady or not and then reread it. I could have read the whole thing like this. As you know, Alexander, I must go home. It would have been way more meta, way more immersive. But no. One of my friends makes spaghetti cake. Whoa, what? Every once in a while and it's great. But Jesus Christ, is it bad for you? Spaghetti cake? Is that just like weird lasagna? <laughs> Kinda? You guys like shrimp and shrimp cocktails? I actually do. I do like shrimp. I actually do. I've only gotten shrimp stuff only like a couple of times, but it's pretty good. I dig it. All right, let's go ahead and rest chat and call for the day. Man, thank you guys for being here. Today's been really, really cool. It's been a really nice stream. I think uh, I think this game's really fun. It's a, a way different vibe for our stream. I feel like we did a lot of me, honestly, kind of just either talking to you guys or just listening to the game. Like, I feel like a lot of it was just like, you know what I mean? I don't know if that makes any sense, but I liked it. I thought it was fun. I'm glad that you're liking it. Me too. I was really worried. I seriously stared at the like purchase screen for this game for a while. Like not that like, the price of the game was like so astronomically high. It's like, oh my God, can I afford it? I was just thinking to myself, like, do I want to waste my money on this game that I might potentially not like? Like, I was just like the reviews I've had from a couple people that have played it that I know on Twitch. The reviews that I've heard from people like Lady in Red that's on Twitch who also liked it. Like, I got a pretty mixed bag of reviews and I was like, I don't, do I even want to bother? Like, I like, I don't know. Taking chances is fun though once in a while. And I think this one's turning out pretty well. Um, I'm enjoying playing it. Seems like you guys are enjoying watching it. So thank you guys for being here, though. I really do appreciate it. Thanks again to Sir Andres for the five gifted subs, man. That's huge. Big round of applause and pogs and headbangs and chat for Sir Andres with the five gifted subs. It's so dope. Nucleus, thank you for the 69 biddies. Worst average, thanks for the 50 biddies. Um, Duke, thanks for the follow, my man. Apollo with the 100 bits. Jen with the resub at 28 months. Ron with the resub, or the gifted sub to Borba. Uh, Shelf, thanks for the 22-person raid, man. Silly Duck, thanks for the 27-person raid, dude. Really appreciate it, both of you guys. Thanks for the huge raids. If there's seriously anybody that's from either of those raids still, and you are not following the stream, you've been in here for roughly four-plus hours. So, I mean, clearly, you either enjoy your time here, or you're just lurking like a motherfucker. Architect, thanks for the 100 biddies. Uh, Catastrophe, thanks for the 500 bits. Ron with the gifted sub. Architect with another 100 biddies, Apollo with 100, uh, Bo with the gifted sub, Catastrophe with 100 bits. Um, and that's it for the stream. Thank you guys so much for all the support. It was a fantastic time. Chevrolicious, Lady in Red, Architect, Nucleus, uh, Ron. I th oh, I said that twice. Orchid, Dawn. Um, I would say Andrel, but they they left just a little bit ago. Um, Sir Andreas, all you guys. Thank you guys for hanging out. Thanks for being here. Thanks for chilling. Damn it, stream elements. It's insane. It's insane, bro. I just redid the uh, the stream key thing, you know, where you um, where you gotta like re-verify your account. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how to explain what I'm talking about. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Where it's like, oh, activate your Twitch thing, and then you click on the thing. I just did that yesterday, so like it's a brand new reconnection.
is Begin of life, I'm gonna fight Hope for the living and death of the dead You have no right, I'm not my sight Hope for the living and death of the dead Borba, it's good to see you in here as well, my dude It's Architect, man Architect just goes hard Alright, let's figure out where we're gonna raid into, huh? I mean, our, uh, I was Doc is on Vampire Survivors. That's fucking not that game. It says Vampire Survivors, but that's definitely a screenshot of uh, Tarkov. Hey, Earth Ellie's on song competitions. As much as I want to raid Earth Ellie, she's doing song competitions. We'll, we'll pass on that. Super Kath has raided us a couple of times. She's playing Elden Ring. You guys want to go there? I don't think I've like ever been able to raid her. Let me scroll this just a little bit further. Got a lot of people playing Dark Souls coming up in this list here. You guys cool with a little bit of Elden Ring? She's been live for like almost five hours, but she might go for forever. Um, let's go ahead and raid into her. She's cool. Super Kath is a nice lady. Uh, let me... Make sure I'm in her stream before we get out of here. Oh, App Nala is also on. Shit. There's a lot of homies on right now. Also, uh, anybody that was in Evac stream, you'll love this. Also, I have somebody on that's named the Clabia in case you're wondering. I know we were talking about clay getting banned. The word, the term just clay. I am following somebody whose name is Clabia. So there's that. <laughs> Tons of people are on actually. Yeah, dude. No, there's an ass load of people on. Um, let's go raid Super Kath just because she's raided me a few times and I like haven't really been able to raid her back. Let's do that. I'll see you guys there, chat. Adios. Hold on, I'm trying to get the uh, raid message typed out. Super simple, guys. Check this out. Ready? Watch this. Boom. Just two. Alterate, alterate, pog. Um, simple. Uh, thank you guys for being here again. Um, appreciate you all. Thanks for all the support. Thanks for chilling. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being dope. If you guys enjoy Supercath, don't forget to follow her, but at least say hi when we get in there. Either post the raid message or just simply say hi. It doesn't matter. Um, whatever makes you guys comfortable. Be kind to each other. Stay awesome. Keep kicking ass at life. Try to be better tomorrow than you are today. You guys know the spiel. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and we'll be doing more of this game tomorrow. It's fun. I'm enjoying myself, so there's no reason not to play this. Thank you guys for being here. Stay cool. Stay frosty. Goodbye. All right.